Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. Wow, we're starting a little bit later every time, huh? So it's 11.10, which is about 10 minutes later than the latest time we normally start. But that's because I was trying to take a little nap, and man, I could just not shake the sleepiness off. I was so tired. So I was just trying to do things to wake myself up. Holy moly. I don't know why I'm so tired. Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping in, in general. <laughs> So, well, that's okay. We're started now, and we've got plenty of time. So we'll be live opening Poke cards all day now. How's it going, Winston? We're alive now. That's all that matters. Move that over there. Just cleaning the table up a little more. Wait, no Monster Hunter? That's right. I was uh, too busy to do any Monster Hunter today. No Monster Hunters? What? Do you one have a legends. one shining legends? <clears throat> All right, give me a moment. Right, let me get OBS, not OBS, uh, Streamlabs. Here it is, Manny Merck. What's up, man? I have crusties. Uh, they're called eye boogers. <laughs> so Primo's already trying to give me the spank. What the hell? All right, Maddie, are you ready? How's it going, Unexpected? All right, one pack, and the pull is... Oh, nice, dude, Shining Arceus. What a great way to start. Beautiful pull, Shining Arceus. He looks pretty decent on the front, too. I wonder if he has a chance at a 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, that might be a 10. Damn, dude. You know that's like a $250 card if that's a 10, right? <laughs> All right. Woo! Place this over here. And we place this over here. And my lamp's going to fall over. And we'll move this over here. Still cleaning up a little bit at a time. Getting some Zerid pulls tonight? Maybe. Yeah, we haven't pulled uh, Zerid out of Champion's Path. And, uh, you know, my Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box has come out of sealed, what do they call those, cases? So somebody's eventually going to get a Charizard, I'm sure of it. All right, let's find Maddie Merck's bag and get this into Maddie Merck's bag. How's it going, Carlos? <clears throat> Maddie Merck. Jakes, JR Ram, Collision, Julio, Jurd, Lacey Casey, Killjolts, Justin. Where's Maddie Merck? Oh, Maddie Merck, I can't. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong box. I was going to say, I can't find your bag. That must mean. Whoa, he's sending it off. All right. Doesn't even matter. He's sending it off. Place is here real fast. This guy already causing trouble. Mister, did you cancel Fatalis? Fatalis is canceled. So Primo says, are you interested in my PSA 10 Cynthia that I won in the large? Uh, I suppose I am. I will buy back any card that you guys won in the games for store credit. Uh, however, I don't buy back at full price. And that's because the whole point of me putting it into the large was to get it sold. So you have to understand if I buy it back, I have to buy it back at a certain rate. Now, so what that means for you is if you were to sell it yourself to another uh, collector, perhaps, or perhaps on eBay, uh, you might get more money for it. But if you want me to buy it and cha-ching, just instantly cash out on it, I can do that for you as well. What's up, Pokeverse? Okay, so Matty Merck's name's going to go down here. I might unlike just to get the 420 spot. What? <laughs> Matty... Merc. Darkness of Lazen One Champion, sir. Thank you. Let me go ahead and add you to. Oh, that's the battery coming undone. Give me a second here. All right, let me go ahead and add you to the PSA requests. What a day we're doing.
Three rounds of legendary heartbeat, please. Shining Arceus. All right, Maddie Merck, we've added that. Then we have Tezenberg, Darkness Blaze, and one champion's path. Wow. You guys really don't stop. It's very, very, very impressive. I'm so glad you guys have so much fun doing this. One daily hit of hidden and shining legends. Oh my gosh, somebody's getting hidden. It's really wild, man. All right, let's see what you guys got. Sleep. <laughs> Pokey tube. The Pokey Tubes! So rare an oath to put your life in a Pokey stand. Did you have a PSA Ray, Ray, Tyranitar, or Feraligator you would be willing to sell for my credit? Says Reikishi. Oh, it's Reikishi. What's up, man? Yeah, um, I have all those things, actually. Round of Bolt and one champion. I have all those things. And, uh, let me think about it for a moment. What would you prefer the most? <coughs> I've got the Rayquaza from Hidden Fates. I think I've got the, um, I probably have a Neo 2 Tyranitar and that's going to be Japanese. And then what was the last one? I, I definitely have a, some pretty cool Japanese for alligators as well. I got like a dark for alligator, I think. I think it's dark for alligator. So I have all three of those things that you just mentioned. And, uh, they're all roughly in that price range. So I think, yeah, we would be able to work something out. Aaron says, where are the links to pay for the cards? Rikishi says, sounds awesome. All right. So who are we opening this for? Tenzenberg. You ready? All right. Picking up the Charizard V. Do we know what's happening with the PSA? Uh, nothing much, actually. The price of grading went up by $1, and that's it. Nothing changed. Everything's the same. Uh, you know, somebody popped down and made it sound like it was a big meltdown. It's not. They're, they're basically just raising their price by dollar. That's it. That's all that's happening. Rikishi says, could I see those for alligators? Yeah, absolutely. Are the Zards in yet, like the recent Charizard VMAX pulls? What, from PSA? Are they, are they sent off to PSA or... Ooh, look at this. Secret Rare Salamance. Beautiful. So I have some Charizards to send off to PSA right now. The problem I'm running into, I need some more unique cards to send off with them, like this Shining Arceus, in order to split the Zards up properly, so that when they return, we know whose cards are whose. Uh, I, might have to end, I might have to send in multiple orders in order to create that situation as well. But it's very important they don't get mixed. Very important. Champion's path, here it goes. You know, this is Sir How's your night? You sleeping well, sir, in one round of nah, <laughs> no luck. For TikTok. Wink, wink, legendary for heartbeat. Heartbeat. Oh, that's right. Legendary heartbeat is back, guys. What are my options for the medium from last night? Oh, what's up, Lou? Lou Perillo won the medium. So I, I I mentioned it over and over again, but we'll let's go ahead and do it again. You can get eight champions path, or eight shining legend, or five hidden fates. You could probably get uh, a booster box of the Japanese Volt Tackle or <coughs> a booster box of the Legendary Heartbeat. Those are the Japanese set sets. You could, uh, by default, you get a booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Spot 19, right, so that's the default spot, set. And then, of course, we have our medium PSA cards that you're welcome to trade for any of those. Uh, but I would have to scroll through those. And instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and jump over here real fast. Tenzenberg, where's your bag, Tenzenberg? Get your card, here it is. Tenzenberg is a really nice card. Uh, honestly, I feel like this this card could probably sell for like $150 to $200. So nice. Highly Blessed says, I'd have to take the Shining Oh, <laughs> It's pretty nice, isn't it? But let me show you what a whole box. So you can get a whole box of this right here. This is the uh, Legendary Heartbeat. Okay. Yeah, so Tenzenberg, if that graded a 10, it will probably sell for about 150 to 200 in my opinion. So he really wants to know what the medium PSA cards are. I'm going to sc scroll through them very fast, okay? So you're going to have to just take a quick glance at them because I've done this many times now. <coughs> we have Frost Moth 9. Believe it or not, the 9 goes for $100. The 10 goes for like, I don't know, way more than that. Dark Golbat 9, First Edition Hollow, Lapras 10. 
Glissopod 10, Zorark 10, Dark Flareon 10, Dark Arbok 10. I could probably add more to this box soon. Sylveon 10, Raichu 10, Raichu 10, Dark Arbok 9, Snorlax No Symbol 7. That's English, by the way. We got Blossom 10, Dark Charmeleon 10, Jumpluff 10, Beedrill 10, Electabuzz 10, and Smeargle 10. How's it going, Highly Blessed? What happened to Evolutions? Is it really? Well, let me check. Two in the small. Two in the small? That sounds like some kind of sex joke. <laughs> hey, mister, I'm new here. I'm curious how the co costume boosters work. Give me a second, guys. I'm doing a little research. Evolutions. Who doesn't love evolutions? Evolutions is hot. So very hot. Two champions, PLS. Two champions? Two champions? Damn, dude. That's deep, man. All right, so we showed Lou Perillo a lot of different things he could do with this medium card. Let's take a moment. Uh, you know, Reikishi really ought to be taken care of. So Reikishi's curious, what could he trade in uh, for his card? How's it going, Eric? Let me see something real fast. Oh, did I throw that away? I already threw it away. Okay, so check it out. This is Dark for Alligator Hollow. PSA 10. It's a really lovely card. Place that there. Do, 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 do. The other one was the Rayquaza, was it not? So I don't think I have any Rayquazas over here. Hey, Russ, how you been? Still got that hot luggage? So, let me go. I got my uh, other boxes over here, my do not sell boxes. Let me jump into those real fast. extra minute or two to go through these Rayquazas. I want a Zared. Hmm. I don't know if I could do any of the Rayquazas. What are the Rayquazas going for now? Uh, I, I might not be able to do the Rayquazas for a little while. So we have the Dark for Alligator and the Neo 2 Tyranitar. Oof, sorry about that. The thing is, with the Rayquazas, I've already sold most of them. There's just a little bit left. I was hoping to have a little for myself. This guy also I have very little of, believe it or not. He just goes, ah, oh, man, I know. I know, mister. Eight rounds of hidden fates with live shipping, please. Rikishi says, prices? Uh, mm. Would you trade your shiny ray from Shining Legends away? No, I'd probably hold on to that.
prices. All right, let's look up some prices. Two spots in small, please. Two spots in the small? What? So it says here that the Neo Discovery Tyranitar is uh, for $160. However, at $160, I'd rather keep mine. Let's check the dark for alligator. Dark for alligator. And the dark for alligator is 145. In that case, I would rather keep that as well. So those are prices that I think are too low. Uh, I'd rather buy them off of the market at that price rather than sell the ones that I have. Rikishi says, dead. I'm sorry, Rikishi. Well, Rikishi, if you want, I can give you $265 to your PayPal account, and then you could go buy them. So that would be your other option. He says, Sylveon, I'm interested. Uh, you know, Rikishi, I can't go through my whole collection and get you prices. There's people now waiting for their cards to get open. Let me focus on that. Okay. Here we go. So who's next? West Donini, three rounds of legendary hot heartbeat. Quick question: Should I sell the Charizard Rainbow Rare to a card store for two fifty? Two fifty is too low, Mister. I mean, unless he's dropped significantly in price. Hold on, John Bassett. Yeah, that's like maybe half the price you should be selling him for. Give me a second. So, uh, champions packed, huh? All right, we're gonna look up. We're gonna look up Champions Path Charizard real fast. I'll start off in the three hundred dollar range and see if there's any in that range because that just sounds low. All right, I'm looking right now. The very cheapest Buy It Now Charizard is five hundred dollars, which is exactly why they offered you two fifty for it. I kind of understand it. So the only reason they will be buying that Charizard from you is to resell it themselves. So they wouldn't pay full price for it. What they would do is they would pay half the price and then they would sell it for, a, you know, kind of like a, it's not quite a 100% profit margin, but so that's what they do. And that's what a pawn star, I'm sorry, not a pawn star. That's what a, a pawn store would do. They would do the same thing. They would want roughly half the price of the item and then they would sell it for the full price. Uh, you know, if you wanted to sell it for me, I could probably, if you wanted to trade it in for store credit with me, I would probably do maybe the full 500. It, I guess you'd have to send pictures though, because when it comes to stuff like raw cards of that value, you really do have to see pictures of it. So for example, let's say that his Charizard will definitely only grade a nine. Then maybe the card store that offered to buy it from him is not being so unreasonable. Maybe they're, they realize they're buying a nine. All right. I gotta focus on this. West Donini. What's up, West Donini? You can throw the hollow into the bulk. Oh, thanks, West Donini. That'll definitely save me a little bit of room. Oops. I'll pass this over here. If I use part of my credit and get eight champions path, do I keep and the charge right? I'm afraid I can't do that in this case. Um, but maybe what you could do is uh, toss toss in thirty and get the Charizard as well. Uh, it's it's hard to say because with the Charizards, I just feel like yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Let me think about it, Reikishi. I'm trying to be nice. Tackle Japanese. Here, here's the deal, Reikishi. I know from doing this for a while, I'll absolutely sell out of Champion's Path, no problem, whether or not you buy those packs or not for me. I will absolutely sell out of those. In fact, the amount we sold last night, I looked under the table, I had a, under this table, I had a whole pile of Elite Trainer Boxes. The end of the night, gone. They were all gone. So, But I want to be nice because of what happened with the canceling of the Base Set 2 box. So... Could you do this, Reikishi? Could you do 10 packs and I'll toss the Charizard in? You say you wanted to buy 8. Can you buy... Uh, if you if you do 10, I'll throw in the Charizard as well. All right, so Reikishi says done. All right. Sounds like we got a deal going. Two rounds of champions. 
Sweet. Toss this over here. I felt really bad for what happened with uh, the base set too. <clears throat> and uh, I'm scared to sell vintage again because of what happened. I, I honestly, I am. That's why you guys have noticed no vintage for sale on this channel anymore. I don't want that to occur anymore. I'll explain what was happening once again for people who didn't understand. The actual value of the packs were appreciating faster than people were buying them. And in that scenario, I actually lose money. So it, it would have been better for me to simply not sell them at all. Uh, then I lose money selling the packs. And uh, I can't have that happening. So either next time I have to price them higher, which people will say then that I'm asking for too much. Uh, or just hold them. And actually, holding them is very easy. I don't get in any trouble when I just hold packs. So that's why you guys have not seen any vintage for sale on this channel. You ready? Zekrom. Oh, sounds good. Thank you, Tenzenberg. Is PSA 8 Shining Lugia worth getting for 60 Uh, It's not a terrible price. But you know, if you don't buy it, if you don't buy it, you keep 60 bucks. <laughs> All right. Loogies. Anyone know if Uber Eat tracks your speed? Because I'm whipping this bitch trying to make some money. <laughs> you doing Uber Eats? <laughs> do you feel like you made money, though, advertising the base of two packs? No, I do not, Maddie. I do not feel like that happened at all. I feel like uh, this, well, I feel like we've gotten massive audiences without any vintage. We haven't been doing vintage for a while. It hasn't changed anything. Actually, you want to know one of the biggest gains we ever had on this channel was when I did a massive 200 card return from PSA. Uh, Will Blalock says, should I send my card to you to send it to PSA or would it be faster if I did it myself? Well, of course, it's going to be faster if you do it yourself. Uh, some people who open up cards in this live stream are tempted to have me send it out to the, for them as a service because it saves them time. The card's already here, so they don't pay shipping to send it to me. So the card's already here, and they, they trust me to do a good job. So, But if you're, if you're having it in your hands right now, you would have to ship it to me, which is already costing you some money. Then you would have to pay for my service, uh, which includes the cost of me doing return shipping to you and my time and all that. So it would be cheaper and easier for you to do it straight from your home. Then again, you'd have to figure out PSA, and you'd be sitting there going, am I doing it right? Am I, is my card going to get lost? Is it going to get damaged? So, uh, you know, but you can do whatever you feel comfortable with doing. All I can tell you is that there have been people who have sent in cards to, to me to do it for them, and uh, that's really up to them, though. All right, where are all these hollows? And why are all these packs just barely not cut open? Are you still sending out to PSA? Yeah, so the, the change to PSA was almost non-existent. The only thing that changed is uh, PSA grading will cost one more dollar. That's it. <laughs> so that is all that changed. It is one dollar more expensive and nothing else changed. Hey, mister, I love these videos. How's it going, Alex? Nothing changed. People made it sound like there was some big meltdown at PSA. Not at all. <laughs> the uh, grading stuff got one dollar more expensive, and that's it. Ryoma, they need to buff Fatalis. Mary has found the secret to defeating Fatalis. She says, save all of the tethers for stage three. And she says, you have to have somebody running the equipment, like the ballista and the cannons, because apparently it causes him to flinch and to be knocked down when you hit him with enough of those. So that's pretty interesting. Small. Small. So what we'll be doing next after this round of Legendary Heartbeat, we're going to open up 10 packs of Champion's Path <clears throat> for Reikishi, and we're going to be tossing in the Charizard as well as a, an apology for him having missed the base set in the first place. <clears throat> oh, Secret Rare Grandma, the best Secret Rare. Who wouldn't want Secret Rare Grandma? Mmm. I like the nose she has. You think she has a big peepee -pee as well? She must have a massive peepee -pee with the nose like that. How often do I submit to PSA? Um, bi-weekly, usually bi-weekly. 
I'm not a nerd. It's not my fault they made free towels. Easy. Peyton says, how do you afford all this? Uh, well, basically, there's a man in the alley, and I trade him sexual favor for cards. How do you afford all this? How do you afford all this? Mister, tell me all your secrets. What do we got here? Steelix. You'd think a semi-vintage break would be plausible. Say a box from 2000. <coughs> semi-vintage break? No, it, it, it's the same problem as before. Oh, nice. The last pack. Look at that. Amazing rarization. This is definitely one of the best cards from this set. I love the way it looks. Fantastic, man. All right. Congratulations on that. The world has betrayed me. He says, hell yeah, my second one. <laughs> give me, give him a quick handy in COVID cough and he gets the free Pokemans. That's right. COVID cough. Coming up hot. Coming up coughing. <laughs> Your little kid impression is golden. You like the little kid vote? Uh, so, Westonini. Oh, nice. You're right here. Okay. Look at that. He got the Celebi too. Dude, this guy's getting legendary heartbeat rich. How long do your cards take to get back to you? A very long time. It doesn't matter. Even with the, the higher level service, it probably takes about four months. It's ridiculous. So, they're very backed up. COVID is affecting them, but also very high demand is affecting them. So... <clears throat> Yeah, so it just takes a very, very long time. Even with the higher level stuff, it takes... Now, one thing that was very fast was express grading. That was silly fast. That got done in like two weeks, but I think it was less than two weeks. So you could do express grading for a bazillion bucks. Uh, but if you pull something like Secret Rare Charizard from wow. Champion's Path, that might not be such a bad idea. All right. <clears throat> These are for Reikishi. All right, there's a code card. Code card for the code kids. So 285 minus 160 would be 125. You have 125 left. Toss it up there. All right. Mom, he won't sell me Champion's Path. How many spots left in the small? Very few. Here's the small. How's it going, Clinton? Thanks for that. And it's really just these spots here and this one spot here. And then it's over. And uh, we'll do a easy, we'll do an easy large on the next round, a simple card, a simple but nice card. And then I'll try to put something majestic back together again, and it'll be really wild. How's it going, Gray Wolf? After six ETB, three double box, and 30 loose packs, I finally pulled Shiny Charizard. Whew, that's expensive. You got to throw in Sloppy Handy for the champion's path. What? Sloppy Handy. You mean loose. Loose. All right. Good luck, Reikishi. He could pull it right now. Who knows? We've seen a lot of cold Champion's Path boxes, though. But maybe it's the sign that it's about to get hot. Oh, ho. So we got this. Do you even want this? I got to ask. Because, look, it's just like print lines, dude. Terrible. One small. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Obstagoon. I don't even consider it a hit when it has print lines like that. It's just bad. Alteria. Here's a white back. Marnie. You getting nervous? Without carpal tunnel. Oh, something. I'll creamy and the fairy energy. Nice. Fairy energy returns, huh? So interesting. Okay, what's here? Three, four. 
Rotom Bike, Lycanroc. Wow, man, these packs are crazy cold. All we've pulled is one V card and some of Oh, here we go. Here's another V card. Grapple Locked. Ten packs. I guess in ten packs, two V cards would actually be an acceptable pull rate because that's what you expect. Remember, two, ten packs, you would expect two hits to come out. Hyper Potion Zygarde. Two packs left. Either of them can contain the Charizard, so let's keep going. Let's keep hoping. Professor's Research is all down to the last pack. Three, four. Ah, no luck, mister. So I think what it is is our expectations are really high for this set because we want the Zard so bad, and he's so valuable. But actually, if you think about it, two V cards, we see that all the time in booster boxes. So that's pretty standard. All right, toss this over here. No luck this time, Reikishi, but you got a charge art anyways because you talked me into giving you that promo. Uh, you know, I did. I do feel bad for what happened with the base set stuff, so why not? <laughs> uh, so you got a lovely charge art there, and uh, that's nice. <laughs> not even a full art. Isn't that crazy? Reikishi, let's find your bag. It was worth the shot, huh? Where are those Charizards? Rick O. Reikishi. Two champions path. Two? Two champions path. Do you think you would get the vintage box sold if you put a time limit on it? Yeah, but if, if the time limit actually got reached, maybe what would happen is... I would then just be stuck with a bunch of unsold packs. So probably not a good idea. All right, next we have Winston, who's waited 27 minutes already. He says, one daily hit of Hidden and Shining Legends. Give me a moment. How does my butt feel about me sitting so long? Terribly. All right, let's get this Hibbins and Shining Legends. I was sorting some Hidden Fate packs out to uh, send in for grading to PSA. So some of these, <clears throat> some of these were extra bird packs I have. I hope we found. A, I hope that the odds are that these are better pulls than the uh, shiny Charizard because many of those were the ones I sent off. Well, not many. There was like a difference of four. So I had a few extra bird packs, and that's what you have here. <clears throat> I was like, God, I hope all the pulls are in the bird packs. Sneep. No point in sending off a, a hit pull to be graded, right? Or a booster pack containing a hit pull. You hope that the packs you send off are all cold, right? That would be most efficient. But in this case, we're just relying on luck. Winston. For Alligator Palkia. Hmm. I don't know. Pack number two. This is the Hidden Fates. Wow, we got to 1.3 thousand very quickly. Winston, no luck this time. I'm sorry, mister. We got to 1.3 thousand views in the first half hour. Tonight's going to be a fun night. Hey, mister, how can I purchase packs? Yeah, so if you head over to the description, there are some instructions on how to uh, participate. Ryomas, what's up, Ryoma? He says, round of Vicky Volt, Vivid Volt, Volt Tackle. Sorry, I can't speak. And Champion's Path. All right, Ro Ryoma, easy charge are right here for you, mister. Ryoma, right? Easy Charizard for Ryomas. Nah, not this time. Marnie? Alright, I tell you what. I'll open up one more, but here's how the game's going to be played, Ryoma. If it is a Charizard, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Let's see what you get. So, bonus pack. If it's anything else, you keep it. You ready? This is like a halfway bonus pack. And it's just Altaria. All right. I tried for you. I tried so hard. I tried so hard to steal your Zard. But in the end... <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Let's see what we got. <laughs> is my cough gone? No, not really. Still have it. <clears throat> Still have it. It's not as bad. Sneep. You ready, Rat Omas? 
Hey, mister. Two rounds of darkness. Two rounds of shining legends. So one thing we're going to be changing, we're not going to be calling the uh, custom booster packs games. They're not games. We're going to start talking about them as custom booster packs and custom booster boxes. Because that's what they actually are. <clears throat> he says, The fact that you're seeing Lincoln Park in every stream keeps me coming. <laughs> Concluding. One pack of champions, Pat, please, and thank you, mister. I tried so hard and got so far in the end. I tried so hard to steal your Zard, but in the end, you guys should finish the lyrics. Those are extremely cold. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Raoma, you got the cold packs, mister. One champion's path, please. Raoma with the cold packs. That sucks. Quentin, Ryan, feeling the burn. Feeling the cold pack burn. The ice burn. The freezer burn. Oh, here's Raomas. Oh, cool. You got the secret rare hop last time. See that fist? He's saying, what's up, Mr. Sister Fister? That's what he's saying. All right. Me, 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 me. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Who's next? Your boy, Russ. One round of Legendary Heartbeat for Tiki Talkies. All right, very cool. Let's see. So this was our old one. We got those open for Cirque Van. Let's get a new card out. Looks like I'm going to have to get new tape as well. Russ, five Legendary Heartbeat. We'll pull it from a fresh box when we do it, okay? To make sure you got a chance for that amazing rare. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Chris says, what's the best packs to buy? Uh, Steam Siege, by far, are the best packs. Every day, I wish I had more Steam Siege. But I just can't keep them filled. That's why we don't have any right now. Every night, I go, where's the Steam Siege? All right, Russ, you're on the card. Mars Bar says, spot number 19 and 20 in the large. The large, it's pretty small and normal size this time. Mars. Bar. Oh, wait, did he say? <coughs> 19 and 20, I put you on 10 and 11. You got to be kidding me. I got to stop letting people request spots. <laughs> this is exactly what happens. Mars bars. He says, sir, that's the small. Yeah, he said in the small. All right, what's next? Speedy Boogies. He says, three rounds of heartbeat. We going deep. Where'd I put my legendary heartbeat? I had it just like two seconds ago. <laughs> Where'd I put it? Is it in an open box somewhere? Okay, I'm totally confused. I had Legendary Heartbeat. It would have been sitting right here. And then I opened some. And then, question mark? What happened to it all? <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, let's get some more Legendary Heartbeat. Why not? But in the end... The large is still going. The one with the doggies in it. How much are those doggies in the window? <laughs> he said large. No, it says right here, spot 19 and 20 in the small. Toss this over here. What happened to those booster packs? I'm so confused. Did we really open that many legendary heartbeat? I don't think we did. I'm confused. Oh, I, I, I said a large one looking at the small what? Can I show off my PSA Hidden Baits collection? Not tonight. Darkness of balls and live shipping so I can keep the bulk. And live Still shipping. Message you my info. Thanks, mister. Do I make giveaway of Pokemon cards? I do actually, but only if everyone in the comment section 
where the live chat goes, me, 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 me. So when the comment section goes really crazy, I give away spots in the medium, sometimes the small, sometimes the large. But every everyone, literally everyone watching has to stop and go, me, 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 me. Sleep. It's the only way. Oh, we got a few people saying me. I don't know if it's enough. Me, 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 me. Sneep. Send my hidden things back to grade, please. All right. Sounds good, mister. We're getting pretty close. Jeez. You can't say that, cheese. You got to go me, 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 me. How much is that doggy in the window? Do, 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 do. All right. So if we could also get 10 subscribes, I will begin the giveaway because we got so many me, 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 me's that we are definitely going to do the giveaway now. But I'm going to wait for 10 subscribes to pass by as well, okay? So if you haven't subscribed, do me a... Oh, nice. Another amazing rare. Look how beautiful that is. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and when we hit 10, I'll go ahead and start it up, okay? Also, I'm going to know if you unsubbed and resubbed it, because I have actually a, a complete count, you know, that, that uh, I need to see that actually shift up. So if you just unsub and resub, that won't actually show up. How much is it to grade a sealed pack? Uh, I believe it's 33 if you do it through me, if you're wanting me to do it for you. We got Zarud. It's a really great card, the um, Zation. I think he's going to make money on that. I just can't figure out what I did with the rest of my legendary heartbeat packs. It's so weird. I thought I had opened a fresh box and then they just disappeared. Should have went one more round deep, says Wes Donini. <laughs> ah, man. Isn't that how it always is? <laughs> Should have just opened seven boxes of them in a row. <laughs> Stand by me. Cheese says I never subscribed in the first place. What the, f the frick? He says I live in Pakistan. Pokistan. He lives in Pokistan. Al Creamy. Look at this, Al Creamy. Me, 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 me. And then you have to say, I want a Zared. Let me show you how to spell that. You have to spell it right or it doesn't count. Let me show you how to say say that. Am I able to actually leave a message? Huh, so I can't I can't send my own message on uh in the in the live chat. So let me show you how to say I want a Zared Zared. So this is a very important way. You have to say it like this. No, no, you have to say it like this. I want with the with the U A Zared. See how spelled? I want. That's a U right here. See that? I want a Zared. How old am I? Oh, you said how are you? There you go. Tenzenberg got it. Wow. Free free Charizards for Tenzenberg. I want a Zared. <laughs> you guys are too fun. <laughs> All right, here's Sekrom. All right, let me check and see if we've gotten 10 subs, by the way, real fast, because I bet we have not. Because it is hard to get people to hit that sub button. Let me go ahead and log into my account. I want a Zared. Mom! They're bullying me. Cool, so that the count is at 7,684. 7, Heartbeat two round unbroken bond. Place is here. Katie says something. I missed it. Katie says, my phone is on 1%. Hurry, I need my Zared. <laughs> I've only got I'm I've only got 1%. <laughs> Are you gonna send me a Zared? Oh no, man. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. That's what makes this channel so funny. We tease the kids and it's like they make the content for me really wild okay bunch of hollows in here he went to zareds <laughs> i only have one percent i want a code string cheese 
All right, very good, mister. Beautiful pull. Now, who was this for again? This was for Speedy Boogers. Very nice, Speedy Boogers. Let's go find this bag. The Boogers that are very speedy. Dude, you already had one. All right, Speedy Boogers. <coughs> now you're going to have Pokey Communism. Now you're going to have Pokey Communism. You can't have two of these. That's not your... That's not your Zacian. That's our Zacian. Okay, are you guys ready for the giveaway? So for the giveaway, we've got Das Boot. And uh, basically what you're going to want to do is guess a number between 1 and 100. And then I'm going to roll this an undetermined number of times. And uh, the person who guessed the right number is going to get a spot in the medium, a free spot in the medium. How nice will that be? Okay. Ten of heartbeat, bulkless. Ten of heartbeat. Let's get some hot pulls. So after Speedy Boogers, we have Katie the Mighty, and she wants two in the small. All right. Here you go, Katie. How do I spell it again? All right. Put you on 10 and 11. Abadillo says two champions. Let's get this for Abadillo real fast while people are making their guesses. Make those guesses, people. You are allowed to have more than one guess, okay? But you have to guess between one and a hundred. All right. What do we got? Three, four. Lucario V. What a nice Lucario. Next we have... Cheese guessing 69. That's a pretty good guess. Damn. Ma champ. Hmm. All right. Looks like you're going to walk away with the Lucario V. And that what that goes to who? Abadillo. Abadillo. Sounds like Armadillo. Two more in the small. Let's go find Abadillo's bag. I don't know if you had a bag. He doesn't say he has a bag. Let's go ahead and check for it. He would be very recent, I believe. If he did have one. All right, so we're going to get you a new bag, Abadillo. Okay. Abadillo. Toss this over here. All right, let's see who wins. Oops. So 18 <coughs> plus 10 is 28, plus 8 is 36, 36 plus 10 is 46, 46 and 16 is 62, the winning number is 62, so who had 62? Oh my gosh, it was Reikishi, here you go Reikishi, Reikishi is the winner, here you go mister, thank you so much Reikishi, wow that was really lucky man. All right, who's next? DA, eight rounds of Hidden Fates with shot, live shipping. He says, and four rounds of Legendary Heartbeat. Holy cow, man. This guy's going deep. All right, let's get some more Legendary Heartbeat open then. Reikishi, that was so cool, man. I didn't expect you to win, but you totally did. This man is very good at guessing games. He says you, do, you don't do... No, no, no. We still give the giveaway at the end. We still do that. Don't worry. Yeah, the giveaway at the end is still a thing. <laughs> Everyone's saying 62. He says... All right, good night. I'm unsubbing for rigging against me. Actually, I don't care. I don't know any Pokemans. I did it. I rigged it against him. So let's see, one, two, <laughs> hit against them, three, this is for DA, right? Four. I rigged it against him, what? 
Those were legitimate elections. What are you talking about? Is that the hidden fates? What's the other one? Eight rounds of hidden fates? Really? Damn, dude. All right, so I'm going to grab these up top. One, two, three, four, five. We need to open up another tin. Bought my first couple packs on the 25th because a couple got kicked out of Target for fighting about them. So thanks for all the info. What? What are you talking about, mister? Oh, by the way, so this is the new way that they put the promo card into a tin. And what you do to remove these really well, you just take this corner and tear it. So once that corner's torn, this comes out very cleanly. It's too bad, actually. It still looks like it got damaged during insertion. That's what she said. Coochie Man! I think we got Coochie Man over here. So because they're so exciting, let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead and start with the hidden fates, and then we'll move on to the legendary heartbeat. Coochie man. Thank god the plastic made me mess my cards up. What? Sneep. One, two. Three, four. Five, six. <laughs> How's it going, Russ? All right. We'll probably do the next giveaway tonight at 100 subscribes. Good luck, mister. These are expensive, so you need something to show up. This is for DA, and he ordered live shipping at the same time. Here it goes. Oh, okay. Already a good start. That's full art lady. Nice, dude. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Pokeverse. A lot of them came out damaged. Three, four. Sabrina's suggestion. She's so suggestive. Oops. <laughs> Jumping out of my hand a little bit. Giovanni's exile. Three, four. Oh, okay, you pick up Guzma as well. That's actually quite good. So you're picking up two full arts. The full arts usually only show up once every 10 packs. So you just pulled two in a row. You're doing well. Oh, man, you're killing it. You got the secret rare birds as well. Now, if you can get one more hit pull, I think we can say that you actually might have even made some money. Mom, it's the birds. Mew. You got two packs left. Nice. You got Matang. Woo, it's all riding on the last pack. But I'm going to guess the last pack is cold because you've got way too many hits already. That's my guess. Oh, no, you got something. Damn, dude. You got three full arts. Very good. Aether Foundation employee. They're all trainers, which is odd, but, I mean, they're still full arts. Nice, dude. Okay, so we started with Hidden Fates. What do you think's most valuable? Probably the Guzma, right? I have no idea. Next, we have the Legendary Heartbeats. Hopefully you get lucky with these as well. All right, we'll open these five at a time, right? Like bosses. You know what? Those are not lining up very well. And and it, honestly, it does actually feel like some of these are pushed forward. I better just be careful. Yeah, yes, push forward. All right, we don't want to snip anything by accident. That would be big sad. Sneep. All right, and the next five, let's see what we got. 
guess the hits were in the DA birds. Yeah, so I guess there were hits in the birds packs. That's good, because I don't want to send the, the hits off, right? Wouldn't it be sad if I sent an actual SV-49 Charizard off to grade? Not to grade, but stuck in a booster pack that's being sent off to grade? That'd be sad. That'd be too bad. Man, you have a big order, mister. Mister. Sneep. So what's going on in your lives, guys? How are things for you? What's the gossip? How's my day going? My day's going pretty good. Just worked all day. Like, the whole day. How many packs are in the booster box? I think 20. No, I think it's 30. Oh, 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 come on. We gotta line these up real well. Can we get a cat cam? Actually, my cat's not here this time. Hmm, weird. She must be uh, playing somewhere. She's in the kitchen, I think. You gotta have your wisdom teeth out. Just tell that Dr. Heck no. Be like, you're just trying to get my wisdom teeth for the tooth fairy. These are my wisdom teeth. And then pull them out yourself, yourself like a boss. You ready? This is for DA. Oh, nice, dude. Starting out with Secret Rares of Rude. We've got Shaman Hollow. Deancey Hollow. Loogies. We like Loogies. Just like we like the Charizard from the Volt Tackle set. Have you guys gotten your Charizard from Volt Tackle? He's waiting. It's Colossal. It's a nice Charizard to add to your Charizard collection. He says, I didn't know about that, Zarude. Yeah, Zarude's in this set. Another Luis? We'll take it. Have I got any Digimons? No. No Digimons. Place this right here. How creamy. She's so creamy. Place her there. Place her here. Zygarde. Wow, these are a lot of packs. Four rounds, huh? <coughs> Man, you went so deep. This is Zekrom. What do we have? Is that another... Whoa, look at this. Steelix. Damn, that looks so cool. We haven't seen this one. That's Secret Rare Steelix. Beautiful. Okay, place that there. Land wrists. Genesect. Here's another Steelix. Steelix V. Xerneas. Shaman. It's Zerud. Zerud V. And finally... Mag Hello. I think we're back. How's it going, guys? What about Cynthia PSA 10 for one CP ETB? Uh, no, I probably won't do that. The Champion's Path sells too easily. Look at this Magirna. Oh, man. He's doing that fake lag scam. <laughs> That's right. I got a, uh, <laughs> what do they call that? The lag switch? So, to go over the polls, no, no amazing rare showed up, unfortunately. But we have these two secret rares, Zarud and Steelix. Nice. Um, I tell you what I'd like to do. DA, I don't know if you'd like to do this with me. You went so deep already. You want these last five? Because I have a strong suspicion there's an amazing rare in them. Let me know, DA. I'll hold off on shipping your item.
He already went super deep tonight. I feel like, uh, you know, he says, oh my gosh, the title. Who's next? So while he's trying to decide that, Westonini says, two spots in the small. Two spots. You got it, Westonini. And Firefighter, Firefight T would like Volt Tackle. Is he still here, by the way? Is DA still here? Trump tested positive for COVID. Did he really? That'll be interesting because he's in the old age range. Trump tweets that he tested positive for coronavirus. Wow. Huh. Wow, wouldn't it be a crazy election if he just died from coronavirus? That would be the absolute wildest ending to anything. Here you go, mister. Here you go, mister. Here you go. So I believe that was DA. It is DA. All right, DA. So I did that as a favor for you because I think what happened. Well, you went so deep. Let's go ahead and get these last few cards open for you. What do the Republicans nominate if that happened? I have no idea. But I think that if Donald Trump actually died of COVID, that would basically be the end of the election right there. Biden would basically win. Would he? I think he would. That would be extremely ironic if he died of COVID. On the other hand, if he uh, lived through COVID and uh, seemed perfectly fine, maybe it would contribute to his argument that COVID's not as actually as deadly as, as you know, we, we feel it is. And shutting down everything isn't necessarily required. Pence gets his shot. I don't know. I don't see Pence winning. Pence is too, he's too calm or something. All right. Are you ready, DA? Togetix. I don't think Pence would win it. There it is. Amazing rare Zamazenta. <laughs> I had a feeling he was right around the corner, DA, so I couldn't couldn't let you buy so many of them and then have it squeeze by you like that. Ampharos. Genesect. And finally. DNC. All right. Very good. Now we can start the, uh, let's go ahead and begin the shipping. Speedy Booker says Zation for Zamazenta. Oh, let me hold off. DA, do you want to make that trade? Speedy Boogers doesn't want his second Zation. Would you like to trade your Zamazenta for that? Wait, looks like all right, here we go. Do a, oop, do a quick trade. That's the easiest trade of your life. <laughs> Both people's cards are right here on the table. All right, let me go ahead and pop this guy into the middle of the pile again. So we do that to keep him safe. All right, and now let me go ahead and wrap it up and send it off, DA. I think that's a nice trade. Speedy Boogers gets both cards. All right. Sweet. Breaking news. Donald Trump dies from COVID. The most ironic death possible. Woo. All the Republican voters right now, they're all sweating. They're like, uh, he's going to be okay though, right? He's old. He's in that age group. Imagine how many Democrats are crossing their fingers that he does die right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. I think both sides would be that way. Your opponent dying from old age is a legitimate strategy.
All right. Trump and Melania both tested positive. I mean, he goes out to these big events. How could he not eventually get it, right? All right. I'm on 1%. Where's my Zared? You know what? I believe I have your address, but uh, let me just confirm it real fast. I don't remember. What's your what's your name in Discord? Is it is it just DA? Doesn't look like it is. Hey DA, go ahead and send me a message in Discord just so I can confirm the address because I have your, I have what appears to be your address. The problem is your address. Uh, I I've got your DA name down here. And it's just not that distinct, I guess. It makes me nervous, because what we have in that bag is pretty expensive. We'll make sure it goes to the right person. All right, yep, we have it right. It's me, DA. <laughs> All right, we're shipping it right now. Sweet. Any ideas on when the second wave of Champions Path comes out? Uh, I believe it comes out late October. Late October. Yeah, Donald Trump tweeted it. What? This would be pretty interesting. I mean, I guess Boris Johnson got it, didn't he? Okay, so we are done officially with DA. We are moving on to Firefight T, who's been waiting already one hour. Time to start catching up, guys. That was a large order, so it took us a while. Now we're going to try and catch up. My package came in, and this Misty Favors isn't a real card, right? The lewd one? <laughs> it's Spick and Span. What's up, man? Uh, no, that's not a real card. And, uh, okay, well, there we go. I accidentally shipped it to Spick and Span. I must have grabbed it and placed it in your bag. I shouldn't have had it sitting here. I probably did this. I probably scooped your cards up and grabbed it along with it. I was like, where'd the loot Misty go? So I guess I, I accidentally sent your... Uh, that's Devin's, by the way. That's supposed to go to Devin. <laughs> Do you like it, though? Rate the rate the loot Misty. That's Misty from Sun and Moon BDSM. Look it up. It's a real thing. He says, I wanted it. Who's this again? I don't remember this one. Secret rare, though. Hey, mister, the first was my birthday. What? Little bat. I love it, keeping it forever. <laughs> okay, it's all yours. Yeah, it was my mistake to ship it in this case, and uh, so now I owe Devin. <laughs> oh, my God. Sticky Misty. It's about to be Sticky Misty. So, that was for Firefight T. You got Sexy Trainer Girl and... Hypno Eyes or Beetle here. That's, is it Bo? From Sword. Oh, I never fought her. Because I had, I had Shield. I bought Shield, so I never fought her. I didn't recognize her at all. Okay. Deep. Fire. Fighty. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to add the numbers this time because your name is pretty distinct already. I could see someone being firefighter, but fight is pretty distinct. Somebody else comes in with that exact name. <laughs> Guess it's possible. I really, really want Diglets. Mister, new pin box for Champions Path come out tomorrow. Do they really? That's cool. Hey, Mister, I have PSA nine banned Misty's tears. That's going for one fifty. What can I trade it for? Are you saying over here you have it for Misty's tears? Uh, you can make me an offer. Mister, how many spots on the medium are left? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Woo! <laughs> Tenzenberg. Two rounds of champions. Looks like you wanted one round of champion. I think you said that earlier. You ready? Mark me down for box of vault tackle. We'll do it right now, Lou. All right. Your champion's path was cold. They're all cold. Haven't you figured it out? There is no such thing as a hot champion's path pack. They're all freezing cold. A whole box of Volt Tackle, huh? Let's get that box of Volt Tackle going. All right, this is a sealed box. 
blue. We're unsealing it right now. How big are Pokemon cards in centimeter? Uh, 20 centimeter. Did you get my heartbeat order? I'm sure I did. Uh, there is an hour long wait already. Two spots in the large. All right, Lou. Your card's gone. Good luck, Lou. Hopefully you pull the Secret Rare Chubby Cheeks Pikachu. I think that's one of the best ones in this set. So there's a very long wait time for those of you who have ordered cards. Uh, it's just a case that there's a lot of people that would like to open some live cards. So sit back and relax and see what everyone else pulls. And you'll hear your name called when it's your turn. Uh, and hopefully your name gets called soon. But this is actually going to wait. This is going to add to the wait time, what I'm doing right now. We're taking care of Lou Perillo's uh, medium win from yesterday. So that's definitely going to contribute to win or uh, contribute to the wait. Donald Trump test positive for COVID-19. He's going to recover from it and be like, see, it's nothing. That's probably what what he's going to do. He's going to be like, it's, oh, right off the bat. Look at that. Hyper rare Darmanitan. Beautiful. It was the first pack. We've never pulled this one. Where are the Yugi's? We're going to start offering Yugi's at 10,000 subscribes. So if you want to help me get the Yugi's, do me a favor and hit that sub button, okay? Only if you want to hear me say, Mom! He rigged the, he rigged the giveaway! I don't like it! I don't like it! I hate him! I hate him! I'm unsubbing! Age of Slash. His Twitter replies are dark AF. It's going to be everyone going, I hope you die. <laughs> Mom, this is boring. This is so boring. I'm not going to watch this. Snorlax. I'm on 1% on my mom's phone. What do we have here? We got Zapdos. Oops. These were stuck together. They do that. Did you hear Donald Trump's going to die of COVID? Yeah, he tweeted that he's got COVID. Now my wife can run off to Twitter. Are you going to run off to Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He could, I guess, in theory. Donald Trump, you guys think he had a pre-existing condition? Too many McDonald's fries? Oops. Can you have a Diglett? I don't know what a Diglett is. What would my Charizard Rainbow Rare be if it graded a 10? Nice. You got Chubby Cheeks Pikachu right here. Well, this is a terrific box. You got the Hyper Rare Darmanitan. You got your Pikachu now. I think this was a solid box for sure. And, you know, we haven't pulled the Secret Rare yet. Maybe you pull the Secret Rare Sexy Mamas. Let's see what you get. Donald Trump's got a little junk in the trunk. I don't know if you guys have ever played, or watched him play tennis or golfing. Not that I'm judging, but all I'm saying is that he's really old and a little out of shape. And I think it would be almost too ironic if he was defeated by COVID, of all things. That's like a, that's like a story. That's like a movie ending. And then he ironically died of the disease. Pull a Team Rocket and blast off. We got Skoruppy. No, that's Drapion. I'm sorry. We got Drapion V. If he dies, it's a waste of cake. I, I think he's going to do what he can to survive it. And then he's going to say, see, it's not even that bad. That's what he's going to say. Or he's just going to, he's going to seem like tougher from it. He's going to be like, see, nothing could kill me. Now you have to vote for me. That's what I think his angle will be on it. Last pack. Oh, nice. Picking up the Charizard right at the end. Perfect. So weirdly, I don't think this box had a secret rare in it. It only had the uh, hyper rare. Maybe that's how it works. If you get the hyper rare, you don't get the secret rare. Which is interesting because I would mean Volt Tackle is a little stingier than Heartbeat. He's the most famous person in the world. He'll be fine. 
Not necessarily. Uh, there, were, there were famous people dying of COVID. Herman Cain died. Remember that? So who remembers Herman Cain? He was a Republican black man who ran for president. He used to be CEO of Coca-Cola. And he was saying that, uh, you know, COVID's not such a big deal. Don't worry about a mask. He actually got COVID himself. He's a famous uh, politician. And then he uh, abruptly died of COVID. So it could happen. Ooh. All I'm saying is if Donald Trump lives through it, he's going to be like, I've been ordained by God. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. <laughs> Check it out. We got <coughs> some really nice pulls here. Beautiful. All right, mister. A few months ago, it was in the hundreds. I had COVID in June for 30 days. I'm in a vegan workout. That would be cures, but if they were, they would not be stable. What? Look at that. Okay, so Lou Perillo. Lou Perillo. I know you have a bag. I think you have two bags, Lou. I think I made you another bag. So let's go ahead and find one of them at least. Right here, Lou. No, that's Louis Rivero. Riviero? Yeah, maybe Rivero. Lou Perillo. James. Jake Hill. Jimmy. Jeff. Is this the right box? I think it is. Jordan. Here it is. Lou Perillo. Sweet. It's got 99.97 survival rate. He will be good. All right. Well, hopefully. That would be the craziest fluke ever if he died from it, though. That's that's what everyone's going to be talking about for the next week. They're going to be like, is he, is he toast? All right. Now that we're done with the loop, Perillo, we're ready to move on to Matt Chun, I believe. Let's see. Matt Chun says small. Do we have a Matt Chun in the small? No, we do not. So it is Matt Chun's turn. Here you go, Matt. Matt only waited an hour for his turn. Holy. Matty Merck says one in the small. Here you go, Matty Merck. West Donini, two rounds of darkness, two rounds of shining legends. That's West Donini? Damn, guys. You guys are going deep. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, older people, the, the risk is much higher on older people. Over 70. I wonder who gave it to him. Imagine if he did die. That would mean that the person who gave Donald Trump COVID unwittingly killed the president. They didn't mean to. Bring back the communists. <laughs> Sneep. Sneep. Probably one of his kids. Yeah, potentially. Sneep. Well, I mean, whether people want to be honest about it or not, I'm confident many Democrats are hopeful that the virus gets them. They'd be like, uh, mission successful or something like that. <laughs> uh, because, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a war, isn't it? The politics. Really, it's a, quite a fierce political battle right now. So they're like, you know... If he went due to the COVID, that will be a perfect ending. That's what they'll say. It was a perfect phone call. All right, we got Doug Trio. What do we have here? This is for West Donini, right? West Donini pulling the Salamance. Nancy Pelosi going to throw a parade. <laughs> we'll see. Again, if it doesn't kill him, he's just going to say that, see, it's not so bad. And he's going to be like, I'm too tough. And he's going to be like, you know. Uh, nothing can stop me or something like that. That's what he's going to do. Three, four. Electric. Three, four. Bunnelby. <laughs> Watermelon Fox. Do ba do be do do ba do be do. Eternatus V Max, sweet. We've got a white back. What do we got? What do we got? Sweet coon, and that's a green. If <laughs> you don't vote for <coughs> Biden, you don't care about bookie communism. 
Do I do PSA grading? Yes, I do. Yeah, this channel is all about grading. I don't even, I don't sell cards raw. I like to have all my cards graded before I sell them. Here we go. What do we got? Actually, I do have big, I have big boxes of cards that I don't feel like grading because they're not going to get the grade I want. Oh, man, both the Shinings were cold. So overall, Wes Donini, my opinion, this round was a little bit cold. You only picked up the Eternatus and the Salamis, and the Shining Legends did not have any test tube Mew tubes in it this time. I'm sorry, mister. <clears throat> Looks like the Zacian's staying in the front. Who's next? Eddie G, -U G Unit. He says, one pack of Champions Pla Path, please and thank you. All right. Good luck. Can you send me cards to grade? That is possible. Uh, you need to include a list of, not a list, but an explanation for what's going on. And uh, when it arrives, I can go through it and tell you what to... Uh, what to grade or how much it would cost or whatever. I have a few people that are doing that. Yes, that's right. Russ is nineteen dollars for that. Or no, actually it's twenty dollars now. Okay, so grading went up by a dollar because of the changes PSA made. Okay, so it's twenty dollars. Okay, who's next? Eddie G. Eddie G. Unit. No luck. I'm so sorry, Mister. Eagle says one champion's path. So Eagle's doing the same thing. Small and medium. Looks like you pull a whale lord. Wow, I didn't even know he was in the set. This is the first time we're seeing him. Eagle, eagle, eagle. Wouldn't it suck if this fell over? Eagle. Egg, that boy, ear snot. Elliot Jams, Dvorak. <clears throat> did Eagle say he needed a new bag? He did not. Let's check up top. I need a new bag, mister. I stumbled on this stream from autoplay. I've been watching because of the efficiency. You open the packs. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been told that I open the packs faster than anyone else on the YouTubes, which you think would be a bad thing, but actually is, is quite an unusual thing, isn't it? We have people waiting for like an hour to have their stuff opened. And so I try to open them really fast so people don't have to wait as long to see their cards. Your pull rates are crazy, believe it or not, says Speedy Boogers. Is it? Nice. I think we've had a lot of good cards pulled. Uh, and that, maybe that's because I buy the cards in a certain way. You know, one thing I really avoid doing, I do not like to buy from individuals like collectors. I like to only buy from distributor types and, and card store types. That's it. Because those guys don't tamper with it, and that's very important. They, they don't tamper with it. They don't search them. Like, let me explain. So let's say you're a hardcore collector, and you know how searching works. You could buy yourself a case of Champion's Path, and maybe you've got the money to do that. And then you could start opening the, the, uh, the uh, Elite Trainer boxes until you pull a Charizard. Once the Charizard's pulled, maybe you go, eh, sell the rest of the Elite Trainer boxes off because I probably won't pull a second one right afterwards. The, the odds of that are, maybe they're there, but they're very low. So you just sell the rest off. Those are searched now. And, and he's getting rid of them. And that's so unfair because nobody actually knows that that's occurred. So that's why I just like to buy straight from card stores and distri It costs more, but, uh, you know, it, I think the pulls are better, which is way more important. Okay, Relic, he says, darkness balls and live shipping so I can keep the bulk. All right. Relic, be sure to contact me right now on Discord to make sure that your message is bumped to the top of my messages. Here we go. Good luck, Relic. Best pull in this set is definitely the Charizard VMAX, followed probably by the Golden Rillaboom, if I had to guess. Golden Rillaboom. I know, guy in the alley. Unsub! Rigged! I fell asleep last night. What? Russ! Russ, why you keep falling asleep? <clears throat> I can't allow this, Russ. There has to be punishments. In fact, I'm thinking spankies are in order. I spent my rent money on Pokemon cards. What? <laughs> Don't do that, mister. Pokemon cards are a luxury. Rent is a necessity. What are you doing? You didn't spend it here, did you? 
Don't do that, man. Don't do it. You pay rent first, and if you had some free... Oh, nice. Send a Scorch full art. I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I had rent money, and I turned it all into poke <coughs> Pokemans. Carablast, what? Oh, man, I need coughing pills so bad. I don't know why I don't just buy them. I, I forget to every day. Bond Sweet and Beer Tick. Relic says, you're taking away my cart. Relic, you're so right. Relic, I do it because it's muscle memory. Hold on. Don't worry. The, the good news is we can put it all back together. Tell you what, I'll give you some bonus as well. Let's just get you all the cards. How about that, Relic? Give you a nice, healthy chunk of the hollows too, okay? Okay. Do 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 do, scooby doo be doo. So I just sent in an economy shipment. Does PSA work on it? Hell no. They take it and they sell it. And you're sent to the gulag, mis gulag, mister. That's me pointing. Point. Send this man to the gulags. This man thought that he could send economy gulag. And then they would go, babushka. Babushka. Your husband has been sent to the gulag. And now you have turned to the drink, babushka. What will your children do? Huh? Look how nice this is. Dude, I've mastered this. Where are my envelopes? I've gotten too good at this. They're gonna call me Coochie Man in a minute here. <laughs> Wait, do you need a loan? <laughs> All right, let's get your address. Who could this be? Is this Relic? Okay, we jump up here. Do, 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 do. We're building up the label now, guys. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Just want to remind you, if you didn't provide email, I do not provide tracking, okay? Too many people request tracking. There is a way to get tracking, and that's to provide email before I make the label. All right, toss it over there, because then you'll get an auto you get an automatic email with the tracking from my software. Okay, who's next? Kodakon, send my hib and fates pack to grade. Pretty please. Come on. Oops. I don't think that'll affect it at all, trust me. <laughs> Didn't realize it was upside down. PSA 1! I don't think that's how it works, though. So let's see. We need to go over to the PSA requests. Kodakon. One hidden fates. Shiny Zard. Pack grade. Okay. And now you've been entered there. And now I need to put this in a box somewhere. I'll be right back. I have a box. All right, you're in the box. Oh, it feels good to stand up. Let me stretch for a minute. Oh, man. Way too much sitting, guys. What the hell? I'm leaving this stream as boring. Mom! He rigged the giveaway! He rigged it! <laughs> I knew it! Um, I looked, and actually, um, I was the one who guessed 62. So, uh, let's see. Feed me three rounds of heartbeat, two rounds of unbroken bonds. Is that so? Give me a minute. 
two rounds of unbroken. You know I just like to tease you guys, right? I'm a big teaser. That's the truth. Mister, if I vote for you as president of Pokistan, do you promise to change our currency to Pokecoin? That's right. We're going to be using the, the Poke, Poke coins or whatever. Wait, this is a full tackle. Did he? Oh, he wanted heartbeat. Hold on. How's the large looking? If one more person asks me that, I'm going to I'm gonna cancel the large. Toss it over here. Mister, 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 mister. Hey, mister. Hey, mister, mister. Mister, how's the large? <laughs> I don't show people the large. Every time somebody asks, they say, how's the large? And I say, I don't know. <laughs> But maybe you're asking the audience, so I think when I read it, I feel pressured to go look. <laughs> How can I buy packs? That's right. <laughs> now he punches the air. So one, two, Three. All right. <clears throat> I'm dying. I think I have COVID. I've been coughing for too long. I looked it up. The average number of days that you cough if you have COVID is 19. That's the average. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, it feels like I've been coughing for about three weeks. That seems about right. So give you... Give your cards a little COVID cough. <laughs> a little bonus COVID cough. Spankies. You better not be giving me spankies. <laughs> Sneep. All right. We got the legendary heartbeat ready to go. We'll do one at a time. We'll do unbroken bonds right after. What do we got? Genesect. He sounds like he's going to say, every time I say Genesect, I feel like I meant to say Genesex. He's like, mmm, give me some of that Genesex. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Just The word just sounds right. Genesex. We have Colossal. Wow, he's so Colossal. Places here. Damn, that's a big boy. Oh, amazing rare Raikou. Beautiful. All right. How's it going, Chris? You have a nice night, mister. I'll creamy. Oops. Some Alabama. That sounds like some Alabama witchcraft. Zorora. Is that Zorora? Oops. They were sticking. Those packs like the stick, the Japanese ones. Pack was missing VMAX? Yeah, I don't know. I noticed that too. That was weird. We'll run through the uh, common and commons real fast just to see. We got Ampharos. Pre-used packs. Pre-used. Oh, another secret rare Steelix. I really like this card. This is very cool. All right. Quick quick look. At, we're going to see if we can find. Uh, I don't think we're. Yeah, it's not in here. All right. Yeah, it appears there was no Al Creamy VMAX. Just the Al Creamy itself. Mmm, so creamy. Like a, like a cream pie. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, beautiful, amazing rare Raikou. Next up, we have the Unbroken Bonds. Let's get those next. Sneep. Sneep. A sneep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sneep. 
set this down here. The Poke Packs are so good that people are preferring the Poke Packs. They're like, I'm gonna get the Poke Packs. This volcano looks so cool. Let's toss them in. My birthday, yes, on Tuesday, and I am 31 years old today. He's not spamming crap. He's just trying to say it's his birthday. <coughs> That's not crap. Three, four. I think it's time for uh, a new moderator, though. Who's ready to be the next moderator? Me, 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 me. I think we could use an extra moderator. I mean, 3K viewers. It's a lot of viewers. Toss this over here. Patsu. Patsu says, not me. All right, Patsu, you got the job. Duskstone. Sweet. Taboas. Can I just ban everyone and leave five on chart? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shiny doesn't like me anymore. Me, 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 me. I only mod if I've given <laughs> Zared Mister. I'll only do it for the free Zareds. <laughs> Hurry up or my phone will die. All right, so we have our hollows here. I might for bulk places here. Will I be paid with the Zared if I moderator, says Achilles. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Beautiful Raikou. And this went right over to feed me. He's so hungry. You know, I have this drink, and I really don't drink much of it once the live stream's actually started. That's because if I drink it, I have to use the restroom more. Here we are. Oh, feed me. You had the beautiful Rayquaza as well. Look at that. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. I'll do it for a spot in the large. Wow, these guys are so generous. All I have to do is give them cards. <laughs> The real Mr. Ink says, hey, Mr. Round of Heart, Round of Bolt, and a Round of Unbroken Bonds. Also, can I please keep all the Jap cards on this one? I may request shipping soon. Thanks, Mr. All right, but you got to get that live shipping because I don't want to store bulk on my table, okay? I really don't. Uh, the other option is bulk boxes. If you're somebody who thinks you're going to go real deep and be buying cards for a while, feel free to get a... Talk to me about getting a bulk box. There's, there's actually one spot open right now for bulk boxes. There is one bulk box available. So, let's jump into the Volt Tackle. Give me a second. Mister, I got the same drink and didn't really like it. Too citrusy. That's exactly why I like it. I love citrus. The orange flavor, the, the lemon flavor, those have always been my favorite. Oh, I didn't need to open a new box of this. There's a lot of this already. You only simp for Olivia. One, two, three, four, five. That's a free drink. Is there really 30 booster packs in Volt? If so, I owe you money, says Irvin. Um, shoot, I just opened a box. Uh, we'll find out, okay? We'll make sure we don't make a mistake. Okay, so, real Mr. Inks. Heart round... Fault round, unbroken bonds. Let's go get the unbroken bonds. I will mod for three empty card sleeves. How much for all the rest of the large custom spots? Oh, I don't know. Some undetermined amount of money. Toss this over here. I guess it would depend on knowing how many spots are left. Hmm. Interesting. We've got Froki. If I if mod apps are open, where can I apply? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I take applications. I think I just kind of watch over people and be like, hmm, he might be a good mod. Nice dude, pulling the full art Reds challenge. That's a very hot pull. Reds challenge. People love this card. Is this a sports shop with the side? Oh no, the 
hand, the, the card economist stole it all. No, I'm just kidding. So we haven't opened them. I did that specifically because we were going into lag. <coughs> so now that the lag is open, let's get them open. Sneep. The, the lag is over. Let's get them open. Oh, those are sticking forward. So we got to be careful with those. Hold on. We talked about unprofessional. That was actually very professional. I handled that lag very well. Okay, there we go. Stream stops again. Sneep. Toss this over here. I want my Freezard. I want a Zared. My my phone's on uh, one percent. <laughs> Shaman. What a shaman. I would give my own life for Pakistan. Deansi. Togepi. Where my shiny Zard go? Shiny Zard go. All right. Nice. I think... Oh, we got one more pack. What do we got? Oh, it's going to be hollow loogies. Loogies. All right. Now for the Pikachu set. Old. Pikachu set's definitely harder than the Legendary Heartbeat set for pulls, in my opinion. We got Snorlax. No. What do we got here? Ooh, Aegislash. Sweet. He says, this isn't Twitch. You'll buy seven of the large doggos. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like there's room. Feel free. That's a lot of doggos. Oh, unless somebody else bought spots before you, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Do you really want to buy seven spots? What if you don't win any of them? Or what if you don't win? That would be really expensive. You'll be losing like 140, man. All right, great pulls, mister. Mr. Inks. Oh, Mr. Inks says he wanted his bulk. Mr. Inks, <clears throat> that's way too much bulk. Tell you what, man, when you ship, I can just toss in some extra bulk, but you're asking for, like, a chunk of bulk this big. Actually, I don't even know if the $4 would cover that. I think that would jump over, that would jump over the 4-ounce threshold. I think it would still cover it. All right. Mist, is it the Mr. Inks? It is, the real Mr. Inks. We're going to put that in your bag for now. And I'll just try to remember that you like the, uh, you want the bulk. Is the room in the medium? Nope, the medium's all full. Whatever you do, don't buy in the medium. Clayton Moreno. Nice to meet you, Clayton. He says, 10 of heartbeat. Bookless, first time buying. All right. We are now sold out of the legendary heartbeat. Let me go change it. That was fast. Legendary Heartbeat sold out. Okay, put that back there. I need the Zareds. Speedy Booger says, what to open now? Trump has the Rona. I know we heard about that. That's pretty crazy, mister. That's pretty cray-cray. <clears throat> One round of darkness. Get me a nice Charizard pack and centigrade. Please open the rest. You ready, Clayton? Here we go. Five and five. Sweet. You want Daddy Trump to give you the koof... We're going to go ahead and push the cards down. I think that it, it looks pretty bad on him because he was like making fun of Biden for wearing the mask and being too careful. And he was like making fun of reporters and stuff like that. And, and then he got the, the virus. And, you know, if he died from the virus, I think that would be... Pretty much the end. I think if he lives through the virus, he will be 
pretty much where he started off at. He'll say, see, the virus isn't so bad. That's what he'll say. But if he dies from the virus, that'll be it. Not a great way to go either. I mean, that's, that's like the end of your whole presidential legacy. You're probably going to be remembered for downplaying the virus and then dying from it later. So that will be, historically, that's how he'll be remembered. Uh, but I don't know. I think he'll live through it. It would be too easy if he died from it, wouldn't it? <coughs> yeah, that would be really terrible for him if he died that way. Here we go. Coronavirus does not care about money. That's correct. Now we're going to have to see how healthy he was. Because I think part of it is how healthy you are. I don't know. He seems pretty healthy, though, doesn't he? He's out of shape, for sure. But uh, he seems energetic, at least. Oh, what'd what we get? The oh, nice. Who the heck is this? Oh, man. Look at those shoulders. Those are some pointy shoulders, man. She's got some square edges. I have never even seen this. What, Bethany? This is Bethany? She looks like a Bethany. Ha, mama. <clears throat> Could all of the characters in Pokemon just have been Bethany, please? <clears throat> We've got Reggie. Ooh, nice. Amazing rare Raikou. So your pulls were really, really nice. Steelix. Oops. Dialga. Reshiram and Genesect. What? It's Genesect. So cool. Sweet. Very good, Clayton. This was Clayton's first time opening packs. What do you guys think? You think he did pretty good? Clayton, I think you got really lucky, mister. Not a lot of people pull these uh, hyper rares. Wow. Very nice, mister. Let's get you a bag. Clayton, your name's very close to my last name. My last name's Caton, which is uh, also English, I believe, or British, or whatever the term is. Isn't Clayton British? Mr. Moreno. GCC, put the small king back into the small game, sir. I want DAA baby Pokemon. Sir, and I fall asleep because I get tired like you, sir. Wink, wink. You're not allowed to get story. tired. You got to stay up all night, just like me. That's the rules. <laughs> Katie says two more in the small. You got it, Katie. Good luck, Katie. Sweet. I'm the warrior. Two spots in the large. Those are expensive spots. Good luck, I'm the warrior. Those are pricey. Pricey dogs. One person's going to walk away like a lucky dog. Quinton says, one small, one medium. Kodakon, <coughs> round of <coughs> excuse me, round of darkness. Give me a Charizard pack and send a grade, please. Open the rest. Okay, so let's see. Here's a Charizard pack. Send a grade. So Kodakon, in order for me to send this off to grade for you, you're going to have to pay for the grading for this pack as well. Okay, we'll set this right here. Charizard. Sneep. Plastic all stuck here. Two, three, four. Sweet. Kodakon. Let's see what he pulls. Sneep. 
All right, we got those all steeped. How many cards you got to grade to get that black label? Uh, only one if you pick out a really good card. How much for that last bulk spot? What are you talking about, bulk spot? We got Eternatus. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Bulk Spot. Green. Cufon. He's not that cute. Oh, how much for the last bulk box? Oh, it's $14. Once fond and loved Mr. Please. Excelgor. Sounds like some kind of magical spell you would use in Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so we'll place this over here. Code of Con, you have Eternatus and this sealed booster pack. Pre-grade and live shipping. Does that include bulk? Does that include bulk? Ah, uh, we can grab you some bulk. Code Con. There you go, mister. Honestly, I feel lucky, RN. Two pads, please. Two pads? Only RNG can decide your luck now. So Alex says, never kissed a mister. Five darkness of balls. All right. He kissed a mister and he liked it. Here we go. Sneep. Make sure the cards are pushed down. We don't want to sneep any of the cards. Sneep. Toss this over here. Sweet. What are we going to pull? Fletchling. That's a pretty cute bird. Who are these for again? <laughs> it's for Alex. PSX. All right. You got it, Alex. I swear, I heard that darkness graded pack after I paid for mine. Did I miss it somehow? <laughs> darkness, one round harpy legend. One if not sold out first time buying, say hit me good. Mister. Hit me, like baby, one well, more time. Open, I plan on watching, buying for a while. Oh, he plans on watching. A little bit of a voyeur, huh? What do we got? Lyprard. Butterfree. He plans on watching. Ooh. Ooh wee. Go lurk. He's a bit of a peeping Brock, if you know what I mean. Toss us over here. All right, Alex, so your hot pull is the Butterfree. Alex, how are we going to find your bag? Abadillo, Ashley, Big Mac, Cheese, Alex. He did not say if he had a bag or not. It's always helpful, by the way, guys, if you mention you have a bag or not. So if you already have a bag, you say, I have a bag. If you don't have a bag, you say, I don't have a bag. And then I don't go on any crazy goose hunts. Oof. This is a goose hunt where I go looking for a bag that may not exist. Here it is. We found it. Yay! Uh, every night I stream for 50 minutes and then I give up. I'm just kidding. Toss this in here. Who's after Alex? Clayton Moreno, pre-grade and live shipping. Does that include the, blo the book? Uh, it, uh, in theory, it could. Let's see. Clayton. So this was... This was a legendary heartbeat, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, we can get some bulk for you. So, let's see. How do I pre-grade? Actually, there is a little bit to mention. Some kind of white dot right there. Oops. Come on now. Do you see that? How did... That could actually cause it to be a nine. <clears throat> hey, mister, please grade my dark slow bro and aerodactyl. I think this is enough. Let me know. It That's unfortunate. Not. So this one looks like a 10, uh, but many of the Japanese cards just look like straight 10s. I mean, they look really... Well, actually, what's this? Oh, that's the uh, penny sleeve. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I guess I will look over the card for problems. Let 
looks pretty good. These are just hollows. We're not going to grade the hollows. So I would probably grade this guy. Um, gosh, you could grade this, but I feel like this little dot's definitely going to get turn it into a nine. That's a bummer. I did not think that would happen at all. Now, you say you want some book because you're doing the live shipping. We could do that. Okay. What do I use to stream? Um, LimeWire. I stream using LimeWire. Look it up. It's a real thing. One small late in the game, please, mister, and one round of heat heat. It's never too late. You're not too late in the game. Every spot has the same chance of... Every custom booster pack has the same chance of pulling a hot card. We've seen people win in spot number one. We've seen people win the last spot many times. Just doesn't feel like it. It's almost a superstitious thing. Isn't that interesting? Humans, we're just that way, aren't we? We're superstitious. Humans are crazy superstitious. Because we're naturally looking for patterns, you know, like... Just in our nature. Okay, let's see. Dooby dooby, scooby, dooby dooby. We got your cards right here. Let's go see if you sent me your address, because that's what I'm going to need next. Texi Claymore? This might be him. Here it is! Yay! We did it! All right, give me a second, guys. I'm getting a label made for him. Sending him his Sarid. Print. Do it. Do it. That's my favorite noise. The little label noise. I wonder if I'm going to run out of labels soon. Oh, yeah, I'm low on labels. I can see it. Felt like it was about time to run low on them. You usually tell after a certain amount of shipping. There you go. Who's next? Tenzenberg. He says, "On oh, yeah, I did that right. Honestly, I feel lucky right now. Two pats. All right, so in order to open two of them, I got to get a fresh box. Give me a minute. Kidnapster from Futurama? That's right. What if I played Futurama in the background of this uh, live stream? Would you guys like that? That's right. The problem is I will definitely, definitely get struck down for copyright. They'll be like, your ad revenue, our ad revenue. <laughs> All right, here's the top pack. And here was the last pack of the other box. Good luck. Two packs, huh? And who's that again? That's Tenzenberg. Sneep. Okay. This is it. Now, nah, Hat Hatterene. Get out of here, Hatterene. You're not as sexy as Gardevoir. I'll get rid of the cold ones. Oh, man. And they were cold. I am sorry, mister. Woo! We love the cold pulls. Freaking champion's path. All day. What next? Texie, Texie's next. He says, one round of darkness. 
Heartbeat Legends, if not sold out. All right, believe it or not, there was another round of Heartbeat left. It is sold out, but I, I, I sell out. I, I mark it as sold out early to make sure people don't overbuy it. So that is one of the tricks I use. There is actually a single round of Heartbeat left. No, it's, no there's not. No, there's not. It's already been purchased by Ardenan. So it's all gone. You can see that Ardenan did a purchase for Heartbeat, and that will finish it. All right, here goes. Sneep. Some people open 200 and get nothing. Wow. That's just crazy. We got Lando Russ. Is that Grom? Ooh, Al Creamy and Al Creamy VMAX. Finally, oh, two more packs left. Hold on. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Last pack. Last pack is Zorora. So that's going to be your champion's path. Free Zeritz. <coughs> Only if your phone's at 1%. I heated up Mr.'s champion so you guys can tackle it. <coughs> I'm still... All right. <coughs> Give me a second. Oh. Bag one, bolt, tackle one, darkness, ablaze, two champions, tap one, evolutions, and one, hidden fates. The way it feels, With it feels like you have to release sister. one heavy cough every certain amount of time, or else it builds up into these super annoying small coughs. <clears throat> No love for Evos tonight. What? Evos got even more pricey. Freaking Evos, man. Evos are crazy. Blaze Keen. This boy has COVID. I think I might. I think that's a very, very possible possibility. Flaffy. Here we are. What do we have here? <clears throat> Butterfree Full Art. All right. That's pretty cute. You going to get checked for that cough? I probably should. Just to make sure it's not some other underlying condition. But who's got time for that? I'm just going to cough my way through it. Problem solved. <clears throat> All right. Those pulls were for Texie. Nice to meet you, Texie. I think he's new. All right. <clears throat> he says, would, would like to keep bulk or spot open. I plan on watching buying for a while. So bulky, if you'd like a, uh, I mean, Texie, if you'd like a bulk box, sh uh, throw me 14 bucks. I'll put you on the bulk shelf and I'll go get you some bulk back for some stuff you got tonight. It's not even hard. Julian Lamone. Limon, he says, hey, Mr. Grain, my dark slowbro and pterodactyl. I think this is enough. Let me know if it's not. Uh, I'm very confused. Uh, Julian, what are you talking about? Grain, my dark slowbro and aerodactyl. Julian, I have no clue what you're talking about. Julian, Julian. Do you go by another name, maybe? Do you go by another name, Julian? I pulled those two on TikTok. Do you go by another name on this channel? <clears throat> I'll look for a Julian. Maybe I'm maybe I've simply forgotten your name. James Gus, JTF, Jake, Jimmy. Actually, if you're having vintage cards, it should not be difficult at all. I should be able to just look at the side. Here's a, a Jake's. Oh, damn, dude. 
You did buy, look at that. <coughs> Holy, I forgot your name. I forgot your name entirely. Wow, I apologize. I was totally confused. I was like, what is this guy talking about? So here we are, we got Aerodactyl, and we've got Slowbro. Wow, I was like, who, who are you? I've never met you before. He says, I opened them on Tiki Takis. I'm like, okay, that sounds like something I do. <laughs> Sorry about that, mister. You're right there. Bro passing the COVID to the cards. That's right. I want a Pikachu, please. All right, since you said please, let me go get you a secret rare Pikachu VMAX or hyper rare. How long is the wait? It's not long at all. Uh, I've actually caught up. I've done a good job. K Free says, I think I got skipped. All right, we're going to have to look for that. Rounds of bolt, one round of Evo, one round lost thunder, one round unbroken bonds, one round shiny legends, and one champions. Maybe so extra bulky bulk. Me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. Julian Lamone, you overpaid. And so I owe you $13. Uh, which you can spend however you want right now. Let me go add you to the um, PSA requests. What time is it? Is it 127? He says, I sent 53 at 107. All right. We will take a look at that. It is possible to miss. Dark slow bro. And I think I'll do JP for Japanese. That's what I'll start saying. Aerodactyl fossil. All right, that's actually easier. You'll take 56 champs path. Sounds good, mister. Okay, so let me jump over here. Kenny Freeze. Let me look. Let me see if we can find something. Kenny Freeze? In fact, I did miss you. I can explain why. Actually. Why did DA... Oh, right, I remember now. Can I get a Zard Hidden Fates pack graded, please? Says Kenny Freeze. Right, I actually remember you saying that. All right, let me open up another tin so that we can find a Charizard pack. Okay, toss this over here. All right, we got a Charizard. Coffin, baby. Coffin all night. Because it feels so right. Yeah. Can he freeze? So this will be put into the grade box. You're supposed to weigh the packs first and send a light pack. I've heard that Hidden Fates could potentially be weighed um, because they're all white back code cards, but I'm not going to mess with that. You know what? The costs are all calculated already for me, so if it goes out, it goes out. All right, Kenny, we added you to the, police, uh, the PSA request channel. No messing. I don't got time for that, mister. You think I got time for that, mister? I ain't got time for that, mister. All the packs cost the same for me anyways. Think I got time for that, mister? I ain't got time for that. Beat those booty cheeks, though. Did uh, Julian say what he wanted? Mom! Mommy said booty cheeks. That's a bad word. He talked about the special place. Ardenan. One small late in the game and one round of heartbeat. Okay. There you go. And one round. This is the final round. 
He says, I have no bag. Well, that's not acceptable. This is actually the final round right here. It's the final countdown. Cards. Can I have a diglet? Can I have a diglet? I'm looking for a diglet. Can I have a diglet? That was today, man. Sneep. They're so persistent when they don't get what they want. Toss this over here. This little kid's got a lot of free time. And very low perception of social norms. Big hits, he says. Only big hits. Loogies. Loogies. He's a big hit, right? All right, Zarud. Have you seen the new Illustrator Charizard coming out in the end of the month? Ooh. Reggie Rock. Just letting out a nice little COVID cough there. All right, Ardenan, it looks like your hot pull here is the Zarud in this case. How rude. I know. I, I saw that, Fayed. What do you think will happen? Do you think you'll live through it? This is for my spot. Thanks. Fayed, check it out, man. 4,000 viewers. How about that, man? Compare that to the Monster Hunter channel at its peak. At its peak. This is just a regular day on the, on the card channel. All right. So give me a minute. I'm going to go take a nice little lady tinkle. And uh, who goes next, actually? So Ghost Lord is next. He has a pretty large order, so we're going to have a lot of cards to open for him, okay? I'll be right back. Gosh, man, my throat is so itchy. Well, I'm back, and my hands have been... They're nice and wet and clean. I washed them in pee. Let's go ahead and put this over here. <clears throat> so, Ghost Lord, new bag, one volt tackle. We'll start there. Let's see. Three, four, five. Do, 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 one darkness of balls. Wow, this man's going all over the place. <clears throat> How's it going, Dustin? One round of Evo. Damn, this guy's getting everything tonight. LSX says, I think you skipped me. Really? We will take a look into that in a minute, mister. Let's focus on one thing at a time. No, I didn't. You're trying to trick me. Two champions. Path. Damn. 
Wait, we already did the evolutions, right? Yep, we already did the evolutions. One hidden fates, and he wants live shipping. Damn, look at all this, man. Holy, what a stack. That's an epic stack right there. All right, good luck. You're, you've got a mix from all the different sets, which gives you a very good chance of pulling nothing. That's how it works, actually. It's always better to go deeper on one set than to spread out when it comes to getting consistent pulls. But who knows? Maybe you snipe a hot pull from every set. That's also possible. In other words, what I'm saying, when you spread out between different sets, you could either have very good luck or very bad luck. Whereas when you go deep in one set, you usually don't do too badly. So you could have, uh, you're at risk, risk of COVID. Sneep. Wow. Go deep or get the sneep. I warned you. You wanna see a Blastoise? Yeah, we haven't seen a Blastoise in a while, actually. Pokemon Nintendo, they just keep doing they just keep doing uh, Zareds. What the hell? Where's my Blastoise? It could have been Shiny Blastoise in that set. Now they said, let's do another Shiny Zard, even though we just did one with Hidden Fates. What the hell? Come on, Pokemon. Okay, so those Volt Tackle pulls were extremely cold. Let's see what's next. So we got a white back here. Hoopa. Green. 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 Oh, man. Last chance. Oh, Dracovish. It is cold. Here we go. Evolutions. Nice. So you got the re reverse hollow Zapdos. That's pretty cool. That's a hit. Ooh, nice. You got reverse hollow Pikachu. That's a big deal if he pulls a 10. He looks slightly off center. You got a Machamp with the print line, as always. 100% of the time you get in the print lines. We've got Water Energy and Mewtwo. I don't really know if these energies are that good, but somebody mentioned that they sold for quite a bit. <laughs> he says, do it, Ryoma. Shake my head, these kids. Lycanroc, that was one champion's path. Woo, what'd you get? Al Creamy V. Hey, that looks familiar. Hidden Fates. Oh, man. Oh. Nice, pulling the full art shiny bonnet. Hidden Fates pulling through in the end. Whew, scaring me, Hidden Fates. <laughs> all right, so uh, definitely a mixed bag for pulls here because you didn't hit anything at all on Darkness Ablaze. And uh, same with the Volt Tackle, which is surprising because a lot of the Japanese cards are pretty, they're actually pretty hot, the Japanese cards. They tend to just give you give you hit pulls. Oops, uh, did you see what I did there? That, that must have been what I did with the Naughty Misty. Whoops. Accidentally sent the Naughty Misty to the wrong guy. All right. Darn. Where's that shiny Zared? Shinning Legends, please. Shinning Legends? Let's get this bad boy shipped. Is there an easy way for me to ship this? Think about it for a moment. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see how heavy is it? It's pretty heavy, actually. So I'm giving you your bulk. And the reason for that, of course, is because you ordered live shipping, so I might as well. For those who don't understand, a big reason why we remove bulk is just to keep it off the table. Otherwise, I don't really care about your bulk. You can have your bulk. But it's, it's all about keeping my table clean. <coughs> my table's got to stay clean. It has to. Oh, <laughs> Joe Ryan. Or Wendell Hood, I mean, not Ryan. Wendell Hood. Wendell, no! We lost Wendell! Was Wendell e-begging Mister? What was he doing? I don't even know. Mister, when are you going to give me that Zard? 
I want a Zared. Ooh, this is barely fitting. Me, 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 me. Mom, he won't give me the Pokemans. Give me the Pokemans. Mom. All right, look at that. That's so tight. Sweet. So that was for Mr. Inks. Oh my God, I just realized something. Mr. Inks, you had two bags, didn't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and print you up two. Let's go ahead and print you up two labels then. Ah, uh, that's my fault. I'm dumb. Oops. Bonus bulk. We'll get you some bonus bulk there. Oops, Mr. Inks. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to take an extra minute. Oh, my God. This bag was right there. I'm so stupid. <coughs> my cough is definitely not gone, and it is definitely worse tonight. I'm coughing everywhere. These cards come with free COVID. All cards come with guaranteed free COVID. All right, we got that done pretty fast. He says I didn't do shit. Wait, who are we talking about? Mr. Ink says I didn't do shit now. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this wasn't Mr. Inks. I, I apologize. This is for Ghost Lord. Oh. Oh, oh, I did it right. Uh, what I did was I looked back at the machine. You and uh, Ghost Lord have very similar orders. I'm sorry. Woo, all right. Mr. Inks, you stay on the table. This goes to Ghost Lord. Woo, no problem. <laughs> all right, getting confused here, huh? This goes to Ghost Lord. Your orders are right next to each other, and they are basically the same. They look the same. So it's easy. If you're looking back at back and forth, it's easy to see how one ends in bulk box and the other ends in live ship, please. So you think that one is the other. Scary. Toss this over here. Mom! Actually, just send that to him and let me get his order. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so that was Ghost Lord. And then LSX says that we missed him. LSX, he says, one round of darkness of balls. I think we did miss you. Did we miss anyone else near you? Whoa, we did miss somebody. What the hell? What happened? So Kodakan gets his round of darkness. And then Alex... Oh... Let me show you, let me show you a common problem that occurs, guys. I'm gonna show you this to you. This happens all the time and I don't know how to fix it. So what you see here, see this? Alex makes an order here and Alex makes another order down here or up here, I should say. And what happens is I read this one and then my eyes look back at the screen and they skip to this one thinking this is the one that I've completed. And that's how I missed these guys right here. They get totally missed. Damn, that's so tricky. He ordered twice and my eyes jumped to his his newest order and thought that I had already done it. So we actually missed three people. Uh, the first person we missed was actually Abadillo, who went extremely deep for the doggos. Holy. Let me do some math, Abadillo. We got one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Abadillo, huh? I did not expect you to do that. You bought seven spots, huh? So how do we resolve this? He's one spot short, and this is a very unique game. I believe the correct thing to do would be to put you in six spots and then refund you $27. So that's what we're going to do. That would be fair for everyone. Abadillo. 
you're going to take all these. So your hope is that this is where the hot pack is or this one right here. Okay, and now we owe Abadillo 27. Abadillo will probably have another large right after this, so you could keep your eyes open for that. All right. Yeah. I apologize. <coughs> I blame the COVID. I got I got COVID toes. It's really messing me up. That's really expensive, and I hope you win, Abadillo, but there's no guarantee. So, wow, that's a that's a really big, um, you're going deep, huh? So, after that, LSX God says, one round of Darkness of Balls. Let's take care of that real fast. That man just paid a lot for a, a number of spots. Of course, this increases his odds of winning. So, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six out of 36. That makes his odds one in 36. Now... I mean, if I was playing, I'd probably just pick one spot out, cross my fingers, and hope for the best. He increased it. You guys are playing with the 1 in 36 odds. He's playing with the 1 in 6 odds. So his odds are way better than yours. But he paid for that. And if it doesn't work out, it's going to hurt really bad. Thank you so much, LSX God. He says, I'm not even in that large, and I'm hyped. We got Lightbard, Blaziken. I mean, it's something you can do, and I've seen people actually win doing that, but, man, you must have a lot of spending cash. Woo! A Selgor! Next pack. Oh, please don't all be... Please don't all be cold. You got one pack left, mister. You ready? <laughs> they were... <coughs> they were all cold. Dude, I'm coughing like a smoker. What the hell? That's some non-stop coughing. This channel knows nothing but pain. Abadillo's deeper than you think. Holy, he's got two spots right here. What? Oh, man, I'm going to feel... It's going to be tough if you don't hit this, but... You're a big boy. Here it goes. Mister, I'll do one medium, and you can keep the three. All right, sounds good. Who was that? That was Julian? And he said, one medium, you can keep the three. Okay, thank you. Aw, that's a tip from Julian. Nah. How do I spell your name again? Limon. Limon. Here you go, mister. Uh, before we do this, Russ also had an order. He says... Put the small king back in. All right, here you go, Russ. So Russ bought a spot in the small. All right. Oh, I'm nervous. One person walks away with all three dogs. <laughs> Abadillo, I'm just gonna feel bad if you don't win. That's the thing. But uh, you know your you know your risk, okay? You know your risk right now. Everyone's a big boy. You all know the risk. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, <coughs> eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Let's do a quick recount. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Ah, too many. All right. I thought I felt off. Okay, as you know, only one winner. This is the winning chase card. Only one chase card in the whole booster box. Oh, you know, we should do we should do a, a fun one. All right, so we got me, you, your dad, your girlfriend. All 
All right, that's the winning card. <coughs> Here it goes. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrows. Somebody's gonna have some sorrows. Do, 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 do. Tenzenberg's in here with four spots. I just noticed that. Holy cow, man. Some people are playing for winsies. You can't both win, so somebody's gonna walk away with some ouchie boo boos. Who else went deep? So Abadillo went the deepest. Dustin J has two spots. No, Dustin J has three spots. Wow, so Dustin J's in. He's in deep. Tenzenberg. King Hardis has two spots. How about Kobe? Pokey Kobe? Pokey Kobe only has one spot. That's surprising. Pokey Kobe often goes deep on these. Real good shuffle, okay? Make your bets. Who's going to win? The real Mr. Inks on two? Wow. Nobody knows where the card's at. It's all up to Mr. Boot now. We'll roll, we'll roll Mr. Boot twice, okay? 15 and 10. That's 25. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The game is beginning. Let's crack open this booster box. <laughs> Pope Master says that's 35. <coughs> what? He's messing with me, right? No, that's 25. All right, here goes. That's right, it's not a game, it's a custom booster box. Not on one. Real Mr. Inks. Abadillo on three. Abadillo on four. Uh, Sid, my friend, on five. D. Schmidt on six. Kodakon, seven. Gantu Penguin. Jarek, zero. Tenzenberg, 11. Tenzenberg, 12. Jordan on 13. Tenzenberg, 14. Tenzenberg, 15. Dustin J, 16. Dustin J, 17. Falling over. Ardenan, 18. Snoo Walrus, 19. Quinton on 20. All right, we're up to 20. Let's do a quick recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 is done. Oh, man. Second half now. <coughs> Actually, last 16. Mr. Inks. Winston N. Jordan 2020. Dustin J. Joey Joseph. Let me make sure I did that right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 26 is King Hardis. 27, King Hardis. 28 is Poke Kobe. 29 is Devin. 30 is I'm the I'm Z Warrior. Oh man, it was looking like it was gonna go to Avadillo. That's gonna be I'm Z Warrior on 30. And Devin, you were close, dude. Oh, man, were you getting nervous? So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm the Warriors, the winner. Holy moly. So you get the cute little card, too. Me, you, your dad, your girlfriend. Toss this over here. Totally inappropriate, but that's okay. Man... That's crazy. Look at that. Woo! 
All three of them. Oh. Is he even here? Is I'm the warrior here? I bet he's not even here. He says, all right, what's next? He's like, get it over with. I want to get to the next one. <laughs> this over here that's how it works he got all three of those and they're quite valuable oh i don't think i can give it to him if he's not here uh what happens is if you're not here it goes to the next person i guess that means abadilla wins <laughs> i'm just kidding all right oh man so we got some other cards you should date the signed card so you, <coughs> you can always quote the stream. I suppose I could do that if I wasn't a lazy prick. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out one card for the large this time. Just one. And it that way the large can actually be a little bit smaller than usual. And you can just target down one card. One schmexy card, huh? Mister, it's my brother's sister's dog's birthday. Can I get... <laughs> Hold it for a bit, CC. That's a great win. Give him some time. What? We got Moomoo Moo Milk, Dark Hypno. Here's a here's a card. Red and blue. That's a possibility. We're gonna do a single card for the large this time. Oh man, here's one. How about this one? First edition Ampharos from Expedition. How about that? That looks pretty good. He says yuck. What? <laughs> How's that yuck? That one's great. Ew, no mommy milkers, he says. No mommy milkers. All right. Uh, how about this one? You have a good night, Billy Kim. One champion's path and one in the small. I have a bag. Everybody always wants the hottest card ever. <clears throat> All right, let's find out what he's going for. That's the Shining Mewtwo. Let's go find out what Shining Mewtwo is doing. Or not Shining, I'm sorry. Shining Legends Mewtwo. Okay. So the cheapest Shining Legends Mewtwo is 365. And then he jumps up to 450. Damn. <coughs> okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to say 375. That's going to cover some PayPal transaction fees. And we're going to divide that by 36. And it ends up with $10.41. Um... Uh, that's too high. Mm. Let's just do 37 spots. That'll be easy. So it's going to be $10 a spot, and there's going to be 37 spots. All right. So we're going to say for the large. The large is now a $10 game. There's 37 spots total, and it's going to be Shining Legends Hyper Rare Mewtwo PSA 10. You don't have like four of those suckers. That's why I'm giving one out because I got too many. All right. Let me go ahead and write up a card. Daniel Sch Schmidt says, let me get one. Sounds good, mister. We'll put you in. They, here's the new large. $10 a spot. There's 37 spots. And one chase card. random spots large thank you mister four jesus christ guys 
See, I figure the way most people would play this is they'd buy like one spot, forget about it, and then one day they wake up and they're like, yeah, there we go. Large 910. It's your big boys, you can do what you want. Remember not to buy more than you're willing to lose, okay? Okay, there we go. D. Schmidt would like in. Here you go, D. Schmidt. One spot on the large. D. Schmidt, you're going to go down to having $13. Okay, let me place this to the side now. Beautiful. Five med, one round darkness, one. Five Daddy, medium. Make it hotter than my stepmom in a bikini. Hotter than my stepmom in a bikini? It doesn't get hotter than that. What are you talking about, mister? So we finished Ghost Lord, and then we were moving on to Mr. Inks, who wants a Poke Bulk. All right, Mr. Inks. Mr. Real Inks. The real Mr. Inks. We're getting you a box Three right large, now. large number 15, number 26, number 27. All right, we'll write your name down. The r real Mr. Inks. He's got Mr. right in the name. Large spots, 9, 18, 27. All right, I'm putting you over on the shelf. Very good, Mr. And now I am once again sold out of spots for the bulk, bulk boxes. Mr. Inks. He wants two rounds of volt. Two large, please, Mr. Mimi. All right, that's 10 packs. One round of Evo. Sweet. Who doesn't love a good old round of Evos? One round of Lost Thunder. Whoa. One small, one medium, and two rondo large, please. One round of unbroken booty bonds. Me, 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 One shining legends. One champion's path. Oh man. Woo! Just remember, when you guys spread out amongst multiple sets, while it does give you a chance to snipe each set, it also really increases your chances of pulling nothing but cold pulls, okay? So just be careful. You could do an epic mind sweep. I always give out that warning. I'm going to stop giving out that warning eventually. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get these peaky chews open. Make sure they're not sticking. There we go. One of them was sticking. All right, Peaky Chews. I got cheese. String cheese. I told my wife that she picked. Oh, I gotcha. Honey, what are you doing, honey? <laughs> honey, just do, Large. just go deep on. <laughs> Sneep. Large. Sneep. Sneep. I'm Z Warrior sniping those doggies at the last second. Wow. It was so close to passing over to the other guy. But the fate was sealed. It's not really how it works. You either won it or you didn't win it. So the fate was already, his fate was already locked in when we were done with the shuffle. All right, we got Polyrath. Oh, I thought that was a no print line, not Polyrath. He's got a print line. Brock's Grit. Onyx. I'm a cool kid. What's up, Raomas? Raoma, you're such a cool kid. It is very true, mister. Raoma the cool kid. All right, cold on Lost Thunder. Unbroken Bonded. Oh, but you pulled Charizard Reshiram. From Unbroken Bondage. So who even cares? Your wife picked the best packs, mister. Man, that's a hard card to pull. Look at that. I think that goes well over $100 at this point. 
Woo! Pulling the chart hard. Beautiful card, right? Now that you've seen it, you gotta have it. <laughs> Alright, this is your champion's path. Good luck. It is just Marnie. Shining Legends. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> just for Rizian. So that's your English bulk. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to put this in a bag by itself because it's already going to fill the bag up pretty well. So you know what? A lot of those were cold on the English side, and it doesn't even matter because you pull that Reshiram Charizard, and that pretty much makes it all... <clears throat> that basically pays for it is what I'm trying to say, especially if he grades well. I think even a 9, you will make a decent chunk of your money back. Mr. Inks. I don't have to write your full name out when it comes to the bulk stuff. Because I'll know there's only a few people over there. All right, we got Sir Fetched. He's pretty cute. I think, think he has a girlfriend. Cold. We're looking for Chubby Cheeks Pikachu. Zapdos. Cold. Oh, these were cold last time. Hope they're not cold the whole way through. All right, Pikachu V. Business is business. Here we go. Galarian, Darmanitan, VMAX. That's cold. Hollow Waylord. <coughs> you know, I think I'll just keep your hollows in your bulk, believe it or not. Oh, and another Charizard. You got the Hollow Charizard from Full Tackle. So he's not super rare, but again, trust me, with this card, probably you'll be able to grade it and even sell it for about 50 bucks if it grades a 10, the Charizard there. So your hit cards, here they are. So Polyrath, Charizard, Darmanitan, Pikachu, Sir Fetched, and this is the best card by far. It is the Charizard from Unbroken Bonds. Very nice. Very lucky pull. Large spot, 2021, please, sir. Missed for the join option. What's Pokey Blessed? Same thing as the emoji one. It just costs more? It just costs more. That's it. Nothing special happens. It's just you making a donation. So if you're just looking for the badge, the loyalty badge, just go for the two bucks. That'll save yourself a little money. Some people do the bigger one just because they have deeper pockets, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe they like me more. Maybe they think that my pee, pee smells nice. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get you a bag for these Japanese cards. Mr. Inks. And the real Mr. Inks is right over here. Y'all just saying Trump has COVID because <coughs> he don't wear a mask. Maybe he knows it's a hoax. And trust me, he'd be evil, easily able to stay away from everyone. What are you talking about? Trump! Oh, I had all that bulk in your bag. Oops. <laughs> okay. You should do a membership that's expensive, but you get a spot on each custom booster game. Hmm. That would be really, really expensive, though, because we start the games all the time, and uh, and per month, I mean, you're talking about, like, at least 36 larges, I'm not 36, 31 larges, 31 mediums, and 31 smalls. Nah, nobody's going to buy that membership. It's going to cost a, a bizarre amount of money for that. That would be really expensive. Now. Woo! Texie is next. He says, this is for my spot. Thanks. All right, we'll get Texie a spot as well. There's no room on the shelf. I'll leave you on the floor. The book boxes are super sold out. I think Texie said he was going to go deep or he planned to stick around or something like that. All right, there we go. Taxi. And we're going to say 10, 2. So I date all the boxes now, so I know how long they've been sitting on the shelf. That's really important, because if they haven't been used in a long time, I can just ship them out. Mister, you got people going balls deep on here all the time. Yeah, uh, some people are really going balls deep tonight. I'm, it's very surprising. 
Um, but you know, it's it's fun, I guess. But should it should it surprise anyone that that some people can go balls deep? I guess uh, I guess it's not that surprising. I I grew up so poor. I was super poor in my whole life. It, sometimes it blows my mind to think, wow, people actually have spending money. <coughs> Alex says, "Shining Legends." Rip Trump. I don't pay attention to politics since I came out of Vietnam. All right, what do we got? He's not dead yet. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold. Cold Shining Legends. He's not dead yet. I think everyone's going to be like, will he die? And the Democrats will be like this, like, come on! Just give us the win! <laughs> come on, COVID, we believe in you! Alex is done. Ruse says one, <coughs> one champion's path and one in the small. We believe in you! Come on, COVID! Ruse. If Trump survives it, he should come out and say, I'm literally superhuman. The Democrats have asked for rule changes after the debate is telling. Dude, they're always wanting rule changes. They're like, well, that's how they changed how the Senate works so that you didn't need a supermajority or what, not a supermajority. You didn't need a, uh, what do they call that? You, you only needed like 53 votes. They changed it to make it that way so that they can get a Supreme Court justice nominated. And then the Republican says, the Republican said back then, this is going to bite you in the ass when we have the Senate. <laughs> That's exactly how Donald Trump was able to get all these Supreme Court justices nominated. It actually played against them. Can I get one spot? Ruse! It's cold, Ruse. It's, uh, it's actually not very democratic to change the rules like that. It's pretty undemocratic. The debate commission already said they were going to add rules to maintain control. I think what they could do is just cut the mic, right? Wouldn't that work? That's what I would do. Winston. What's up, Winston? Four random spots in the large. Whoa. The large, yes. Winston's going deep, man. All right. Christian Moss says nine and ten. What's up, Christian Moss? <coughs> Mr. Inks, did I miss stuff? Mr. Inks. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll see that in a minute, I'm sure. Tenzenberg says one spot on the large. All right, Tenzenberg. Prestige. Five medium. Five medium? Jesus. Jesus. All right. You got it, mister. Holy. This medium brought to you by Prestige. Prestige going very deep. Holy. Five medium, one round of darkness. Let's get that round of darkness. I'll probably get cucked anyways. What? In the large? Oh. <laughs> one round of Evo. Make it hotter than my stepmom in a bikini. Medium spot, please, sir. <laughs> All right. Neep. If I can have 13 on medium, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Sneep. I love the Mewtubes. Sneep. Mewtwo's pretty cool. You like Mewtwo? Maybe I'll get some more Mewtwo's then. Hmm. Two champions have, please, mister. Please, mister. All right, so here we go. This is for prestige. Fletchling. Who's cuter, Mewtwo or Charizard? I want a Zared. So how are you doing, President of Pakistan? Our glorious country of Pakistan has defeated the coronavirus. 
by simply allowing everyone to get sick with it. The weak died off, and the strong are now immune. Oh, those were not hot at all. Oh, wait a second. You have one more pack. Come on, baby. Ooh, mama. Here we go. Here's a code for the code kids. Ah, it's just a butterfree V. God damn, dude. Sometimes, sometimes a box of darkness can be pretty cold. He says, we are so going to get a second st stimulus. Need <laughs> to use it all on the Pokemans. One, two. <clears throat> I'm dying. What if Trump's lying? What if he doesn't have coronavirus? What if he's lying? What if this is like part of his strategy? And he comes out and he's like, ah, oh, it doesn't even affect me. I must be asymptomatic. Like that. Nine tails and him on Chan. Also, what if it's all part of a strategy to get the Democrats to say things like, I hope he dies? Dude, that would actually be kind of, that would be like such psychopath kind of moves, but that might, that might actually help him. Like if, if he said I had COVID, but he was lying and then he, uh, he, he had all the Democrats saying like, I hope he dies, right? Like that, they would just, the Democrats would look worse and he wouldn't actually be sick. So there's zero risk. Dude, that'd be crazy. The only person who would need to know the lie is his doctor. So if he trusted his doctor, like he trusts his hairdo, um, he could probably do that. All right, let's go ahead and get this drowsy. Uh, you never know. I don't know what politicians do, but these guys are ruthless politicians, right? Yeah, so what if it's fake? What if he's actually just claiming he has it so that the Democrats put their foot, uh, put their foot in their mouth, right? <coughs> Diane Prestige. Let's find your bag, Prestige. Now you're in this box over here. Did he say I need a new bag? No. I like your message, Prestige. Ooh, you got this nice Santa Scorch. What? Yeah, it, it's possible. I mean, it's possible also that he has COVID and he's just telling the truth. Uh, and he knows the risk and he doesn't want his uh, followers to be surprised if he croaks. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think it would be very risky for him to lie as well, because if he got caught up in the lie, that would be pretty bad. All right, Jarek. What's up, Jarek? He wants 15, 26, and 27. Okay. Ardenan, I should not be putting this away. I should just leave this out for now. Ardenan, number nine's taken. We're going to put you on 11. 18 and 27. 27's taken. <laughs> Don't forget me, mister. Don't forget me. Three cosmic eclipse packs, please. Uh, well, it's not your turn yet, so you have to wait your turn. So, Ghost Lord is next. He wants too large. Here you go, Ghost Lord. There you go. And then we have the real Mr. Inks right afterwards. <coughs> he wants one small, one medium, two rando large. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Mr. Inks here and Mr. Inks here. Okay, so we also have to get you a medium and a small. Is that right? One small, one medium. All right. Whoa, this is almost over. Two spots left in the small. Whoa. Whoa, all the games are coming to an end. Irvin says, put me in the large. Irvin, his name is Irvin. Irvin. Tony DeVoy, one small. Isn't it funny when it's called the small, but it actually has more expensive spots than the large? Tony DeVoy. Whoa, that's very close to ending. It might already be over. Tony DeVoy. Devin says spots 20 and 21. Those are actually open. Okay, here you go, Devin. 
Okay, 2021. Dustin Smith says, can I get one spot? Uh, sure. He said, $9.99, huh? <laughs> Dustin Smith. And 1356, huh? Devin A says he also wants a spot in the medium. Ooh, intrigue? What the hell? You guys are just like suddenly going deep on these. Ghost Lord, two champions path. Also, just wanted to make sure you got my order for two large. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, I did. So just remember, all the orders come in, and then I just work my way up them one at a time. Large place 31. <clears throat> all right. Sneep. Good luck, Ghost Lord. We haven't pulled another Charizard from here in a while. Let's see what happens. Nah, that's Wablu. Next pack. New bag, by the way. Sounds good. Nah, that's, that's terrible, man. When are we going to get a hit from here? All right. I'm doing it. I'm opening that one pack of Champion's Path. You ready? I really should not. What am I doing? One large, please Just buy. like you guys. Cold. Beautiful. Makes me want to open another. That's so frustrating. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. I shot my load. Let's go ahead and move on to the next guy. We have Color Me Zed. What's up, Color Me Zed? Three Cosmics. You got it. He says, what if it's in the next one? I know, right? Well, you know, if it is in the next one, I'm going to be crying myself to sleep tonight because I'll have missed out on a freaking $500 card. And I've done that before. Right? Maz Vara remembers we were opening up uh, Hidden Fates, and I went extremely deep. I opened up over 36 packs, I think. And then I stopped. I'm like, you know what? Frick it. I'm not opening him, obviously. So I stopped. And then Mahasvara bought around and instantly pulled the Charizard. Oh, snap. I think my computer's shutting down. I think I ran out of battery because I didn't realize the battery was not all the way plugged in. <coughs> Let's see what these pull real fast. We'll get the computer running in just a moment. That's exactly what happened, Highly Blessed. He pulled the... Uh, it was in the next round. So I stopped after going extremely deep. And I was just going crazy and I was opening them all up. And he was one round away and I didn't know it. That's... that. It, it happens to somebody, if you think about it. Every time you open up Pokemon cards and don't pull the Charizard, of course, it's very frustrating. But then just think about it. Somebody somebody eventually pulls it, and when he pulls that card, there was always the guy just before him who did not pull the Charizard, and he probably slams his forehead into a wall and goes, why did I not just buy one more pack? So it always happens. It happens at least to one guy. There we go. So my laptop was shutting off because it ran out of battery. Because my battery was slightly unplugged. Let me go ahead and plug it back. Or it's plugged back in. Let me go ahead and start it back up. Give me the gold. Where's the ducking gold, says St. Lucifer. Simple says, that thought keeps me up at night. <laughs> that's life for you. Yep, well, that's RNG for you, really. Okay, so we don't know what's happening next until my computer boots up. Uh, why don't we do a quick review of the games? Obviously, the small is about to end. <clears throat> this spot might already be sold. <clears throat> this round of the small is cool because there's so few spots but so many rewards. So it's Poly Toad, Dark Rye, Voltorb 10. These are all 10s, by the way. 10, 10, 10. Uh, then a PSA 9 First Edition Rocket TV. And then the two babies. We got Ella Kid and Magby. And they're both 9s. And really, they didn't take up many spots at all. It was like three spots or something. So, but these cards over here are very fancy. So those are the chase cards. The medium's very close. In this round of the medium, Prestige is going real deep. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots left. And the large is for the Shining Legends Hyper Rare Mewtwo. We got the Hyper Rare Mewtwo. This is the same one you find in Hidden Fates, except it's the original uh, artwork of it. And, um... What's shocking is how fast it's already filled up. What the hell? 
it's like, I, I would say about halfway done already. Crazy. So some people are very excited for that round. And then after that card, we're probably going to pick an even more expensive large. So it'll be a special large. I like to do, <coughs> I like to do a large where it's simple. And then I like to do a crazy one afterwards. But I, I haven't even decided what it's going to be. All right, I'm logging back in. I restarted my computer. All right, so those polls that we just made were for Color Me Zed. Color Me Zed, you ready? I might have a baby. All right, you talking about a turd baby? Are you in your turd trimester? Are you talking about real babies? Babies! I always tell people, you gotta have babies. But I'm a hypocrite because I don't have any babies. <laughs> I need to move into a better home. <laughs> my condo's tiny, dude. Dude, my house is so freaking small. Uh, I, I'm still living very poor. And uh, one day, my wife and I will be able to move into a normal house. Just a normal house, even. You know, like the kind my parents had. My dad already lived in a nice house at my age. I'm in this tiny condo. Of course, he didn't pay a million dollars to go to freaking school. It was cheaper back then. It was really cheap. So, Sid, my friend, <clears throat> he wants large, spot number 31. The price of college has gone up so high, it's such a ripoff. Gerard says one large, way overpriced. <clears throat> It's just like healthcare. They found out people really want it, so they overpriced it. <clears throat> Color Me Zed says three more rounds of Cosmic. All right. And that catches us all the way up. We're all caught up. <coughs> We're all caught up. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, I almost got a bad paper cut. Anderson Cooper is up super late. What's up, Frank? Yeah, everyone keeps talking about that. He says, what up? Sneep. 23 and 24 large. All right, what do we got? You ready, mister? Bills come first, that's right. One day you can buy all the Pokemons. Cosmog. And another green. Well, you can get another trainer art, potentially. Let's see what happens. Nah, not this time. So sorry, Color Me Zed. Those were some tough pulls. Both rounds were pretty tough. I mean, Wishy-Washy's nice, but it's not like P Pikachu, right? <sighs> Ryomas. What's up, Ryoma? 23 and 24. Oh, so you're really having a baby. Oh, congratulations. Your fiance, you better get a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. You better put a ring on it, mister. All right. So we are all caught up. He says, I'm sorry. That sucks. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry, mister. How could that happen to you? Name the kid Zared. Ooh, let's go ahead and get some more penny sleeves out. He says, I will, I will, I already have it ready to go. All right. Sweet. <clears throat> you know, my wife and I, we were trying to save up to have a nice honeymoon before we, <clears throat> before we got married. So we spent four years together in college, unmarried. And then we graduated and we still weren't married, but we were like planning it. But we were like, you know what, let's let's be able to afford our honeymoon and a wedding. And then her mom actually got stage three cancer. So we got, just after we heard it, we just got married right away. We were like, let's get married. 
uh, so that, you know, her mom can, can see her daughters married. And uh, so, yeah, we got married very quickly in that scenario. It's very, very, very fast. It's a little courtroom. No, uh, no monies were spent. We said, you know what, we'll go on Japan vacation later. And we ended up never going to Japan. And the reason for that is because COVID struck like the next year. So we were still, uh, well, we were helping her parents financially because her mother was getting chemotherapy in India and it was still really expensive. I mean, we were just, we were losing thousands of dollars. We had to buy their house from them to get them $80,000 right away on a more, you know, on selling the house uh, to us. So we took out a second mortgage basically. So we were getting killed financially. It was so difficult. We, we lived on nothing for a while, which we were used to, I guess, because that's what we did in college, but we were wor we're both working madly in order to keep up with this. My YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel, the game economist was kind of like flourishing at the time. It was kind of peaking, uh, really, really active and lots of ad revenue luckily. So that was helping. And my wife, <clears throat> she was a software engineer becoming a senior software engineer. They liked her a lot. So we were just working our butts off though. And, you know, it was this constant concern. Also, we were worried that her parents weren't gonna spend the money well. You know, the reason they were in so much trouble when they found out that the mom had cancer was because they really just mishandled their finances their whole lives. They were living paycheck to paycheck. They didn't have to either. They just were doing that. So when the cancer struck, it's like, it destroyed them. They lost everything. And uh, so we had to sell their home. And what we did was, we bought it. We bought the home from them. So my wife and I, Funky says my wife has stage two cancer. Jesus. Well, I hope she gets it all uh, cleaned up because they're better. They're better with cancer today than they used to be. It just depends on what type of cancer. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, she had uh, some sort of lymph node cancer and it was already in stage three. <clears throat> they had to do surgery. They had to do multiple surgeries, actually. Oh, she, she's beaten it already, or unless you're talking to the other guy. Uh, they told her that the cancer went into remission. They had to do all these surgeries on her and a whole year of chemotherapy. She was stuck in um, India for that whole year having chemotherapies, and uh, she lost all her weight. She became very thin. And uh, he says, I'm a day trader. I have many forms of passive income. I'm always willing to pass on to eager souls. Oh, nice. Well, anyways, so... Yeah, there's this point where we're like sending them cash, paying our mortgage, paying their mortgage, and paying two student loans. And it's like, we went from having some savings to, to go on like a honeymoon to having nothing, nothing at all, uh, very quickly. And it was totally unsustainable. But she came back with the uh, diagnosis that the cancer was in remission. And, uh, and then after that, so we didn't have to, we didn't have to send the money anymore. What we did is we immediately got the house onto the market and sold it pretty quickly, not at the best price, but we did sell it as fast as possible. And we used the cash from the sale to move them into a very small home. So they had kind of a normal, maybe lower middle class home. And we moved them into a very raggedy, tiny home, basically now their retirement home. So that's what we did with the sale of the mortgage. So we no longer have two mortgages, but here we are finally done with all of that and it was kind of like we just lost maybe like a year and a half of our lives working on that. So here we are. We've, we've graduated. We've been graduated. And we're just trying to work down our student loans. <laughs> we've got our own mortgage and uh, student loans. And so that's life. It's so crazy, man. Everything's always so fast moving. But we haven't, ha we haven't been able to have kids yet. She's only 25, though. Uh, I'm older than her. I'm 31. And that's because I left home when I was 17, 18 and got my own condo. He says, I got laid off due to COVID. That's why I turned to YouTube. <coughs> laid off due to COVID. That sucks, man. But uh, yeah, I left home when I was 18 and didn't get into college until like six years later after I'd saved up a bunch of money working at uh, Coca-Cola. So I got jobs at, oh, here we go. We got, I got a job at Target. Then I got a job at Sam's Club. One round of oh, I worked at Sears briefly. Bag. I worked at Sears briefly, but they, they didn't give out that many hours because they were struggling. So I did Target, Sears, Sam's Club, Coca-Cola. And then by then I'd saved up a, a nice little chunk of money, like about 20000 I quit Coca-Cola and went to university full time on a student loan. So that's what I did. And I was there pretty much six years later than I should have been. Uh, and But that's where I went, met my wife right away. All right. 
Who's next? Aaron Matson. One round of Cosmic. Aaron's saying, all right, let's test these Cosmics. Fair game, Aaron. Nobody else has tested them. Let's do it. <coughs> We got one. <clears throat> I think COVID is some type of distraction. I didn't go to your I didn't go to university today, buddy. Gray Wolf here. You didn't go to uni? Uni. I love the art in cosmic the most. I like the art in cosmic. Sneep. So, anyways, uh, yeah, it's been I'm 31 now, but the funny thing is, even though I've gotten much older. Right, it feels like life passes that fast, right? I'm on my way to my 40s. I'm definitely happier now than I've ever been, ever, not even close. No more school days. I'm done taking tests. Uh, I'm just work, 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 work. I can actually build wealth for the first time. So we're poor now, but we're gonna do exactly what we did last time. We're gonna save some money, save some money, save some money. And someday we will move into uh, a nice home, someday. All right. You're 31. <clears throat> you're 31 too. Our biggest demographic group in this uh, YouTube channel <clears throat> is between the ages of 18 and 31. Uh, not 31, 35. So most of our viewers of that are of that age. You pray for me. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully the cough goes away soon. I feel fine in every other capacity, so I think it'll go away. Totally cold. Whew. Totally cold. Jesus. Any shiny whoopers? Any shiny whoopers? Let's see. Pikachus. There's a Raichu. Here's an Alakazam. Wow. Why is he for sale? Oh, look at this Ultra Ball. What the hell? That doesn't seem like it should be for sale. Mawile. Wait, there's no way this was meant to be for sale. This Ultra Ball. No way. How did I even get that Ultra Ball? I don't even remember. No, that's definitely being sent out to grade. What the hell? Me, 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 me. So these Pikachus are pretty exclusive. They're Shining Legends Pikachus, and they're holographic. Wait, I don't write on this. This is mine. Huh? Pretty cute. One champion has <coughs> one hidden fates. Those are from Shining Legends, and I got a bunch of them because I've I've ordered a lot of Shinings. What PSA do you have for sale? Well, I tell you what, somebody just made an order. But let me check this real fast. Oh, this is the damaged Alakazam. Interesting. What do you guys think? Should I still grade it? I think it looks quite presentable. I'm still going to grade it. Who knows how much they take off. I don't know. If it would sell for 50 bucks, it would still be worth it. If it doesn't sell for 50 bucks, it's not worth it. Slightly off center on the back. Um, hmm. maybe I'll sell it raw for somebody who has like a binder collection. Would somebody buy it for 25? It is damaged, so you're not going to get a 10 on this ever. I think if I graded it and it got like a six, it could still, in theory, go for 50. All right, who was that? D. Schmidt. He says one champion's path, one hidden face. All right, D. Schmidt, the man. So what is that? Uh... I owe you 14. 13 plus 14 is 27. So you have $27 now. Toss this up here. Hibben Fates. Champion's Path. Good luck, D. Schmidt. D. Schmidt, if you got a Shining Charger out of here, I would be very happy. Sir, did you do my round already, or am I waiting in line? I purchased right when your laptop <coughs> rebooted. Rebooted. I'm looking. Uh, I guess I'll look through it again. All right, let's see. Double Zard pull right here, guys. No, that's that's not it. My chimp and... Where do you sell your cards? Ebay's? Uh, I sell them right here. 
But I know you guys aren't going to... I hope you guys aren't going to try and use live chat to do some advertising. <laughs> Maybe he was asking other people. Let's see. Place that over there. Doing BGS until PSA gives us economy back. Oh, I see what you're saying, Christian. Ooh, that noise. Oh, that sounds nice. All right. D. Schmidt, huh? D. Schmidt. So, D. Schmidt, your bag would be over here. Two CP and one hitting mister. D. Schmidt, I think your bag's up top. Pretty sure it is. Is it not? That boy, Elliot. Your bag's up top, mister. Devin D. Schmidt. How do you know you aren't buying fakes off eBay? Um, make sure that the item is not being sold from China. That would be the first step. I have bought cards from China that were authentic, but I would say it's not worth the risk because a lot of the time, the scam cards actually do come from China. Same with uh, your PayPal. So when you make the purchase... You can go back in and try to find out if there's Chinese language in the person's PayPal account that you just sent to. So I would check for that as well. And then uh, if you're buying individual cards, singles, you want to look to see if they're smooth. So they're supposed to be textured, but they don't, the uh, the forfeit ones, uh, the, uh, not forfeit, the uh, fraudulent ones, they don't have the advanced technology to create the, uh, you know, the um, texture on the cards. So what they do is it's just smooth and shiny, like a mirror almost. So, and yeah, it looks laminated. So that would be how you tell. I actually have some fake booster packs. Maybe I should sell some. Okay, Big Mac, two CP, one hidden. Give me a second. What do you guys want to talk about now? Huh? We can have a fun conversation. Don't forget about me, it says Ten, ten Zen Berg. Sounds good, mister. Great story. Now let's give those hands something to do. Two shiny ones. <laughs> give those one hands. Bolt and one cosmic, please. <laughs> Too much fun. If you roll the dice and I guess the number, can I have a Pikachu? Pow. Brian says, if Trump dies, you think we'll get that civil war? You know, believe it or not, I think we won't. I think we won't. If Trump died of COVID, I think that Republicans would probably get a little depressed and then be like, you know what? It was it was a divine intervention or something like that. You know what I mean? All right. Big Mac, going deep. Good luck. Sneep. Sneep. Well, everyone's oops, everyone's speculating if he'll die now, now that he's got the COVIDs. Does Bernie get a shot? Bring Bernie back out quick. <laughs> All right, pack number one, cold. Pack number two. What's it going to be? Oh, man, it's still cold. And Hibben Fates. Did I ever figure out how many packs come in a Japanese box? I did not. Nah, the Mewtwo GX. That was for Big Mac. Big Mac, you got a bag. Mm -hmm. You better not. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if the stock market's going to fall tomorrow. I bet it will. Here it is, Big Mac. It's going to fall tomorrow until it's clear that he's beating COVID. What did I study in college? <clears throat> I'm very proud. <laughs> I brag about it, maybe too much. I'm very proud of my computer science degree. I have a software engineering degree, and it's a bachelor of science. That means it was the difficult one. See, you could have gotten the bachelor's of arts, and that includes fewer of the science-y subjects, but I got the bachelor of science. That's the difficult one. So it's got all the really difficult classes in it, all the difficult math, too. 
It was difficult. Woo! Imagine getting your self-esteem from college, though. <clears throat> All right. So Tenzenberg says I might have missed him. Tenzenberg. So Tenzenberg says around the time that the laptop shut down, huh? Didn't shut down too long ago, right? I'm not see it, seeing it. Let me hit refresh in case it shows up. I got skipped, I think. One CP, one round of darkness, two spots on the large. 60 bucks. Would have seen two more tenses on the large. Okay. So I'm refreshing my Streamlabs. Maybe what happened was it got missed or something like that. Let me just refresh it real fast. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. I had to refresh it. All right. Two rounds of darkness, one champion, two more spots on the large. Pick them for me, boss. I'm done for the night. I appreciate supporting your business, friend. All right. I'm going to have to remember that. So Tenzenberg. Let's get you two spots on the large. Woo. All right, so those, those, there's those two spots. Speaking of which, did anyone else buy around that time? He says, one large, please, boss man. Yeah, I think we already did that for Gerard. Yeah, we did. Cool. All right, let's get you that round of darkness. What is it? Round of darkness and one champion's path, huh? The champion's path that contains the Charizard, please. I think it's I think ultimately it makes him look bad, you know, because he he acts like he doesn't care about spreading the virus in the uh rallies. And he was even saying, well, the reason Biden doesn't host rallies is cuz no one will show, uh, show up. And Biden will say something along the lines of, "No, we're taking the virus seriously and you're not." And then the fact that Trump now has it is kind of like, "Oh, man. Biden was right, I guess." You know what I mean? You're also a computer science student? Good luck, mister. You can do it. It's a good is a good degree to have. It's a good skill. Chris Irva, Irvin says, "I think I owe you money." Irvin, send me that money, Mister. Give me that money. All right, let me get that one champion's path. <coughs> you holding out on me, Irvin? What the hell? You ready, Tenzenberg? Does he have a box now? Who, who got the box? Oh, it's Inks. All right. Cold, green. Tenzenberg says yes. Wait, do you have a box? Hold on. It doesn't say you have a box. Three, four. What do we got? Go th got the tell. All right. I got gotcha. you. Tauros. One champion's path and one hidden face. Three, four. You still pull a Charizard here. This is Crobat. Give me Pokemans. Give me Poke Pokemans or give me death. Scissor V. Oops. Trump talked about Biden's son, so he gets hit with that good COVID karma. <laughs> well, I mean, if if his son really is receiving millions of dollars from, like, you know, some sort of Russian oligarch or whatever, the mayor of Russia, I would say that is actually relevant. If it, That's relevant information. So that's fair game to talk about. Especially, remember, what Biden did was he, he called Donald Trump Putin's lapdog or something like that, or puppy dog. I think that's really insulting. It's not good for our country to say things like that either. And so if he's going to say that, I think it's fair game for Trump to say, well, why is your son receiving actual money from, you know, whatever it was, the mayor's wife of Peter St. Petersburg? 
So I think that's fair game, especially if you bring it up first. He said that first, the uh, Putin Putin's puppy dog thing. I believe he said it first. Now, let's go ahead and pop this into Tenzenberg's bag. Tenzenberg, where, where are you? Here we are. We found him. Christian Moss said two champions path. Did we actually give that to Christian Moss? I don't remember. Hey, Christian Moss. Uh, Christian Moss, be honest with me. Did we open two champions path for you? I don't actually remember if we did. Because you were. it says that was right after Tenzenberg made his order. All right, here we go. Very good. Christian Moss, Christian Moss. Sneep. Been waiting this whole time? You are very patient. Two large one, small one CP, and one shining, please, mister. Oh, picking up the Duraladon V. You should have no bag? Okay, thank you. And the second pack is cold. Throw this over here. Want a line. What? A line of Coke? Why didn't you offer sooner? <coughs> he says, damn it, where's Charizard? Imagine the next pack is Charizard. Woo! All right. And then Color Muse Ed had asked for three more Cosmic, so that was definitely where I picked up. So that was definitely taken care of. Supernova's owner says two spots on the large. All right, we're going to put you on two and three. Okay, Supernova's owner, you're in the game. You're in the booster box. Big Mac says two large, one small, one CP, and one shining mister. I saw that, the Amazon Prime. I'm extremely excited. Champion's Path, please. I'm a huge fan, as many other people are, of Borat's character, and uh, I can't remember his name, but the actor who, who plays him. He, he does a great job coming up with interesting comedy, so I'm, I'm excited to see how he does. Hopefully well. Pack to grade, please. Sorry, forgot to pay for it, fell asleep. Big Mac just finished the small. <laughs> I fell asleep, huh? Likely excuse. I'm just joking. So the small is ready. But before we do that, we need to open up one CP. For the Zardin for Pokestan. For Pokestan! One CP. One CP. Sasha Baron Cohen. Thank you. He's a terrific actor. He's real good. So talented. You ready? Crafty, dude. Dude! <laughs> Shining Legends. Hoopa! Alright. Both cold packs. Now we begin the small. So we're going to need 26 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Let's bring out the prize cards. There are quite a few prizes. One of the prizes is a spot in the large, as always. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll say one large. Poly Toad. Poly, more like polyamorous. We got Dark Rye. You guys think uh, polyamory and all that will ever become mainstream? Voltorb. 
I was learning today that <clears throat> one in three couples cheat on each other. I was like, yep, sounds about right, Evie. Ella Kid. And Magby. One and three. What the hell? He's like more like three and three. No, come on. It's not that bad. Them hoes ain't loyal. <coughs> I'm sure there's plenty of men too. Ink says it's huge here in San Francisco. <laughs> Is it? I'm on my way. Really, it's just open relationships and in a lot of cases, I'm sure. All right, let me build up the prize cards. Doobies, Scoobies. You know, it's funny. They call it polyamory. What's the difference between that and polygamy? Honestly, I'm sure a lot of cases with the whole polyamory, it's still not like two guys, one girl. I'm sure it's in most cases is two girls, one guy. You know what I mean? All right. Sweet. Pokestan. Pokestan's a very progressive country. Pokestan is a very progressive country. We do not discriminate. If you want to, you want to smack that. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. What I'm just saying. We get myself in trouble. <laughs> that is your ship. Come to Pakistan. What? Are you asking how much shipping to Pakistan is? Uh, presumably it's $13, but I've never shipped to Pakistan, and I don't really know if we do shipping to Pakistan. I don't know if USPS does shipping to Pakistan. Uh, maybe it does. I don't see why it wouldn't. Isn't Pakistan a little bit in conflict with the U.S.? I can't remember. Iran definitely is. I don't actually know. I don't know, mister. I'll ship it by hand. I'll fly over. I bet we shipped to Pakistan. Why wouldn't we? Pakistan is next to India. Yeah, I bet we shipped to Pakistan. You ready? Here we go. Landing on 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two large, one medium. This has been in service for so long. Let's read some names here. Saul, Saul Cruz, Quentin. Wow, Quentin's been here the whole time, huh? Elias, Jennifer, Dylan, Martin, James B. Wow, it's kind of cool. It's like a look in the past. A lot of names we don't see anymore. Quentin's still here, though. Quentin the man. Here we go. Oh, man. Ashley69 gets a win on spot number one. And it's the Ella Kid. Very cute. All right. Do, 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 do. She's still got that card at a deal price. Toaster. Toaster again. Winston on four. Winston on five. Gentu on six. Gentu on seven. Devon A on eight. Zero on nine. Katie on ten. Katie on eleven. Wow. West Donini on twelve. Wow. A uh, thirteen. West Donini picking up the one large spot. Oh man. Let's do a quick recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'll put those up top for now. West Donini. There we go. Oh, you know what I should have been doing with that extra time? I should have been opening up my mail. I've got some mail to open. Matt Chun on 14. Matty Merck on 15. 15, Matty Merck. Picking up the EV9. Oh, man, the hot cards are at the end, guys. Matty Merck, very good.
KD on 16, KD on 17. Whoa, Quinton on 18. Holy, Mars on 19. Here we go, Mars on 19. Picking up Dark Ride. There we go. <coughs> there we go, Mars Bars picking up the Dark Ride. That's the second biggest hit. Waiting for that to happen. Now he has another card. Oh, super snipe for Mars Bars. But the question is what? There's a Magby. It's the Politoed. You gotta be kidding me, dude. He got both of the big hits right in a row. That's insane. That's like winning the large guys. Holy. The odds for that to occur had to be so crazy. He, he had to get both of those particular cards in a row. It happens. Jesus. That is seriously like winning the large. This is like, together, this is over $300 of PSA cards right there. Holy. Ardenin on 21. Ruse, or Russ on 22. Ruse on 23. Mr. Inky. Inke. Is it Inke? Picking up the Voltorb. All right, that's the PSA 10 Voltorb. Mr. Inks. The real Mr. Inks. All right, very good. That's a solid pull. 25 is Tony. And 26 is Big Mac. Big Mac picking up that last spot and walking away with the Magby. Oops. All right, very good. <coughs> Your first win. Yeah, it's cool, right? Not bad. I can't believe Mars Bars got both of the most valuable cards in the in the run. Again, this is over $300 of cards. That's like winning the large, basically. And they were right next to each other, and they were on 1920, which he happened to have both of those. Dude, his odds, those odds of that occurring are so small. Extremely lucky. And that, that only could have happened by owning two spots. Man... All right, that was exciting. Let's go ahead and get a new one started. Time to get some fancy schmance cards out. Do I have any cards that aren't like a bazillion dollars? Jesus. You know what? Let's do a special one. Ah, oh, I can't decide. Ah, oh, I want to do a Rocket Returns round because I have Rocket Returns cards over here, but I actually don't want to part with them. I can't do it. I can't do it. I would cry. All right. I think Rocket Returns would have been really interesting. No, I can't give these up. They're too rare. They're actually quite rare. He says, come on, just do it, man. Don't think about it, just do it. Come on, mister. Come on, bro. We'll have a PSA 9 Kogus Ninja Trick. That's the revised Ninja Trick. Uh, these are expensive. How do I get a, how do I get a round going? We'll have the uh, we'll have that we'll have the band Mumu Milk as well. So those two trainers to start out, those are the weaker pulls. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta do something you can afford. I don't want like a bazillion spots. But the, the problem is I'm using up all the uh, simple ones. All right, well. I guess we'll do another round of maybe like Japanese cards because I've got a lot of these actually. I don't know if you guys know knew this, but I had like I had like a Japanese at a point where we were opening up a bazillion Japanese cards. We'll have one English as well. So for this round of the large, 
You ready? So we have a PSA 10 Malamar from Hidden Fates. That's pretty nice. It's not too crazy. PSA 10 Dark Slowbro with the nice Mega Swirl down here. That's actually really cool. PSA 10 Steelix from Japanese Neo. This is Neo Genesis. That's what the double stars are. That's Neo Genesis. Dark Hypno Hollow. Band Moomoo Milk. And Band Koga's Trick. Now, don't worry. There won't be too many spots in this round, I don't think. So it won't be like a huge game. But uh, these are these are still pretty cool. Let's see what happens. Actually, I feel like we need one hot card. What could we remove? So we could remove this one and turn it into a hot card. We need one card that makes people go, oh my gosh, I got to get in here. We're going to take the Hypno back for now. Base set Charizard. Here we go. No, but give me a minute. Let me do a little research on this card to make sure it's not like insanely expensive. I don't even think there's one available. Hold on. Whoa, there's not even one on the market for this, which would probably make it quite expensive. Oh, no. God, freaking bug, dude. Get out of my face. I don't even see him in completed items. Here, let's look it up like this. Oh, I did look it up properly. I just don't think there are any. All right, I was going to do this one right here. That's Typhlosion first edition, but uh, <coughs> I can't find any to get a price on. Uh, how about a how about a PSA nine? He says I I want it from him from you. How about a PSA nine Flareon? That's pretty cool, right? That's English. All right, he says yes. Let's make sure it's not insanely expensive as well. These cars have been moving up in price constantly, so it's hard to keep up. Oh, it might be oh, it might be over three hundred dollars actually. Hold on. No, here we are. Okay, I found one. Sweet. All right, it's going to work out. We got it, guys. Let's get it added up. The Steelix, right? Oh, man, there's still quite a few spots, believe it or not. There's 30 spots total. 30 spots on the on the nose. Jesus. I thought it would be a smaller number. It's because this uh, this one's going for about 160, so he's adding, I guess, quite a few spots. 30's not so bad, actually, is it? It's a little larger than the last one, but actually it's not a big difference. Welcome to the jungle. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. In the jungle. Do 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 the jungle. One CP1 hidden and one shining. 
Also, Mr. Leonard Cree, why don't you build a program to make your live streams easier? <laughs> Something that I'll just build a program. Their spot in line what all your the current custom pack. Freezes are so people air and constantly ask it. Well, right now there's hardly any line at all, isn't there? All right, here we go. What's next? What is next? So we began the small with Big Mac. And then right after Big Mac, we have Ruse. Ruse opening a single pack with the Charizard in it. Please. You ready, Ruse? Are you ready, Ruse? Nah, no luck this time, Ruse. Don't you see, guys? Nobody gets to pull the Charizard. It's not allowed. That was Ruse. Kodakon, send my pack to grade. All right. Kodakon. Kodakon, Kodakon. Where's his bag? Did we put you up top again? We put you up top again, didn't we? All right. And we'll go ahead and put your hit card over here. Let's go ahead and write your name on this. You woke up from your nap. You woke up from your nap. Mister, you better be getting good sleep. Small spots, 11 and 24. Let me run my back for a second here. Make sure I got some blood flow. Hi, Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty's just laying here, she's all comfortable. She doesn't have to, be, she's not forced to sit in a chair. She sits however the hell she wants. Damn, Kitty. Kitty, you got it easy. Do you see what I do for you, Kitty? Do you see the work that I do for you, Kitty? So, Code of Con, let me go ahead and update the PSA requests. What is that? That's darkness. Darkness ablaze. Charizard VMAX pack grade. All right, you're updated. After Kodokan, <coughs> we have Tenzenberg. For the Zard and for Pokestan. All right, we're opening up one Champion's Path. You ready? Look at that, Swablu. No, not this round. For Pokestan! Oh, man. New gen. Two large, one medium. Here you go, new gen. Two large. You're hoping to make it all the way to the end. One medium. Remember, the fates decided when the packs are shuffled. There's no... There's no trick to it. Big Mac says one CP. Whoa, Big Mac it just goes deep and deep and deep. One CP, one hidden. All right, we got a hidden for you right here. One shining. He says, also, mister, with your degree, why don't you build a program? Oh, man. You make, you're going to make me go make a program? <laughs> Writing a full-fledged program that actually does a good job is, is quite time-consuming. It would take me an enormous amount of time to make it. Uh, but I was making a I was making a website with my wife for Monster Hunter. It was going to be a calculator for your build. And you know what? We learned a lot, but it, funny enough, we kind of got discouraged and stopped working on it because I started questioning, what is even the point of having that calculator? I realized at some point, it just didn't seem useful enough. Weirdly enough, it didn't seem useful enough. Uh, but we were very close to done. We were very close to done. I think we both got burnt out. <laughs> we were done with all the hard coding. It was just a matter of like, we're like, well, we're going to have to run the website. We're going to have to update the website. We're going to have to manage the website. And then we're like, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So you got Al Creamy. So creamy. Psychic Energy from the Hib. Throw this over here. 
and Hoopa. All right. Not this round. Not this round. Tisk. What the heck, Pokemans? I thought you said... I thought you said secret rare Charizards every round. What the hell? I think I've been tricked by Pokemans. Who's next? Devin A. He wants to send the small spots number 11 and 24. There you go. Wow. Devin, you've been going deep on these. Wow, we're all caught up. It's an early night. Uh, what was I going to do? Open my mail. Let me go grab some mail. Where did I, where did I put it? Let me put it over here. One spot on the medium. Since the medium will likely finish tomorrow, I won't be here to watch the stream. What? If I win, sir, please open a booster box for me. Ha ha, if I win. If I win. Oh, you win. Easy wins. Five spots in the medium left. You're working one and a half hours? Oh my god. What are you doing, right, Omas? Okay, so we got my mailman. What do you bring me? Oh, this is quite heavy. Oh, come on, man. Really? <laughs> All right, cut it open like this. What is in here? What? Some Rebel Flash? Guess that's the end of that order. We got some Rebels. Ooh. I did not expect this. Look at all those. Look at all those Rebels. Over there. The Kobe is a big ass hoax. That's why he didn't wear a mask in the first place. What? What's next? This guy's name sounds familiar. Oops. Slamming on the table. Waiting on the large. Come on, guys. Get that large moving. Oh, sweet. This just arrived. All right. Lovely Whimsicott. All right, beautiful Whimsicott. Beautiful Whimsicott. Mr. Ink says, hey, I ordered before the small. All right, give me a moment. What are you trying to tell me, mister? He says, I ordered before the small. I'll refresh just because uh, you're making it sound like maybe it didn't show up. Oh, weird. So you, your last thing was for the Zard and Pokestan. Good night. I'm out. One CP. And then Tenzenberg, three minutes ago, says one spot on the medium since the medium will likely finish tomorrow. So yeah, we already opened up your <coughs> we already opened up your CP if that's what you're wondering. We opened it up and unfortunately it was not a hit. Let's see, what else did we get in the mail? He says about another. Okay, give me a second. I do not see that. Let me go to donation history. I'll type in your name. All right, we're going to do a quick search. Uh, I don't think you did. It looks like you bought one CP 
And then after that, you bought one spot in the medium, and that was it. Uh, the round be before that was the um, round of darkness, one champion, two more spots on the large. Yeah, we already done the one. We'd already done the one before that. One champions and one hidden, please, Mister. One champions, one hiddens. <coughs> Kitty, I'm so sorry that I keep coughing, but it's gonna keep happening, Kitty. She doesn't like it. She's like, shut the f up. Oh man, I need my razor blade. Large, please, sir. All right, give me a second. I know where my razor blade is. My wife's stealing all the time. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Mr. Inks asking? I thought it was Mr. I thought it was Tenzenberg asking. Let's see, Inks. Why did I think it was Tenzenberg asking? Am I. Do I have dementia? Maybe I have dementia. We appreciate you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Someone has to. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Oh, wow, that took a while to arrive. <coughs> That'll be sent off to grade. Another Japanese card. I'm a fan of those Japanese cards. Right, almost goes, ooh, interesting. How do I get this out? Do, 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 do. See how it looks up close? All right. Look at this. Where's the rarity symbol? Hmm, interesting. Extra bulk. I ordered twice and didn't get anything, says Daniel. All right, give me a minute. Two dollars in loose handy. So, let's see. Let me clear this. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Mr. Inks, you say that you made an order and didn't get something. Is that right? I'm scrolling backwards. Mr. Inks. I'm not seeing a Mr. Inks. Yeah, so the the real Mr. Inks, your last order was at 1.53 a.m. That was over an hour ago. So if you're if you're withdrawing from PayPal, make sure that you haven't started tapping into your bank account. Because if you're trying to pay for money from your bank account, what happens is that doesn't actually come through Streamlabs because Streamlabs isn't actually receiving the money. It's receiving pending money, uh, which is what happens because your bank is closed. It's nighttime. Okay. Next we have D. Schmidt says he was missed. What? Let's see. So D. Schmidt, it says here you had an order for one champion's path and one hidden fates. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you did that twice and it looked completely identical. Okay. I got you, D. Schmidt. So one champion's path, one hidden fates, and then you just did one again of the same order. Okay. So we will get you two hidden fates and two champions path. Here we go. And where's my ribs? Oh, cramp in my ribs. <laughs> I reached over so weirdly. Ow, that did not feel good. Oh. He says, so it's coming out of my bank. Yeah, so what PayPal does, if you use everything you have in PayPal, what it'll do next, it will actually withdraw money from your bank. And it'll send the money over, but it's pending. So the money doesn't actually the money doesn't actually arrive usually until the next day. One medium, one large, one road bolt tackle, one road fates collide. Live shipping. So be careful because what you need to do is make sure that's not happening. Okay, make sure you're you're not accident make sure make sure you're not accidentally doing that. Tenzenberg, what are you talking about? Nothing about my last CP. I just reviewed the live video, the way it went. I bought one CP with one round of darkness, two spots on the large, then the last pack. You opened was 
Then the last pack. You open what's the hidden and shining before small. Nothing about my last pack of CP I bought. I mean shining one CP. Tenzenberg, could you rewrite all of that and try to try to make it easier to understand? Explain to me what you're owed and how it was missed. Could you explain it a little bit? All right, so we'll place these down. Now, these are going to be for D. Schmidt. And let me do the math real fast, D. Schmidt. So each time you're doing this, D. Schmidt, you're actually giving me an additional $14 that you don't need to give me. No, 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 no. You're giving me... Yeah. Yeah, you're overpaying by 14 each time. So that's 28 So you're back up to 55 <coughs> D. Schmidt, you now have $55. You're, you do this a very strange way, D. Schmidt. You come in, you just pop some money. You say, uh, I want this. <laughs> and then you have, like, leftover money. It's funny because the way you do it, you do... It seems very little. <laughs> you don't actually do the math. You just kind of uh, stab in the dark, and you're like, just hold on to the rest of it. I think you're the only person who does it that way. Yeah, let me know what... Try to explain really well what happened so I can understand. Here we go. Arbok and Raichu. Here's your other hidden fates. What do we got? Ah, no luck on the Hibs. How about the Champion's Path? Will this be your lucky day? Let's see. Nobody knows what's in these packs right now. Oh my god, it is. D. Schmidt just did it. That's the shiny Charizard right there. Woo! We did it! D. Schmidt. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Place that there. Christian Moss says no! 3-4. And the second pack's cold. Pokey Rich. Wow, nice job, man. Nobody knew what would the next two packs were going to be. And it turned out it was Charizard. Amazing. <coughs> Kenny, what do you think of that? So if you're wanting to grade this, D. Schmidt, the grading will be $64. And, uh... Alternatively, I can buy it off of you for $500 store credit, but probably you want to grade it. Seeing that card makes me angry. Look at that. House of Centering. D. Schmidt says grade it. It's not too bad. I think it has a shot. It's a little thinner on this corner, I'd say. All right. Good luck, mister. So, wait, uh, I can't just grade this for you. You owe me a little bit of money for it. Uh, if, send me $9, okay? Send me $9 and you'll be done. Woo! Uh, and this can go right into your bag. D. Schmidt, you've been pretty deep on this channel, so... That's some good luck and some good karma right there. Oof. Whew! Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> He's like, woo! Highly blessed has got the noose out. <laughs> it's not over, guys. There's lots more Champion's Path. You never know what's going to be in the next one. Ink says, I don't understand what's happening. The 93 went through, but it didn't on your end. It played the message. You're saying it was for $93? Let me look it up. Great story. Now let's give those hands something to do. Two shiny, one hidden, one bullets, one cosmic. Please, too much fun. If you roll the dice and I guess the number, can I have a Pikachu? Huh. Hmm. That sounds like the one you're talking about. Did we not do that one? Two shiny, one hidden, one volts, one cosmic. Please. One volts. One small, one medium, and two rando, please. 
He says, we sure didn't. All right, sounds good, mister. Let's start filling it out then. All right, hold on. All right, so Tenzenberg also contacted me. Give me a second, Tenzenberg. I watched the live. So what happened is the following. You opened one CP Shining for someone. Then you started the small game. After that, you didn't get to open a CP I had purchased. You only proceeded with the medium spot I purchased after, but no CP. So tell me what I owe you. Let me know what I owe you, okay? <coughs> Tenzenberg, I trust you. You just tell me what I owe you, okay? Just a pack of CP, but the Charizard is gone. I tell you what, Tenzenberg, if you want Tenzenberg, because I know how that feels. The truth is, when we were opening the pack, we we really didn't know what it was going to be, right? So sometimes we go out of order, but very often when we go out of order, it doesn't turn into anything. But this time it did. I, I'll do you a one-time favor. If you want, you can open the missing champion's path at another time. So you can disappear for a while if you want. So there's a chance that the next card is a Charizard or any secret rare. But if you like, if you want, I can owe you 16 bucks. Uh, and you can open it whenever you want. So if you'd like, uh, if you'd like, I'll do that for you. Because I know this is a really big deal, this Charizard, and that way you're just not out of it. He says, "All oh, good, just pop it up." All right. Well, you know, you never know. I mean, I really think that you could have a chance of something hot right here. Let's see what happens. We do know CP's pretty cold, but we'll see. Give it a shot, anyways. This is for Tenzenberg. And it is a cold pack. <laughs> Woo! <coughs> Sorry about that, mister. I got to do a better job of making sure that I never miss. All right. You know what's interesting? I don't think you would have gotten the Charizard. I think somebody else would have gotten the Charizard. Because you made that order a little while ago, didn't you? Hmm. So somebody else was off one for that Charizard. Off by one. Have I beat F Fatalis yet? No, I, I haven't gotten enough time to play him, unfortunately. Imagine if Cheese had bought that pack and cut it. That's what's so scary about the cutting. Here, you guys need to be able to see this. I think it affected somebody else's purchase, but I don't know whose. There we go. Now, the real Mr. Inks says, Great story, let's give those hands something to do. Two shiny, one hidden, one volt, one cosmic please. You know what, Mr. Inks? I think I agree. I'm pretty sure I missed that. So let's take care of it right now. I'm sorry about that, mister. I think I've been all over the place tonight. Maybe coughing too much. You know what? I feel like, wouldn't you want to see the top of the card too? He's showing that booty. See, I think it would be better if they'd done shiny Charizard, uh, shiny Blastoise, because we just got a shiny Charizard. We got shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates. All right, two shiny, one hidden, one Volt, and one Cosmic. Freeze, Arid. Tenzenberg says, I'm a little tired of Charizards. Yeah, I'm a little tired of Charizards. Vina's ugly. <laughs> Vina's ugly. What if they done, instead of doing the shiny Charizard, what if this set contained shiny Charmander, shiny Bulbasaur, and shiny Squirtle? That would have been way cooler. That would have been way cooler. All right. Wow, D. Schmidt, thank you for the Charizard, mister. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm jelly. <laughs> now, let me just make sure. He says, if you roll the dice and I guess the number, can I have a Pikachu? It, are you here, Mr. Inks? I'm going to do that for you. Mr. Inks, guess your number. And I'm going to give you a Pikachu because I missed your order, okay? So I'll play, I'll play the game with you. Mr. Inks. Can I guess for them? 13. Oh my god, it actually landed on 13. Wow, what a lucky night. 
Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> there you go. It actually landed right on 13. I might have some other some other uh, Pikachus for you. Let me see. Yeah, I do. So I'll get you a bonus, another bonus Pikachu. This Pikachu as well. And uh, I have some saved Evolution Pikachus. Here's an Evolutions Pikachu. Damn. Very lucky. What the hell? That's a 1 in 20 odds. Hey, man, give all the Pikachus to that dude. I don't know if I have any others. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Sneep. It actually landed on 13. He said 13 and wham, 13. Sneep. Sneep. So now we just need to pull you that hyper rare Pikachu from the <clears throat> Bolt Tackle set. Three, four. Breloom. Come on, Fat Pikachu. This is your other Shining Legends. Oh, pulling the Mewtwo, dude. Beautiful. You're having some good luck. Do you have a secret rare Pikachu? Hold on. These are yours. These are yours. These are yours. There we go. Put that bulk back together. No luck on the hidden. All right. Well, how about this? That's Norlax. Oh, fat. You got Chubby Cheeks Pikachu, but he's not secret. He's not hyper rare. You're getting all the Pikachus. My champ. He goes, what? All right. Next pack. Now we just need to pull Red's Pikachu. You ready? That's Vileplume. Come on, Pikachu. Red's Pikachu. No. Okay, you got another chance for Red's Pikachu right here. Nah. All right. That's okay. Pika Pika. Love you, TC Steve. Gosh darn, I got this. Gosh hard darn. <laughs> Woo! Are you hyped? Now you can tell your wife. You can be like, look what I did. So here's what I'm going to recommend to you, uh, D. Schmidt. What I recommend is getting it graded, crossing your fingers, hoping for the 10. You never know. Uh, <coughs> but hopefully a 10. And then when it comes back, get have me send that card to you right away because that's a valuable card. Actually, if you uh, this is an option, by the way. If you wanted to, you could have that graded for $140 and get it back in two weeks. And then you can show it off to your wife and tell her that it's worth... I don't know, $1,000, $1,500. The SV49 Charizard is worth $1,500, so it's not unfair to say that perhaps this one is worth that as well. He says, I can't believe I did that. Mister, you've been going so deep on this channel, you buy cars all the time, so I'm not surprised at all because you just take more chances than, than most people. That's really cool. So if you wanted to, you could, you could bump it up to $140 shipping, and that would give it the uh, express grading. It would be the fastest grading. Two weeks. Well, it's not the fastest, but it's pretty fast. <clears throat> On the other hand, if you want to save some money, I'll just send it in like normal, and you'll probably get it back within four months, and it will, you know, it'll be the same card, but you will have paid less to grade it. So, you know, those are. I just wanted to mention that that's another option. We got Pikachu V Max, Mewtwo, Vileplume, Pikachu, Pikachu, and Pikachu. All right, very nice. The real Mister Inks pulling some hot pulls. There we go. Now, let me go ahead and clear this. <laughs> he got the Zard! All right, who is next? We took, t we took care of Mr. Inks and Tenzenberg, and D. Schmidt was the last one on this list so we took care of his champions and hidden fates after that we have devin who wants a spot in the large here you go devin devin going on 30 
Oh, it's is this over? We got one <coughs> one spot over here. Wow. He said, "Hey, he said, Mister took his thirteen thirty one, but nothing is worth 13. Drake says, "Damn, two point seven k. Is that what he's selling for currently? That'll probably come down." He says, "I'll pay for the last spot. Want me to?" Five darkness packs. Five darkness packs. Hold on, let me check and see if somebody else has purchased it already. One medium, one large. It's, it's purchased. Okay, it's purchased. It was purchased by. Spielberg Skeleton. He's new. Nice to meet you, Spielberg Skeleton. Bill Berg Skeleton. Skeleton. That's a long name. So he wanted one medium, one large. Let's go, go ahead and put him in the medium as well. That's a long name, mister. One medium, one large. One round of Volt Tackle. All right. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I thought you were being serious for a moment. I was like, what? One round of Fates Collide and live shipping. All right, very good. I'll set this to the side for now because we're going to do that first. Fates Collide and Live Shipping. So Spillsburg. Oh, we did have a pack of... I didn't know that. Hold on, where's the Ultra Fruit? Oh, there it is. Make sure you've messaged me on Discord already with all, all the info, all the relevant info. Pulled both the Zards now. Cool. I know, right? Now I can close up shop, disappear, run away with all your Pokemans. It was my plan all along. That's why there's so many bags on the table. I was just waiting for the right moment. <clears throat> now, if I was going to pack up bags and go to Mexico, I would have done that with Blonde Doom's Dragonite. <laughs> Blonde Doom's insanely rare Dragonite. All right, here we go. Spillsburg. Wait, uh, you know, we shouldn't do the live shipping for you until after the large is over in case you win. So we'll do the live shipping for you after this. Did he put it up for sale yet? Not yet. <laughs> Already sent you my address. Like I said, I'm new. The 24 for those five packs. And now you said you don't you don't leave them. You don't have them, so I'm confused. What are you talking about? I got them. They're all here. The dream is Poke Stand. All right, we have Champion. Cold. Nice, you got Pikachu V. Oops. Oh, they were sticking. Fill the last medium spots. Whoa. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, nice. The Alakazam Secret. Congratulations. That's a cool card. Some people really want this one. So you just got a hot pull, mister. Now the fates collide. Runicliss. <laughs> Kitty's watching. Uh, we have Warmadon. Last pack. Maybe some better luck in the last pack. No, not this time. So the face collide. We're a little cold. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to open up the large first. And then we're going to ship your cards. Because you do have a chance to win the large. And if you do win, I want to ship your cards together. Okay? Does that make sense? I do it for you, TCC. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tensenberg. <laughs> Sweet. So let's write your name down. I'll wait for those. And what do you mean by a spot? Oh, uh, so we have a... These are the custom booster packs. This list tells me how to make the... You know, the how to open the custom booster packs, basically. All right. Here's the Mewtwo. We need 37 booster packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so these are all the custom booster packs. This cute little Vulpix is the only chase pull in this entire booster box. And it gives you the Mewtwo, okay? That's how this works. Now you don't know what booster pack is going into, and then I'm gonna shuffle them real good so that there's good RNG in the booster box. <coughs> now my back's finally starting to hurt, which makes sense. We're approaching the five hour mark. Five hours of sitting. Try to scooch in more maybe. All right, for the Pokey Stand National Anthem. I'm a cry if 13 hits. Because <laughs> you wanted 13, that's right. And <laughs> you got number 12. Ah, yeah. That's how it goes, though. That's how it goes. <laughs> a couple people got spots they didn't want. They were like, I'll take 20. But the guy before him said, I'll take 20. What's up, Exotics? No, this is all sold out. All these booster packs have sold. Again, one of the booster packs contains the Mewtwo in it. I think that's pretty shuffled, don't you guys think? Now, the dice will decide. It will split the deck. This ensures I can't rig the shuffle, right? So that's very important. That lands on 15. So we split the deck by 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was one of the fastest moving larges that we've had in a while. You guys really like that Mewtwo. Let's see who wins it. So again, there's a full booster box. Nobody knows where the chase card is, not even me. And now we go down in the order that people bought the packs. So that's why we have the list. Spillsburg. Sorry, Spillsburg. Supernovas. Supernovas. Winston. D. Schmidt. Well, imagine if you had won that too, D. Schmidt. <laughs> Tenzenberg. Ghostland. Ghost. It, oh, Ghost Lord. Christian Moss on nine. Christian Moss on ten. We'll do a quick recount. Make sure we're on track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten packs have now been opened. Eleven is Ardenan. 12 is Mr. Inks. 13 is Winston. Oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. 14 is Irvin Chan. 15 is Jarek. 16 is Gerard. 17 is Tenzenberg. 18 is Ardenan. And 19 is Winston. Let's go ahead and count that up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, okay. So 20 is Devin. And now we can put these up top. 21, Devin A. 22 is Dustin. 23 is Ryoma. 24 is Ryoma. 25, Tenzenberg. 26, Jarek. 27, Jarek. 28 is Ardenan. 29, Mr. Inks. 30 is Devin A. 31 is Sid. 32 is Big Mac. 33 is Big... 33, Big Mac. Damn. So we're going to count from 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Big Mac's the winner. Congratulations, Big Mac. Wow. There it is. Big Mac's like, oh my God. Big Mac, this is like a $400 card right here, and this is yours now. Congratulations. And for most people, it only cost them $10 to get in. Some people went deeper than that. Ah, oh, my back hurts so bad. You know, it's just not properly rested. We didn't rest it enough yesterday. All right, so before I create the next large, let me go ahead and ship uh, Spillsburg out. Spillsburg's been waiting. I do have an ergonomic chair. It's just terrible. Just terrible. 
Broke says, what is this dream? This is the Pokemans. This is the Pokemans. Come on, man. I want some Pokemans. Come on. Are your feet flat on the floor? My feet are flat on the coochie. All right, we're shipping you right now, Spilsberg. Spilsberg Skelton. I just ran out of tape. Very interesting. Well, I suppose what I'll do is I'll put this in a bag. So I don't have any more tape, just in case it tries to sneak forward. All right, Spilsberg. Let me just get an envelope. We gotta build up a label after this. We start up a new large, I just have to decide what it should be. And I don't know what it should be, honestly. I don't even know. Who's here the most, says Michael. Um, Quinton's here a lot, apparently. Quinton's been with us for a long time. All right, so we're looking for Spilsberg now. Spilsberg, I'm in Discord, and I'm just going to start looking for your address. Spilsberg, have you sent me an address yet? Calling me Zed, Texi. Is it this guy? Uh, hmm. Oh, let me mark this on red. I don't think you've sent me your address yet. Taxi, Mr. Inks, Phantom. Zareds and Yugi's. Where's the Yugi's, man? Oh, there he is. What's up, man? All right. <coughs> Do me a favor. Send me your email. And let's start testing this address out. So we used the email for the tracking numbers. That's why we need emails. Makes you wonder why I don't just operate this all from email. Seems like it could be a smarter idea. All right. Thank you. Oh, I love this music playing right now. Almost done. All right. I thought your I thought his red skeleton is skeleton. Your label is created and your cards are on the way, Mister. Yugi's, where's the Yugi's, Mister? Come on, man. Oh man. So now we go ahead and work on creating a new large, a new world order. <laughs> What could I get for you guys that will blow your minds? I do have a Charizard I could put in there. I could put in this Dark Charizard 8. Um, hmm. What kind of Charizards do I got? What kind of Charizards do I got? Here's a Charizard 9. He's pretty fancy. Ah, oh, man. Let me put this away. Freaking Charizards. <clears throat> Give me a second, guys. Let me go find something. Let me pull my sexy boxes down, the ones where I'm not supposed to pull any cards out of them. Oh no, these cards are far too sexy. I don't think I could do these guys. These are like a bazillion sexy. Oh man, Ryoma would go so deep for this one. <laughs> I couldn't do that one though. No, I don't know guys, these cards are way too sexy. What the hell? Oh, do I have three of these? Oh, I've got three of these. I could probably do one of these. All right. I got three of these. I don't need three. Let me just choose one. All right. Well, they're all basically the same. How do they look on the back? And they all look the same on the back. Cool. Let me just pick the sexiest one ever. I'm pulling this from my private collection. Guys, this is the good stuff. You think I put my private collection stuff in the small? No. This isn't even supposed to be for sale. 
This is just supposed to go into an investment, a little block of investment cards and never get touched again. But you guys have forced my hand. First edition Mew Hollow. So Expedition is part of the e-reader uh, series, right? 2001. That's uh, Expedition, Sky Ridge, and Aquapolis. And this card is gorgeous. So we just did Mewtwo. Now we'll have Mew. You're a madman. I know. <laughs> Let me go look him up. I bet you he's appreciated in price too. I should not I should not be selling that card. That card is highly desirable. I bet he went up in price. Oh my god, he like triple in price. I do not think I should sell this. I will be stupid if I sold this. Let me look at completed items. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've got three of them, though. I don't need three of them. And you guys need something fun to do. I, I really don't want to do that one. He says, be stupid. How much is it? It's like $1,000. So let me look it up. So the cheapest one is 1000 And then after that one goes, it jumps all the way up to 1700 not that that not that people will actually buy it for a thousand seven hundred, but I'm saying there's only two available on the market, and when that one sells for a thousand, which I think it will, when that one sells for a thousand, your only other option is the one for seventeen hundred. Let me look at the pop on it. This this thing's probably super rare. I, it's a first it's a first edition one too. That's why it's in my don't sell box, because it's actually not supposed to be sold. All right, Pokemon Japanese Expedition. We're looking up the Mew. Dude, there's 25 of them in the world. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I misunderstand. Those are non-hollow and hollow, so there's 94 of them. So this is the Expedition Mew, and you can see this one down at the bottom is the Mew Hollow, and you come over here, and there's 94 of them. Ah, no, come on, that would just be stupid of me. He's actually quite rare. I couldn't do it, guys. I want to do it for the fun, but I couldn't do it. It's so obvious he's going to keep exploding in price. I couldn't do that. He looks too good. He, he's one of those cards where it's actually rare, and he looks fantastic. I'm sorry, guys. I got you all excited. I'll, I, I'll look for something else that you guys might want for fun, okay? Something that I feel like I wouldn't lose forever. And then cry. Cry myself asleep. Let's see. Well, I might be able to do one of these. Let me take a look at them. What the hell? This charming? So give me a second, guys. I know I'm not at the camera. This is hard. I got. It's, it's actually difficult to fill the large because I try to do really unique stuff. All right, we'll do this next. Give me a second. Oof. So you guys like Mewtwo's, huh? We could do two Mewtwo's at the same time. Ten spots for the new. You guys like Mewtwo's. All right. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to list him for 250. Oh, that's actually not bad. 250, huh? So there's going to be two of them then, and uh, let's find out how this works. It means there's going to be a total of 500 divided by 36. So we're going to say each spot costs $14, and there's a chance to win two of them if you own more than one spot. Let me update this real fast.
times two. All right, so that's the next round. And uh, like before, there'll be 36 spots, just like a booster box. Yo, dog, I heard you like Mewtwo's, so I put two Mewtwo's in your large so you can have Mewtwo's with your Mewtwo's. It's, it's highly unlikely, but somebody could buy two spots, and in uh, even though the odds are really small, it is possible for you to win both of them. Just like we saw with Mars Bars earlier. So it's unlikely, very unlikely, but not impossible either. And I think that's what's cool about having both of them in the game. Large spots, 1124, please, sir. So the spots are $14 each. Here, let me write that here. So they're a little more pricey. But that's because there's literally two of them. That is the reason. Two spots, 16 and 17 on the large. Thank you. There it is. All right. What's up, Stas? He says, how much longer? Um, well, at least 20 minutes. Because I go, as you know, I go for five... Um, Five hours every night. Like a chimp. Even though my back hurts like crazy right now. So, let's find out what happens next. It was Spilsberg who finished the large. D. Schmidt says, love you, TCC. Gosh darn, I got the Zard. So, he sent me 40. All right, and this brings you up to $95. Uh, and that means I have enough to grade your Zard. So why don't I go ahead and do that? So uh, we're going to subtract 64 from that real fast. That brings you down to 31. There you go. So you have 31 bucks there, D. Schmidt. Now we're going to write D. Schmidt here. By the way, did uh, Abadillo ever come back? <clears throat> Excuse me. D. Schmidt. I'm going to go ahead and hang his card because I don't want to lose it. I figured he would have been watching for the doggies. There it is, D. Schmidt. Wow, dude. All right, we're going over to the PSA requests. D. Schmidt. Oops. Charizard. Uh, shiny. Champions. Path. Oh, ho, ho. you're the first one to pull it, mister. Beautiful. Exotic Kennel says five darkness of balls. You had an exotic kennel. Oops. That's falling over. Two spots for the Mewtwo's and one round of Rebel, please. All right. Thanks for waiting. We are now finally getting to your order. Sneep. One, two, three, four, and a five. Did you find Teddy Milk Card? Mister, I got my parcel from. What? You and it wasn't there. Did I find, oh, this is uh, Lucario. I did not even look about. Uh, look for it. I completely forgot. Hold on. Let me get this done first. I have been having a flood of problems, and I am so sorry. I'm sure I forgot about it. So you're saying I owe you a, a Mommy Milker's Moo Milk a PSA card, huh? I'll go looking for it again. I think we looked for it earlier and didn't see it. All right, Soul Rock. What's this? Pack number four. Oh, man, you need a hot pull on pack number five right now. Oh, good. Here we go. Ah, darn. So, Squova Agron, no hot pulls at all. That's tough beginner's luck, mister. That was for Exotic Kennels. Sorry, Exotic Kennels. Devin A, large spots, number 11 and 24. So 
of course, with two, with there being two cards in here, you have a 1 in 18 odds of pulling the Mewtwo. If you buy two spots, you actually make it possible to pull both of the gar cards together. And it also means you have a 1 in 9 odds, I believe. So very interesting. That's how, that's how when there's two cards like that, that's how that works. Because there's going to be two winners, okay? And it could be you if you have two spots. Tenzenberg, two spots, 16 and 17. Wait a second. Didn't Tenzenberg buy medium spots? Where did that go? Yeah, he did. Oh, I did the same thing I did before. <laughs> so Exotic Kennel actually made two purchases. Yeah, he made two purchases, and my eyes skipped over Tenzenberg, who was between those two purchases, because I thought I'd finish the other one. So Tenzenberg says, let's finish the medium. Here we go. Fill the medium. Tenzenberg. You got 18 and 19, and you got number two. That means there's one more spot on the medium. Spot number one is so close. Now, Exotic Kennels sent me a ton of money. He said 10 spots for the new. Oh, but he didn't know that the price of the new one was going to change. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say Exotic Kennels. So you have $100 and you can do with it whatever you need to, okay? If you paid with PayPal, I can even give you a PayPal refund, okay? If you pay with credit card, I'm not able to do that because I, I don't know how credit cards work. It doesn't give me that option on credit cards. So Exotic Kennels, you got some monies. All right. God King Lunar says two spots for the Mewtwo's and one round of Rebel. All right. God King Lunar, what's up, man? And one round, Rebels. Rebel smash. He says, you're good. I can take the last spot on the medium and the rest on the Mewtwo's. Okay. So before we do God King Lunar, let's get this sorted out because I like to remove these from the table. All right, exotic kennels. Now, you have $90. Let's go ahead and divide that by 14. Actually, what is that? Six. That should be six with uh, $2 left over. Well, not $2 left over, but $2 short. So you can, you should be able to buy... F Med. Let me think about it. No, 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 seven. So let's see. Seven, seven times 10 is 70. Seven times four is 28. Yeah, okay. So you're owed seven spots and there'll be two spots left over. Is that really what you want to do? Do you want me to put them in any particular order? Or I guess I'll just put them here in the middle. All right. Oh, 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 that's Mr. Inks talking. Hold on. He said, yes, I thought it was Exotic Kennel. Exotic Kennel, you want it all going into the large. Is that correct? I mean, I can do that. Okay, 322. Seven. So you've got three there. You want number 33? Sometimes the cards are right next to each other. So in this case, you would actually miss them if they were next to each other. But that's, you know. So let's see. One, two, three, four. You're owed seven spots because that would be 70 plus 28. Or in other words, it would be uh, $98. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I had, it, I had it originally correct, didn't I? Because you'd already spent $10, right? See, this is why I use a calculator. I, I need to stop being stupid. So you have $90. And $90 divided by 14. Yeah, six spots. I had it originally correct. The reason I messed it up is because I forgot 10 of the dollars are already spent. So you're owed two more spots. One, two, three, four. We'll put you one down here. Spot one, eight, one, nine, two in the large Mewtwo game, please.
We're all very jealous. Uh, he says four and five. Oh, I'm so sorry, mister. I just put you on these two, 26 and 29. I'm sorry, mister. I went ahead and just tossed him in because I was still waiting. I'm sorry, man. Toss it over there. Four spots for the Mewtwo's one hidden in a round of darkness ablaze. What do I like for food? So, mister, I sent you a message on Discord. I like... He says, I'll send another 28. Really? Nick says six dollars left over. All right, hold on. Let me just do the math here. You guys, I'm going to mess it up. You know I am. Oh, you're correct. There are actually six dollars left over. So there's six dollars left over for Mr. Exotic Kennel. Sorry about that. There we go. Should have just used the calculator the whole time. Calculator's way better than me. All right, so Exotic Kennels, you actually have $6, mister. Now, let's go ahead and get these Rebel Clashes for God King Looter. Thank you for your patience, God King Looter. Let's see what we got. Sneep. One, two. That's a free drink. <laughs> Sneep. I will sacrifice my own life for Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Pakistan is in the butt. Yarados, green, best card in Rebel. There's uh, there's quite a few really cool cards in Rebel. Uh, the Golden Frost Moth. There's the Hyper Rare Dragapult is actually extremely cool. All three of the starter Hyper Rares are in this. Uh, and then also there's uh, Sonya, she's in this. And Giovanni from Team Rocket is in here as well. Oh, favorite food. Um, chicken curry. Chicken curry with... Chai tea. <laughs> what do we got here? Is it called chai? I can't remember. Oh, nice. One more hit, huh? All right. All right, there we go. He says, really? No, I was just, I was just teasing you. My favorite food, huh? My favorite food is actually crab legs. That is, without a doubt, my favorite food. It's very expensive. I don't get to... I don't get to enjoy it very often. I'm very big on uh, seafood, even the smelly seafood. Some people don't like the smelly seafood. That's my favorite seafood. But crab legs, crab legs are so good. They're kind of like, they're like shrimp, they're like lobster, uh, but they're just juicier. And I like having to crack through the shell to get to it. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, of crab legs. God King Lunar with the Perky Milkies, Olivia. All right. Eat crab legs at the casino. I should do that someday. I should take my wife out. She's never been to one of those. Okay, so God King Litter. Two spots for the Mewtwo's. We did that. And a round of Rebel. Then we have Lucario. Did you find my Milky card? Give me a second. In Pakistan, there's Chicken, Karahai, and Che. Nice, man. Yeah, I've actually seen a little bit of Pakistani cooking. Uh, there's a guy I watch, his name's Food Ranger, and uh, he likes to travel around those places sometimes and show off the food that you guys eat. All right, so we're looking for Lucario or Snorlax, 95. Pokekobe, God King Lunar has a card. Quentin, Cirque Fan, Pokekobe, Nanahara. Lots of cards over here, Jesus. Large spot, four and five. Titanic, Moist Man, Andy Dell, Gentoo Penguin, Normzilla, Dustin D. Schmidt. Raoma, Cirque Fan, Supreme, Gronk, Joey Joseph, Big Mac. Oh, right. This is that card Big Mac just won. Look at that, Big Mac. Mom! <laughs> God King Lunar says, wait, hold up. <laughs> he, said, he said, do you have to say, <clears throat> I have a PSA card? Rudy Tav, T. New, Green Ranger, Mary Kay, Matt Chun, Kodakon again, Matt Chun. Who's this? Big Mac again. He says, I heard my name. Yeah, apparently you have a PSA card over here. Let's see, what do we got here? So these will all be new. Yep, none of those. What do we have next? Cirque Fan. Cirque Fan's got a lot. JR Ram. Dustin Jones, Ruby, Kill Jolts, Calm, Cirque Fan, Joey Joseph, 
Violent Delights, Rust. Oh, I got shipped Violent Delights. Let me pull that one out. He needs to be shipped. Can we get a close-up of the shiny Zard? Yes, absolutely. However, let me finish doing this. Dustin Jones, Zero, James, Mars, Mars, T. Miller, Mike, and Beardy Man. He says, if you have a plan to come to Pakistan, I will take care of you. I bet you would. You are probably very hospital uh, hospitable. There's the right word. You're probably very nice is what I'm trying to say. And uh, I'm sure you would. JMO, Moist Man, Christian Metal, Kill Jules, Russ, Dustin Jones. So I've been through the whole box once again, and I did not find... I did not find a uh, a Milky's, a Moo Milk. Didn't you already give it to me? I thought you already traded it to me. Hold on, I'm thinking about it. I feel like you already traded it to me. All right, well, I didn't see it in the shipping box. I'll have to look later to see if you had already traded it to me. Let me toss this back over here. God King Lunar, I did see a card in there for you, a PSA card, so whenever you want to ship, do me a favor and remind me that you have one, okay? And I'll be sure to go through there and find it. So, once again, congratulations to Big Mac on this guy. And then this this was D. Schmidt. D. Schmidt just pulled this. He says, I think I did last time. I, I, I might have missed it. I don't know. I must have missed it. If that's a, an event toll, you didn't ship it for me. All right, here, let's go find it. Let's go find it. You're making me curious, mister. Let's go find out what it is. What could it be? The secret. Mikey. If it's the Aveltal, we'll ship it right here, right now. How about that? Because I don't know what it is. I have no clue. Dustin, Ruby, Killjolts, Cirque Fan, Cirque Fan, Rust, Table Top Knights. These are the new ones. Big Mac, Mars, Big Mac. Wow, Big Mac, you've been doing good, man. What the hell? Russ, Beardy Man. I got some cards for you, Russ. You gotta have me ship those. Rudy Tav, Green Ranger. Okay, that's weird. I didn't see you. Did I put you in a different spot when I put these back in the box? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go through everything every single card now. Kodakon, <laughs> Matt, Collision, Mary, Green Ranger, Tinu, Rudy, Antonio, Alex, D. Schmidt. I might have put it back in the box in, in a different order. Oh my god, I need some of these to get shipped out because there's so many of them. It takes me longer to get through them. Hydrogen, L wines, dust oh I did. So I put these in, I put these back in the box in a different order than I took them out in. So hold on, I'm sure it's still in there. I probably just have to free find it now. Circle fan. Woo! Pokemon! Dustin Jones, Gantu Penguin. Who's that guy? I never heard of him. Or his Charizard. Okay, Kobe. Ah, here it is. Ha da da! It's the Velto! Yay! We did it! <coughs> Yay! Woohoo! So it appears to be the Velto. Alright, let's go ahead and get this ship. Oh, my, my tape ran out. I forgot. All right, let's go ahead and get new tape. How about that? I'll be right back. Let me go get the tape. God damn it. Gonna lose my mind. Gonna lose my mind. God, King Lunar, you want me to just go ahead and chip your bag as well? With the Olivia? Olivia. Let me know if you want me to just go ahead and ship your bag as well. I don't see why not, unless you're going to have me do that grading. I'm trying to remember. He says, yes, ship it all. There we go. So let me go ahead and grab 
The O. O. Olivia. It's actually kind of weird. I have a sister named Olivia, so. Weird. Sweet home Alabama. Dooba dooba dooby doop doop. Grab this. Can I see the board? Uh, yes. In a minute. Yep, I got one sister named Olivia. Actually, she and I did not get along. We did not like each other. At all. I think it's because we had similar attitudes, personalities or something. Do you think that would be a good thing? But not when you're crazy. Folding it up. All right, here we go. No problem, God King Lunar. It's my fault. You don't have to apologize. That's why I said right away that if it was the Abelto, we would ship it. What if Olivia has a card channel too? Oh man, wouldn't that be crazy? Buying you silent tape. What? That's the best part of the live stream. You know, I feel sorry for my neighbor. I wonder how many times I've woken up my neighbor. Oh my dear God, please stop. All right, so we did not find Moo Moo Milk. We did, however, find God King Lunar's Ibeltol. And so now he's getting all his goodies shipped out. God, King Lunar, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills, man. You're wringing me dry. I can't afford that label. That's like a bazillion bucks. All right, there we go. Now, what is next? Did we finish the medium? We did finish the medium. It was Exotic Kennel. Uh, exotic Kennel? I think that's his name. He actually bought out the last spot. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. I like the medium. The medium's easy to operate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Oleana, ooh, what what is she wearing? I still that's so inappropriate. If I if my wife wore that to work, I'd be like, you're not wearing that to work. But would I? Ooh, maybe I'd be like, go for it. No, that'd be crazy. <clears throat> Here we go. One, two. Only if it's with other women. Here we go. I will take the booster of DB when I win. Speak it into existence. You got it, mister. <coughs> Just don't forget that Grey Wolf is your best friend in Pakistan. All right, Grey Wolf. But what if somebody else comes up and says they're my best friend in Pakistan? Do I say, sorry, Grey Wolf's my best friend? Kawuna! Coronavirus. Eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And now it's set. Here it goes. <clears throat> That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, no luck, Prestige. Devin is. Wait, we better recount that real fast. Make sure we're on track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so we were thirteen is done. Fourteen is Devin. Fifteen is New Gen. 
16 is Tenzin, 17 is Spilsberg, 18 is Tenzin once again, 19 is Tenzin, but the actual winner is King Hardy's. Wow. So that was not a free spot that he won. Oh, wait, was it? Did King Hardy's win the giveaway? I don't remember. I thought I gave him a spot. I gave somebody a spot. So King Hart has made a trade with me, and I said, you know what? I'm giving you a free spot in the medium because you did that trade with me. Damn. He says, I think it was a free spot. Well, spot number 20 is always the free spot, but I thought the reason I gave it to him... No, he won this. He won this uh, in the giveaway yesterday night, didn't he? Who was the winner yesterday in the giveaway? Yeah, it was yesterday night. He was the, he was the winner yesterday night. Wow, dude. King Hart is, is doing okay. Is he, is he still here or has he gone to bed? That's pretty damn good luck. Winning on a, on a free spot doesn't get much sweeter than that. Hard to believe, but it does happen. So do I get to keep the packs from the spots also? Yeah, so you can if you would like. That is an option. I don't even remember what your pack was. I suppose if we count backwards, we know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh wait, wait. Hold on. I did that wrong. We would have only counted up to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this would have been your pack, I think. And the contents of the pack are these three energy cards, and you are entitled to them if you want them. He says, from the Mewtwo would be cool. Okay, from the next game, the, the Mewtwo? All right. So these are the cards in the custom booster pack, and these are actually yours. You actually did pay for these. All right, I'll pop these back in if you're not interested. They are considered bulk. A lot of people give their bulk up on this channel. Here we go. You're hopping off. You have a good night, Stas. My bulk is just a little less interesting than the bulk you get from a regular sealed booster pack. There's no reverse. I suppose I could put reverse hollows in there, couldn't I? I've got bazillions of reverse hollows. So next time I'll load them up with reverse hollows. Why not? Maybe somebody will actually want theirs. How much longer we got? All night, baby. So the medium is reset. Now, Lucario says he wants one spot in the medium. All right. Here you go, Lucario. Yeah, you know, I, I think we could actually start to load them up with uh, little reverse hollows. There's no, nothing wrong with that. Maybe if I do it one at a time. That's fine. Oh, well, no, they're, they are regular packs, but we go through them very quickly because the top's already trimmed off. And I put a special winning card in, a uh, really nice chase card that gives you a chance for a booster box or PSA cards. This is something you can't get from regular Nintendo packs. Uh, but we'll put the reverse hollows in. We'll start doing that more often. I don't see why not. There's no reason not to. Okay. Who is next? Jer XL, who's been waiting 19 minutes, he wants spot 18, 19, and 20 in the large. Those are actually available too. How nice. So Jer XL. Little kitty snoring. Kitty, you snoring? Big Mac says four spots for the Mewtwo, one hidden, and a round of darkness. You got any darkness ablaze? One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Here's a Hidden Fates pack. Also, mister, I sent you a message on Discord. Okay. Sounds good. I probably will see it tomorrow. 
<laughs> Four spots, huh? Cool. So let's go ahead and get these filled in. We're going to put you right here. Got to double down, huh? S snipe another Mew. Mewtwo. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and open up your packs. Could I have one on the house? All right. Free pokey cars just for Michael. Here you go, Michael. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Do you know how far into the Discord ship list you are? Uh, so the way to find out how far into the ship list I am, you'll go into that channel and you'll scroll up until you get to the oldest message that doesn't have an emoji on it. And that's the person who is going next. So I think I'm three days behind on the ship list. I think it's three days. It's probably four days now, now that a new day has started. Do I have any old packs? I used to sell vintage packs. Um, I haven't I haven't sold any vintage packs in the last week, I think. Maybe it's two weeks. Three, four. We got Muvi. You're loving pokey cards. Sweet. One round of unbroken bonding. One pack of champions path. Champions path. No way. Check it out. Colossal Secret Rare. Beautiful. What a great card. I actually like Colossal. He's a good design. I thought that when I first saw him, I, I was like, that's actually quite fitting. It reminds me of Golem. Nice. All right, what do we got? Melton. Melton, Meltoff. Oh, this is your hidden. Doesn't look like a hit. Oh, but it is. It is shiny Lucario. Nice, man. Looks fairly well-centered, actually. No tilting? That might be a solid 10. A lot of the, a lot of the um, Hidden Fates hollows have tilting, and it just ruins them. Damn! This was a very hot round. You got three hits from the Darkness of Blaze and one shiny Lucario that actually looks like it could grade a 10. All right. And that all was for Big Mac. There you go. Holy moly. Sometimes you get the hot packs. Sometimes you get the cold packs. Who's after Big Mac? We have Sid, my friend. Large spot number four. You got it. Spot number four is already taken. The closest to that is number two. Sid, my friend. Exotic Kennel. He says large spot number four and five. Uh, that's definitely taken. So Big Mac took it. Uh, I could put you on 14 and 15. How about that? So Exotic Kennel is going extremely deep, guys. On this game. This booster box. And uh, wow. It is actually pretty full. That's crazy. West W. One round of Unbroken Bonds and one Champion's Path. What are you guys done for the night? What are you whips? Can't handle all the pokey cards, huh? Tensburg says, I'm going to buy the last spots. Tensburg, no, run! <laughs> how many are there? Tensburg, I don't know how deep your pockets are, but you don't got to do that, mister. <laughs> There's a few spots. Are you in? I don't think you're in. Oh, you are in this one. You've already got two spots. Would you take my Zard VMAX? And the $33 I put in for the grade for 10 spots on the large. No, uh, no, I wouldn't do that because I, I would only buy that uh, Zard for like 100 I think. But I haven't seen his price in a while. I don't know if his price has moved up and down yet. It is tempting, though. Maybe if I did a little research first, we could work something out. Maybe if I did a little bit of research first. Can you pre-grade me? Oh, I could pre-grade you all day, baby. Sweet baby mama. Three, four. What do we got? Ooh, Honch Crow Full Art. Beautiful. I would feel really bad if you got into the large and didn't actually pull anything and lost your Charizard. I mean, you've already got the Charizard. Doesn't it make more sense? Oh, that was your champion's path. Sorry about that. Doesn't it make more sense to hold on to the Charizard? Because you already pulled him. He's, he's basically a chase card. 
He's like, yeah, buy one in. <laughs> Remember, only two people win those Mewtubes. Mewtubes. He says, I have many Zards. Oh, <laughs> well, in that case, let me just do a little research first, okay? He's like, I have many Zards. Toss it over there. Nice pull, mister. Picking up the full art Honch Crow. That was West W. What's that, West W? Oh, look at that. He had that secret rare Cabo from before. He pulled that out of Champion's Path. There we go. Big Mac, can you pre-grade me, sir? Can you pre-grade me? Yes. Heck yeah. There's two different winners for the large. If you have more than one spot, you have a chance to win both cards. Wow, that looks like a perfect 10. Maybe maybe very ever so slightly thinner on the left. How about the front? Oh, well, maybe the front looks a little thinner on the right. So I would say he definitely looks like he has a shot at a 10. He was looking so clean, but I stared at him a little longer. Yeah, this one's pretty close to a 10 as well. Mew definitely has a shot. Uh, I would definitely say this has a shot too, but it's clearer that he's thinner here. So I would say he has a shot though. Lucario definitely has a shot. Check the back real fast. Make sure they're... Well, he's thin here actually compared to here. He looked great up top. All right, I'm going to place him over here because I'm not so sure about that one. Oh yeah, you see it here. I wouldn't I wouldn't grade the Lucario. That's too bad. He looks so good up here. Alcremi. Slightly thinner on the right. Um, you could definitely take a risk on it if you wanted to, but it's just a V, and I don't think how creamy will be crazy valuable. Oh, that hurts my eyes. Let's check the back. Well. Your psychic energy might have a shot. I'm going to let you look at it at home. If it can pull a 10, I don't know what it will go for, but it will have some value. This looks off center on the front. I'll creamy VMAX. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think this has a shot. <laughs> no, this is clearly off center. Two spots in the large 27 and 28, if still available. This looks pretty close. Yeah, this should have a shot at a 10 as well. So your cards overall are quite good, I'd say, Big Mac. Overall, you could take a risk on the Lucario, see if it pulls a 10. Uh, I don't know what it goes as a 10, probably about 50 if I had to guess, close to 50, maybe 45. Uh, your best card here is clearly the Colossal, so I would grade him for sure. Uh, and then after that, I don't know. You know, I bet this Mew actually does fairly well, but I don't know if it would reach past 40 or 50. And the Alcremie Full Art, even though it's a Full Art VMAX, I don't think it'll be that popular. It just is too girly. Uh, I don't think the boys will like it. Usually you need a card that both boys and girls like. And same with the Santa Scorch. I just don't know how much the Santa Scorch will go for. So this is the best one. Okay. Place this over here. That's the pre-grade, by the way. For $5, I go through your bag, check for what clearly has no shot at a 10 and what looks like it really does have a shot at a 10. And then I kind of give you some advice. So that's what the pre-grade is. Gilly, what's up, Gilly? Two spots in the large, 27 and 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight, nine, ten. I think I'm getting a heart <coughs> I'm getting heartburn on top of the cough. And that's because I've not eaten in a long time. That's what happens if I don't eat for a real long time, I start to get heartburn. What the hell? What's up? He says, did my medium go through? Yes, it did. You're right here, mister, on a fresh medium. Brand new medium. <coughs> Is King Hardis here? Because we will do his, uh, he's got this card right here. Where's King Hardis? Move that over there. Are my lungs okay? Uh, probably I'm about to die. <laughs> Let me know how many spots you're willing to give for the Zard VMAX plus 33 for the PSA gradings. Okay, give me a minute. 
Dooby dooby, a Scooby dooby. Now the question is, how does the release of the new Charizard affect him? And he's, oh wait, that's a nine. Okay, so he's he's definitely fallen a little bit in value. Let me check completed items. All right. Okay. Well, uh, you know, if you really wanted to, I would trade you $110 of store credit plus the $33 back for not wanting the grade anymore. This would leave you with $140 total. How bad did he look? <laughs> Let me take a look at him too, okay? Oh man, that looks so freaking fancy. What the hell? Gantu sending this out. Servant. Mark Ortiz. I got some cheese, some string cheese. Hey, look, keep this sending these out. Stites one, was he the one with the no print line? I can't remember who, oh man, look at that. God damn, dude. Oh my God, these cards are hot, man. Wait, this one has no, is that mine? That has no writing on it, that's concerning. That's very concerning. <laughs> oh, Tenzenberg, right there. The only time there's no writing on the card is when it's my card. They should make Shining Carvana. <laughs> okay, that'd be random. Very random. So, Tenzenberg. Ah, uh, yeah, he is off-center, though. So the question is whether or not he'd pull a nine, because he's thinner here than he is here. The bottom of the card looks great. How does the front of the card look? Well, see, you can't even tell on the front, because these areas are blocked off, so it's hard to know whether or not that's a ten. He's got 10 potential for sure. Ah, so it's a gamble. If you wanted, 140 Tenzenberg. And then I guess this one's mine because I didn't write on it. Hmm, weird. Look at these guys. That's Gentoo Penguin and D. Schmidt. That's Champion's Path right there. Those are the chase cards. Those are what you want. And there's other secret rares in the set, but holy moly, those are good looking. Tenzenberg says 10 spots and take the $4 as a tip. All right, you got it, mister. We're going to scratch this out. You got it. I hope it all works out for you in the end. Let's see what happens. Are there even 10 spots left? So Tenzin. Tenzin. One, two, three. Four, five, six, oops, six, seven, eight. And this is nine, ten. Spot number 30, 36 is open, and when that one's gone, we begin. I'm going to guess that somebody's about to, uh, Somebody's about to buy up that spot to get the game going. Let's see what. Let's go ahead and start counting these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, nine, six, ten, six, eleven, six, twelve, Mario thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, energy. sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. <clears throat> Those were two of the fastest moving larges ever. Oh man, it's a pity to see them go. I was just gonna hold on to them for a very long time, but I had three of them. I don't need three of them. So and that shows you how much I was holding on to them. Three of them? Mine. Mine, is that Tenzenberg? That is Tenzenberg, all right. So there's two potential winners. It could be the same guy. Last spot large. 
hear you sling mean ping. What's up, logs? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tenderberg. I appreciate that. I'll make all the games moving. Holy. Holy shimoles. Sister, mister. So. Oh, it was Lucario who said mine. Holy. I thought that was Tenzenberg. I just assumed. All right. It was actually Lucario who made it into that last spot. Here you go, mister. Tenzenberg, I owe you $14. I did not expect that. Now, two winners. Two wieners. I want a ween. Well, these were so popular. Maybe I should do another round. Here it goes. One, two, three. We're going to get them nice and shuffled. Really important to get them nice and shuffled. I get some rest. What are you talking about? This is the Pokey Stream that never ends. This is the 24 hour Pokey Stream. We just began. We're gonna pokey stream it all night long. We're gonna be betting the Millennium Falcon, trading farms. Sammy's going to, they're gonna bet using their, uh, their power chair. What do they call those? Scooters, power scooters. The thing that uh, the disabled use to get around. Somebody's going to bet one of those. They're going to be like, how many spots for my scooter? I'll be like, hell yeah. A hundred spots for your scooter, mister. All right, here we go. The dice. Landing on seven. I hope you guys can read that. I pick it up really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's enough. Mobility scooter, right. TCC is an ableist. Pack number one. All right. Pack number two. Number three. Number four is Big Mac. Number five is Big Mac. Number six is also Big Mac. And the first prize came out. Can you guys believe it? Tonight, Big Mac is picking up a Mewtwo and a Mewtwo. Big Mac won the last one, right? Yeah, he did, right? Dude. I don't know why I did the... Uh, there was no reason for that. Whoa! He won the last one, did he not? Big Mac is the guy who walks into the casino and walks out with more money than he started with. One, two, three, four, five, six. He won on his last spot. Seven is exotic, Ken. Oh, we never sold number eight. We'll say that's for Tenzenberg. Nope. God King on nine. God King on 10. Devin on 11. Big Mac on 12. Tenzin on 13, Exotic Kennel on 14, and on 15, Tenzin on 16, Tenzin on 17. Uh, that's Jer, Jer XL on 18, on 19, and 20. Let's do a recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 spots have been accounted for. 21 is Tenzin. 22 is Exotic Kennel. 23 is Tenzin. 24 is Devon A. 25 is Tenzin. That's it. There you go, Tenzin. Picking up that spot, huh? Crazy. That was actually not a bad trade for you in the end. Holy. Let's do a quick recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, you gave up the Charizard, but the Charizard, we don't know if that'll be a 9 or a 10. The Mewtwo is a 10. Crazy. All right, thank you everyone for playing. The two Mewtwo's have been released. Whoa, Mewtwo's. Tenzenberg. Moving up in the Mewtwo world. 
You know, if he had missed that, that would have been a really, really terrible trade. <laughs> but uh, it actually worked out. <laughs> oh, I'm Tenzin. Forgot to change my YouTube name. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've, st I've seen some people go pretty deep and miss. And uh, I mean real deep, like crazy. Actually, uh, somebody went really deep not too long. I can't remember when it was. And they totally missed. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. What's next? Okay, let me go find another PSA card. I don't know what to do, because we've gone through some really fancy PSA cards. What if we did a whole booster box? Would you guys do a whole booster box? Hold on. I didn't explain. Okay, I have no clue. I have no clue. I, I'm actually running low on PSA cards. I, it seems like it would be impossible for that to occur, but it's true. I'm actually running low. We might have to come up with new ideas. Everyone says drop a Zard, but I promise you if I did, I would run out of Charizards very fast. I have, a, I have a very limited number of Charizards to drop. All right, let's see. I tell you what, we'll do uh, we'll do this one. These are all from the same set, and they're all tens. Kingdra ten from Neo Genesis. Metal Energy ten. Oh, with a nice swirl too, huh? Wow. Man, that's making me want to keep it. Uh, this is Neo Genesis, Neo Genesis, Neo Genesis, Neo Genesis. These are all tens as well, all all of them. So it's five Neo Genesis Japanese tens. These are all vintage. You can see they're from 1999, and I've got a lot of these. Uh, I don't have a lot of like Charizard or anything. So here's the trick to this large. It'll be one person winning all of them, all five of them. Oh, wait, I'm not going to put them in a bag. Is there a line, or are you done for the night? Uh, you could go ahead. Yeah, I don't care. I, I'm not out of energy. Let's see. Let me add this up real fast. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What is the interest in this round of the large do you, are you guys interested in this let me gauge your interest in it before i set it up because i can see how many uh how much it will cost per spot that's five tens you think i'm view botting that's right they're all bots como loco says ah how about five winners yeah but that would be kind of like My comp is going to die. See you later, Michael. Seven point seven three k total subs. One one thousand nine hundred seventy. That's twenty five percent. He says you be the number one YouTuber. Oh, thanks, man. We had uh, three thousand viewers earlier. 
I guess a lot of people turn this on and like fall asleep to it, basically. That's what I've been told. Uh, let me see if I can find something else for the large, okay? Because that's more like, what we have on the table there, that's like adjusted more for, uh, he says there's only like 30 to 40 people talking. Well, that's what we notice as well, but this is not view botting. Two rounds of Cosmic, I have a baggie. Giant suspect, if I told you this was the third fastest growing YouTube channel from, for Pokemans, then you would not think it's view botting. The first night we started getting views like this, I thought it was bots as well. I, I thought maybe somebody sent me bots in order to like sabotage my channel because one of the things that can happen is if you get bots on your channel, YouTube will blacklist you. They're not bots. They're actual people. Uh, they just don't talk, I guess. I think they just click on the TV and leave me playing in the background. He says, 1.9K people are not lurking, Shiny. Uh, you can believe whatever you want. <sighs> They're all bots. Paid for by the DNC. Dark Rye. Let's get a large going. Yeah, there was 7K for like two nights. Yeah, there was a guy who dropped a, a ton of money in the Super Chat, and then right after that, our views exploded. I don't believe it, mister. Haters will say it's fake. Oh, I know what we could do. Oh, man. You guys are going to hate me if I do this one. You're going to be like, oh, my wallet. Exactly, Giant Pan. He says, you're familiar with the flagship team. I am familiar with the flagship team. That's why I thought it was viewbotting, and that's why it concerned me. But I, I actually do not think it's viewbotting. Obviously, I would not viewbot my own channel, and I, I've never had to. When I went over to my main YouTube channel, The Game Economist, we had 1,300 viewers. Those are just people watching my stuff, man. I don't believe it, mister, so it's not true. But... He's viewbotting. PSA 10. Let's see. Give me a minute. I think that's what happens. I think when people see you doing well, they get jealous or something. I don't know. I couldn't explain it. No, I don't want to do a round of this either. I don't know. Maybe we should. Tax man tuning in. So I'm just trying to start up a new large, but I can't decide how it should be. You got me, bots? Thanks, man. He's got me covered. <laughs> All 19, 1900. All right, give me a minute. decided what we're going to do for the large and it's going to make your peepees -pee hard um no those are definitely bots i would know man i'm an expert can i send you a pokemon as a gift hell yeah pokemans all day man all I do are free Pokemans. Mom! He's got too many viewers! Cancel TZZ! Okay, there we go. Mommy's 
got all the viewers and I hate it. I hate it and I hate him. It's fake. This is what I'm thinking for the large guys. What do you think? I've been hoarding these like crazy. Sylveons and Umbreons. He says, do that. All right, give me a minute. Okay, so uh, let me just get some prices on these real fast. This will be a pricier one, I think, because there will be a total of three cards. There will be a total of three cards and a total of three winners as well. What's, her, what's the name of the other one? Sylveon? Did I do that right? All right. Ooh, these spots are going to be a little more expensive. All right. Just a little bit. They're going to be $30 per spot. Let me get... Uh, I need a flap. They're going to be $30 per spot. That's because there's actually three of those in there. <coughs> That's kind of expensive. What do you guys think? Should I remove the other Umbreon? We don't need two Umbreons. Let's remove the other Umbreon. So we don't need... We'll just do two cards. That's fine. We'll save this for another day. All right, let me redo it, guys. Give me a second. All right. It's a much more reasonable $21 per spot. This guy's view botting. That's right. Oh, my God, dude. 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, wait, I did this wrong. Oh, I have to write these really small. Mom! Cancel TCC! Uh, have you heard of flagging? Gonna get you, mister. I'm after you. Gonna get you. All right. I'm going to get you. Going to get you with the flags, mister. All right. Sweet. Let me go ahead and update. He says, store credit, one large and a round of Volt Tackle on Tiki Takis. Oh, man. Let me do this first. Let me update the um, custom booster. It's 21. PSA 10. Sylveon. And Umbreon. Once again, there will be two separate winners. So if you have two spots, you give yourself a chance to win both of them. Cirque Fan is wanting to... Ouch! <laughs> I just ran over my heel. We're going to start by removing 21. That will bring you down to 44. Here you go, Cirque Fan. There you go. And then also, you want a round of Volt Tackle on Tiki Takis. You're not allowed to have a lot of viewers unless you have also a lot of subscribers. That's the rule. And we will not break the rules. Do we have any 38-year-olds in here? Only only bots, I'm afraid. He says, I'll also do another round of Volt Tackle. All right. Very good, mister. So you want this you want this round open right now, is that right? Here it goes. You wish you had more Pokemans? I'm a bot. Check in if you're a bot, guys. All right, here we go, Cirque. 
Sleep. If you hear a bot say me, 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 me. Reporting in. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. Botting all over the place. I'm botting so hard. Next pack. Me, 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 me. Oh, nice. Scoruppy. Algorithm activate. Oof, that was a little bit of a cold round. That's okay. So we'll take the next five. Oops, wait a second. This doesn't go here. We'll take the next five. Hopefully those are a little hotter. Those will be the round we open for you on the Tiki Takis. Cirque fan, let's see if we got a bag. For, I think you got a bag up top, don't you? Where do you get your cards? Cirque fan. Here it is. Sweet. Mom, he's got too many viewers. He's not allowed to have this many. I love my woman even though she's nuttier than squirrel turds. What? What is he talking about? All right. Cirque says, I think I have two bags. Oh, interesting. We'll have to remember that. When, it's, when it comes time to shipping, we'll have to remember that. Now, Big Mac wants to grade all of those cards. All right, sounds good. There was a bag on the table to start the broadcast today. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. He says, not the energy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the other way around. I mean, get rid of the energy and take the Lucario. There you go, mister. Let's make you pokey rich. Do I claim my royalties for the thumbnail today? <laughs> All right, let me get you those thumbnails, Kentu. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Will I be streaming Fatalis? Uh, hopefully I, I stream Fatalis tomorrow I couldn't do it today. There was too much going on. Uh, actually, I had a guy try to do a chargeback on me, and I caught him right away. I caught him instantly. And I contacted him, and I let him know it would be a Class D felony. And he said, oops, sorry. And so we worked out how he was going to undo that. So we worked it out, and he, uh, he fixed it real fast. I was like, mister, you know everything you did was on recording, right? He's like, oops. Uh, you know, don't don't beat up on him. He uh, he apologized and he was having he was having some regrets. So, but you already opened the cards, so it doesn't work that way. It's like trying to open up Pokemon cards, realizing you don't like the pulls, and then taking it back to Walmart. <laughs> Walmart won't accept that return. That would be stealing. Can't open cards and then return them. That's stealing. Only because he got caught. Yeah, I thought about it that way too, but... He'll be okay. I caught him instantly. Almost instantly. Because PayPal notifies you. And PayPal was like, he's doing these chargebacks. Uh, this is something... I, I it, PayPal was actually going to investigate it themselves too. They were going to go investigate it. All right, let's go ahead and write your name on these, Big Mac. They're like, we are going to go in. They locked up his PayPal. They're like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. We're writing your name real small on these now. Yeah, they locked his PayPal up because they thought it was fishy. He had to call them in order to fix it. Do 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 do. Big Mac. 
I've been doing it the entire time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was all ready to go, too. I'd done a lot of research on chargebacks because uh, that's just the kind of energy I have. I just, I spend all my time working and learning, working and learning, preparing. All right, PSA requests. Just think about the energy I have to do what I'm doing and imagine that now you've got to deal with me. You don't want to deal with me. I could go all day. I'm the last guy you want to run into trouble with because I'm not going to give up because I'm crazy. DA. Al Creamy VMAX. TCC, the real homie. Why chargeback? Uh, again, he, he didn't do it because he was trying to be... He wasn't, like, angry or... or but the problem... He, he, he regretted spending the money, basically. He's like, you know, I don't really have that money, and I just spent it, and I shouldn't have. So I, I sympathized with him in that regard. But I was also like, you know this cost me a lot of money, too, right? Like, you can't just come in, open all these cards, and then say, whoop, your problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, mister... And he was apologizing. He knew he was in a lot of trouble. I, I showed him. I'm like, you see this? This is a class D felony because of the amount you're trying to take back. Colossal. And that's Colossal Ultra Rare from Darkness Ablaze. All right. It's all written up. Thank you very much, Big Mac. We'll have those sent out. Tenzenberg is owed $14. You know, it was funny when it happened. I, it, it didn't even surprise me because it's like I was just waiting for something like that to happen. I've been waiting for something like that to happen. And so I was I was so ready for it when it did. I already knew what I was going to say. I already knew how I was going to talk to him. Big Mac, we'll place you back here. Tenzenberg's owed 14. <coughs> oh, take the 14 anyways, Tenzenberg. It's all yours, man. Subsmash says, two rounds of Cosmic. I have a baggie. I believe I need to go get more Cosmic. Be right back. You didn't agree to buy that spot, and it was a it was a blank spot anyways, so it's not a big deal. If it had been a winning spot, then yeah, I'd be like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna snipe that 14 off of you. But that was actually not a winning spot, so you can't be forced to buy a losing spot. A different spot was a winning spot, but you actually paid for that other spot, so it only makes sense. Oops. Buy <laughs> me a round of CP. <laughs> Tenzenberg, if you wanted, you could take the 14 and open a pack of Champion's Path with it. He says, I'm down. All right, instant Charizard. Why is this so difficult? Every pack stuck in the glue. These are Pokemon booster packs. What are you talking about? This ain't no gambling. What are you talking about, mister? This is surprise mechanics for children. All right, let's see what you got, mister. It is a cold pack, in fact. <laughs> hyper potion is so hyper. These are some beautiful cosmics, and we're opening these up for Sub Smash. You ready, Sub Smash? And one champion's path add to my live shipping on the order right before this one. 
Snip. 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 Uh, I believe we already packed and shipped your stuff, so you would have to order a brand new live shipping if you wanted to be. If you wanted the the champion's path pull, if you wanted that ship tonight, like if you didn't want to get on the plea ship. By the way, it's free to get on the plea ship list. So for anyone who doesn't know how shipping works, after you share your address, you just go into the Discord to the please ship list. There's a channel called Please Ship. I call it the Please Ship List. You go in there and you write your name down and you say, please ship me. My bag name is blah, blah, blah. You let me know what you had. Did you have any PSA cards? Did you have a bulk box? And then I work my way down that list and I ship you. So you don't have to pay anything else for shipping. The shipping's free at that point. So you don't have to do live shipping if you don't want to. Oh, Red's Pikachu. I was just saying these were kind of cold and the Red's Pikachu pops out. Beautiful. And one more cold pack. Did you get my message about all the free codes and Japanese book? I might have. I don't check my messages as often as I used to, and that's because I get too many of them. So I just get this long list of messages and is a lot to deal with. And so I kind of take breaks and I treat it like an actual job now. So when I go to answer messages, it will be at when I'm like clocked in, I guess. And then I'll take care of all the messages at once. And it takes me like an hour. Sub smash. Let's see where your bag is. Did you have something real important you needed to say? Was it that you wanted some? <laughs> you got any codes, mister? <laughs> what are you going to do with all that book? All that book inside that trunk? I'm going get, to get, get you drunk. Let's see. Sub smash. Did he say I have a bag? He said I have a bag. Well, no, you wouldn't be in this box. You would be in this box, the S box. Is the red worth grading? I'm looking at it. He's definitely thicker on the left. You could still grade him. He might have a shot at the 10. If he gets a nine, he'd probably still go for like 50 to 60 bucks. So yes and no, it's up to you. You probably have cards that are more valuable to grade like this Celebi. Still a decent pull. People love that card. I got another. Can you check that one? Says Sub Smash. What, another bag? What are you talking about? I'm looking. He says, I got another. Oh, another red. Is that what you're saying? Another Pikachu? Pika! Pika! You have a pretty thick bag. So if you if it was the case that you had two of these Pikachus, I would not be surprised. Look at this, man. Jesus. S Umbreon? Oh, man. All right, so... You do have another one. <laughs> they both seem to be off-center in the same way. Um, this one's worse than this one, so the new one's slightly less off-center, uh, but they're both clearly fat on the left, unfortunately. They're both chubby cheeks on the left. That's a valuable bag. I better get some sub-smash insurance in a minute here. Okay. Sub so Smash, I'll let you think about that. Spielberg Skelton. Oh, I understand now, Spielberg. Spielberg. So one round of Volt, one round of Sword and Shield Base, and then live shipping. I got you. I understand now. My bad. One, two, three, four, five. Sword and Shield Base. Where's the Sword and Shield? Here it is. Now I understand. Okay. Five there. Live shipping. And he wants one champion's path. All right. There we go. You got it. How much do a base set of booster packs usually go for? I have no clue what you mean by base set. You're talking about base set like base set, base set, like the old one? Those are a lot more than $100. Sneep. Neep. Pikachu. Sneep. Oh, my God. Like the 36 pack per thing. Uh, it would cost you $2. Toss this over here. Here we go. Good luck, S 
Bill Berg Skelton. Has he ever cut through the cards? I've never done that. I'm perfect in every way. Come on, sexy mama. Zapdos. Ah, no luck. Oh, those Volt Tackles were really cold that round. That's green. Here's a white back. Oh, picking up Turtonator V, huh? That's an okay card. Caldeo V? Oh. That's out of control, man. <coughs> hollow? Yeah, it's hollow. And this will be green, right? <coughs> That's green. Champion's Path. Your luck lies with Champion's Path. And you got... Hey, you actually got a cool fairy energy. That's kind of neat. Funny that they brought those back. All right. I, I would say those were kind of tough pulls there, mister. Those pulls were tough. I've seen hotter pulls. Let's be honest. No full arts? I don't know about that. All right, let me go ahead and ship you up. Why can't every round have a shiny Zard in it? In Pokestan, everyone can get a shiny Zard. No child will have to grow up without a shiny Charizard in Pokestan. Pokestan will be the greatest nation. <clears throat> we'll just take... <coughs> We'll just take the Charizards from the rich and redistribute it to the poor. Then everyone will want to live here. Who pulled the shiny Zard? D. Schmidt, the man, the myth, the legend. D. Schmidt's been opening cards here for a while, and he goes pretty deep, so I'm, I'm happy for him. He pulled a really nice card. Make some of his money back, to be honest. So let's see. We just shipped you, which means I should be able to find you pretty quickly. Yep, there you are. He's gone pretty deep before, so it's nice to see him get something really nice. It was Pokey Fate. A lot of packages went out tonight. <clears throat> Volto for my <laughs> Oh, we're gonna be out of Voltac in, in like two seconds here. Volt Tackle and Legendary Heartbeat have both been very popular. So how many packs are in a box? It looks like it's 20 packs per box. From the looks of it. <clears throat> you ready, mister? Good luck, Fature. Fature, do you have a bag? Let me know if you already have a bag. Sneep. Sneep. Damn, that's some hot sneeps. Holy schmoles, man. <clears throat> Where did these hot sneeps come from? All right, they're not sticking. What do we got? Starting out with Aegislash V. I like it when the camera's just right. Like, it's just, just at the right angle to show the card off. It's hard to do that sometimes. There's a little Dust Noir eating those spermies. Nom, 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 nom. Dust Noir. You goofball. Spermies are for kids. What do we got here? Talon Flame. <clears throat> and this is 
starting to get loopy. What's this? Dust Wars of Goomer. Another Age of Slash. Wow. Cold. And another hollow. So three V cards and three hollows. Coom Guzzler. Oh my god. Dust Noir, more like Coom Guzzler. Are we funny yet? That joke was pretty good, right? Woo! Did Phaedra say he have a back? Phaedra, Phaedra. No, he didn't say anything. Let's see if we can find it. There's not much going on. We're near the end of the live stream. He says, yes, I do. All right. I bet you're up top. I bet you three salty pennies that you're up top. Here it is, a feature with the beautiful hyper rare Aegis Slash. Ooh, so beautiful. Oh man, that soda's probably gone flat. That's sad. And it appears we're all caught up. Wow, what a night, guys. Woo, it's time to do the giveaway. So. Uh, as usual, you'll need to pop over to the general chat and make a guess between 1 and 100, and I'll give you guys a little while to do that. This is the real giveaway, not the tricking the little kids giveaway. Pre-grade my baggie, mister, and can you tell me which two would be worth grading the most in? Which tier so I can send payment for those? All right, so we got Celebi. What is your opinion on Fatalis? Uh, he's he's great. <laughs> I would definitely grade the Fatalis. You know it's weird? This actually looks thick on the top. I think it is thick on the top. Hmm. Maybe you can actually grade the um the Japanese cards by looking at them. This one looks better. Those are holographic cards. I wouldn't bother. I don't know. I put this together. Hmm. I like how Giant Panda is still around. He's not saying anything, but he's like, nobody's speaking. Everyone else must be a bot, but I'm not. <clears throat> it's also fraud, which is a felony offense. He talks so highly. All right. See you later, giant panda. More like giant poopies. Let's see. I would grade that one. Uh, it's actually fraud. Oh, my God. He's got the small peepee -pee complex. You can feel it coming off of him. Leafy on? Man, this is a nice-looking leafy on. And it's so off-center. Um... You know, I would probably still consider grading the Leafeon even if it came back at nine because it would probably still make you money. I know. The funny thing is he's complaining that no one's talking and he wasn't talking. He was just sitting there quiet, which I think a lot of people are doing. <clears throat> Cancel TCT. Round of unbroken bonds. Please so, send a nice guard or pack to we saw these. Rest. We saw these Pikachu's earlier, and they're both off. Oh, this one's not so bad. They're both off center. He says, "Looking since eleven twenty. Wow, you've been here for like the full six hours. <clears throat> the full yeah, it's been six hours, right? So this Pikachu, they're both going to be off center. Maybe this one has a chance at a nine. I'm I'm sorry, a ten. I would actually grade both of these because even if they were nines, I believe they were still both make money." Volcarona, he's well-centered on the front. He's thin on the top. Actually, he still looks good. I would consider that one. Salamence, he's a little fatter on this corner here. It's just a Salamence, though. I don't know. I wouldn't risk it. Stoutland, Stoutland's real on center. That man has small peepee -pee complex. I've seen it. Many men have struggled with it. Oh, we needed to check the back, didn't we?
place that there. In his mind, there's no possible way somebody could be successful because he, he himself does not believe he could be this successful. So Valley, Togolby, Cleffa, Igly Buff. Wigglytuff. Your Wigglytuff's actually pretty close. I think he has a shot at a 10. Have we graded this before? I can't tell if we've graded this before. Yep, that's pretty good. Lapras, that's off center on the front. That's pretty good. You're getting a lot of potential 10s in here. That's off center. So, no, this one looks good. How about the back? No cutting error? Wow. I know, right? He was one of the lurkers. What the f that's a funny thing. He was himself lurking. So, slightly thinner on the top. Then the bottom, I would still try it. It's actually quite close. This Charmander, he is uh, tilted with this corner high and this corner low, but I would actually try that as well for the chance for the 10. Even as a 9, the Charmander will actually make you money. Damn, this looks so good, the Butterfree. That looks like it has a straight shot at a 10. Very good. Umbreon. Uh, on the front, it looks like it's maybe fatter on the bottom, but let's check the back. Oh, my God. This guy's so well-centered. You got to send this guy in. Charge, oh, we did grade this. This is why so many of them are good. So we've graded this before, and these are the ones I'm saying not to touch. Okay. So that's why we were doing such a good job there, because we have graded your bag before. And we're going to toss these over there. There's a rude. You know, he is looking fatter on the top than the bottom. This bottom strip is just thinner. So that's an interesting thing to note. Uh, I wouldn't touch these. The Salamance is close. So is the Wimpod. The Wimpod, though, he looks thin here compared to there. And it's like, it's just a Wimpod. He's not going to be worth much, even if he gets a 10. So why take the risk? All right. And so here are your graded, here are your cards. And you've got some very nice cards. I mean, there's like a ton of money sitting here, in my opinion. You got these Pikachus, Leafeon, Celebi. Take a look at this. Man. Dude, this Butterfree looks insanely good. That card's going to... These cards from Darkness Ablaze are just... How did they make that Butterfree look so good? The Butterfree VMAX was like an improvement on the design of Butterfree. All right, Sub Smash, I took an extra long time with your bag. Hope that was helpful. Let's go lock up the general chat. Mister, I'm 15, and this is too many viewers. I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. That's actual fraud. Holy shamolies! All right, we are going to be rolling the dice four times. 14 plus 10 is 24. Plus 7 is 31. Plus 1 is 32. The winning number is 32. Let's see who came closest to 32 without going over. Oh, man. Moist Tuna, you were 33. So close. Cyber's at 28. He's currently the closest. All right. And then we have... I have the worst luck at 29. Aaron H. guessed 32 on the head. So he's going to be the winner. I'm just going to do this the fast way. I'm just going to leave him a message that says you won. And uh, so I'm going to jump back here. And instead of waiting for him to answer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write Aaron H. down here. All right. Congratulations, Aaron H. We'll put you on five over here. All right. You're in the small and the medium because we got just over 200 likes. Now we're wrapping... Oh, wait. No, we're not. One more thing. Somebody did a... Kodakan. Round of Unbroken Bonds. Please send a nice Gardevoir pack to grade. Open the rest. Oh, my dear Lord. <laughs> grade Butter and Umbreon, mister. 
Hey, mister, it's me, Joey Aaron H. Joseph. Very good. Wow. <laughs> Joey <coughs> Aaron H. Joseph, nice to meet you. You won, mister. Oh, but you knew that. All right, there we go. Kitty's like, you're still going. My cat is even looking at me like I'm weird. What's up, Ryan? When's the next giveaway? We do a giveaway at the end of every live stream every night. Let's see what we got here. Three, four. Oh, man, what a hot pack. Reshiram Charizard. All right. Next pack. And this pack's green, so it's not going to be a hit. Charger Bug. Toss that away. And we'll place this over here. The last step is we're going to add you to the PSA requests, so there's no mistakes. I'm so tired. All right. Cold Con. Gardevoir, Unbroken, Bonds, Pack, Grade. All right, so we've done all that. And then Subsmash jumped in, and he says, Grade the Butterfree and the Umbreon. Will you just let me go? I'll never let go, Jack. Da, 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 da. I was making fun of that show the other day. She immediately lets go of him. So I guess you meant, I'll never let go of you in my heart. But I was like, bitch, you just let go of him. What if he was holding on? What if he was still alive, but he just didn't have the strength to swim? And when she let go of him, he sank through his death. Because she let go of him like a bitch. Like, come on, man. He's like, I'm still alive. Blah, 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 blah. Not anymore. She's like, oh, good. Getting rid of my summer boyfriend. I'm off to college. Okay, sub smash beautiful pulls. Wait, yeah, I did that right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> he says in a few months they come back. Yeah, like seven years. Seven years. <laughs> what is that from? Sun and moon. Sun, moon, base. All right, you're in, Sub Smash. And we're done. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.